race fans, it's time for those most famous words in motorsports. Race Queen Two Radio. It's time for another edition of Race 22 Ra Ra Radio. In-depth coverage of all your favorite late model stock car racing action from all perspectives. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Race 22 Radio is hosted by Race22.com founder, Mr. Langley Austin. All they need to do is delete the late model stock cars from that rule book, and that, that will help start fixing things right there. I mean, that's all we got to do. Just so delete the NASCAR that. rule book, is to delete the pages and just say refer to car stores. Exactly. <laughs> that's all they got to do. That's all they got to do. Race 22 Radio is co-hosted by Performance Center Racing Warehouse President, Mr. Roger Johnson. You're the guy for this, in my opinion. You know, we, we don't, I mean, name me anybody else that's doing it. Uh, well, I appreciate for, right? it. Right? Well, it doesn't mean you're good. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> With special co-host, Crazy Corey Latham. Sit back, buckle in, and hold on tight. Race 22 Radio is coming right at you at full throttle. Better than what? And now your host, Mr. Langley Austin. All right, guys, we're here, Race 22 Radio. <laughs> and my producer hitting the button a little fast there, and I'm over here running my mouth. So, um, But uh, we're here at uh, Performance Center Racing Warehouse. Uh, man, they're even in here working on cars Capacity tonight. Capacity crowd here tonight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Right. We, we don't have any fans, but uh, Thomas Bean, uh, Zach Bruinger, and uh, Zach McDaniels there uh, working uh, – Working well, I would say they're working feverishly, but they look like a city crew, right. so they're, not yeah. uh, not doing much of anything. Right. Uh, there is the after hours uh, time. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> the uh, the other voice you hear is uh, Roger Johnson, uh, co-host here, uh, uh, owner of Performance Center. Yeah. That's um, me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> that one yeah. worked out real well. Yep. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and, and we got uh, Corey Latham over here. Amazingly enough, it is 6.33 p.m. and and Happy he to is, have him. He's like 40 yeah. minutes. He got here 40 minutes sooner than he normally does. Right. Yeah. He was stretching over there earlier. Yeah. Right? Working out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got here early. That so much only works out 12-ounce curls. Okay. Up his game. Yeah. My car broke down halfway here, and I actually ran half halfway. <laughs> now, that's actually believable, okay? That's why you got here so much faster than normal, so. <laughs> that's good stuff right there. Oh, my. So Corey we're, we're no doing. longer has eardrums. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know what, what he's reacting to over here. But, uh, anyways, so, uh, man, uh, I, I don't uh, – I don't think I got you. I got you. Oh. You got to talk to me, Corey. Okay. Um, but uh, you think everybody's here yet? Everybody's here. It's kind of early. Early well, start. I mean, it's an early start, but uh, you know, we got uh, Randy Weaver on here. Randy so, I mean, Weaver, that's come all that, on. That's all that matters. You know, it. coming on at six thirty. I mean, we don't really have a whole lot to talk about. Yeah, this week nothing anyway. happened yeah, really I mean, at what, all. What are we going to talk about? I don't nothing. know. We'll, we'll make something up. I mean, nothing it's not happened. like there was you know some on track altercation <laughs> at South Boston this weekend. Wow. Yeah, um, big stuff. And yeah. there was some great race in other places, too. I don't want to, you know, 100% focus in on that. Obviously, that's yeah. the hot topic of the week. Uh, Carteret opened up, uh, you know, had a had a great race down there yeah. uh, with uh, Chris Burns and Jason York and uh, Stacey Perrier. Um, those, those three guys put on a pretty good show. Uh, the PRW car uh, didn't fare too well. Uh, Brandon Clements dominated yeah, last season I know. and uh, I was got tore up. about that. It looked like it was tore up pretty good. Yeah, let's not dive too far down in that uh, that hole yet, though. Let's get uh, you know get over to Doc here in just a minute For and sure. uh, you know see what he's got all to that. say. Corey, Corey, you uh, was it Ace? You go anywhere yeah. Saturday? No, I actually watched Langley. I enjoyed that on there, but you know, did you I, watch South Boston on Fans Choice? Did you watch the Modifieds? Yeah, I watched a little bit of it. Yeah, the Modifieds. They had the first late model race on. But they didn't show the second one. Which, Did they? Oh, I didn't even think they would show it, so I didn't even try. Well, was, somebody, uh, Justin Mincy, messaged me and let me know, so I'm watching it driving yeah. to Tri-County, which I probably shouldn't have said. A lot of put on a heck of a show at South Boston. I, mean, I told you, man, South Boston's a great racetrack for it those is. guys. It and is. it's the Northern Modified. The, the Northern guys, they just race a whole different right. kind of – they're so aggressive, man. But 
you know. But, you know, we give a lot of credit to uh, the Northern guys, but Burt Myers running really good, too. If, yeah. if Burt goes up to, <clears throat> where they go, Thompson next, I think, for the something, like, or something it. like it. I yep. mean, if he comes out there with a good finish, I mean, he might be leading the points, and they're already talking about, you know, are you going to miss Bowman Gray? Or, you right. know, I don't, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Right. It'd be interesting to see him run the whole uh, Northern Tour. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd love to see it. I mean, we haven't had a Southern guy run it the whole Northern Tour. I'm like, I mean, Satch Worley, when, what was that, 37 right. years ago? I mean, yeah. That's, you know? that's been a few days right there for yeah. sure. Plus, you know, he's not in his him. own car this year. He's you don't know who Satch Worley is? No. I'm, Are you I'm, a, I'm officially I'm not, all. Right. I'm officially not your friend. Mind. I don't know who Satch no, Worley is. I don't, I don't that's have the man idea. right there. I'm done with Roger. You, you can be done. I don't, I just, Satch I don't drove the original 07 Hayes Jewelers car. Oh, right. Great. Uh, also, uh, yeah. his family owned uh, Log Cabin Raceway. Yes, they did. That's um, the modified, right? His family, does, does his family <laughs> are you, still are own you it? talking about those modified cars? Yeah. Yeah, the modified. Cares, wow. right? That ain't what we're here for. <laughs> right. I just wanted to be completely clear. Wow. Yeah, that ain't, this ain't race 22.modified. <laughs> right? That ain't what it is. Well, I mean, it also ain't race 22.late models. So. <laughs> no, yeah, that <laughs> should be, though. Fair. It race should though. be. <laughs> I, I, Langley, does Satch's family, do they still own yeah. Log yeah. Cabin? Yeah, they still own it. I mean, obviously, it doesn't operate anymore. Well, they actually own a forest is what they own, so. That's pretty much all that is there anymore. Yeah. I mean, there's trees grown up, grown up through the racetrack, <laughs> through the tunnel, Stayed through the pit. grandstands, and yeah. all that. So, uh, I don't know. Modifieds, though, man, it's South Boston. There's a few tracks that I, you know, and I, I'm not a modified guy, you know, at all. I mean, I'm, I've made that clear. Yeah, Corey, me that's, Corey that's kind of what I was get, alluding to right there. Well, Corey calls me a hater, and I'm not a hater of modifieds. It's just most race care what that's the most awful, awful garbage Terrible. I've ever seen in my Terrible. life. Okay, right. I will not watch a modified race at Caraway. I'll right. watch anything else. I actually there. thought the race, the last, the first race of year, and Bobby Meeson, I mean, he put on a show. I thought that was pretty good. Well, I mean, I, I guess you know. Every, I, I don't mind watching them at Bowman Gray like slam into each other. Yeah, they don't really do that yeah, anymore. Yeah, they don't do that. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's why Why else would you watch? Right. They think about it, and then pole they realize, oh, this car is 80,000. Um, uh, South Boston was, what, 13.8? Yeah, it was the fastest yeah, lap they, ever turned over. They run the same time around Bowman Gray, and it's a quarter mile. <laughs> <laughs> they were fast. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's getting yeah. it around there, yeah. Well, just uh, just to set you guys up, um, talk to uh, I talked to Nick Igdowski. I, I hope I said his name correctly. Uh, it's close owner, He's owner not of, listening. You don't have to worry. <laughs> <laughs> he, he might be after earlier. Um, yeah. Owner of uh, Pocono Raceway, uh, also uh, owner of South Boston Speedway. Talked to him a little bit earlier. I'll tell you about uh, what he had to say and what what he couldn't talk about. Um, you know about the situation between Lee and Forrest and Phillip and, yeah. and all that. I was surprised we'll get, how much he gave you, to be real honest. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, he, he was way more open than I anticipated. Which and, is great. Uh, I think it's great. And I believe we will uh, get Brad Allen on here next week. Uh, he's the race director at South Boston. We'll get him on here to talk about because they don't race again until the 20th. So we got plenty of time to uh, yeah. talk about all the stuff there. But uh, let's, uh, let's go over to Doc and uh, check out the news here and uh, see what went on this weekend. Race, 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 22, race, race, 22 Radio. Howdy ho, Motorheads. It's almost start of the full season uh, racing there. We got a lot of tracks that uh, raced this past weekend. Three tracks for Friday, March 29th, seven uh, Saturday, March 30th, 10 tracks total getting underway. So we are almost ready to hit full season. So everybody's excited. Let's talk about some race winners. Ace Speedway, Friday night, 10 late models in the field. Ryan Millington, good uh, victory for him, man. I was glad to see him get that victory. That was uh, really cool. And then, of course, uh, Dalton, uh, Boo Boo. Yep. Is that boo-boo. What we call? Boo-boo. Yep. Uh, won the limited he gets late called model. all kinds of things. So he, <laughs> he's going to be here later, so we'll hear from him uh, about his race. But uh, good job with Ryan Millington, uh, winner of late model stock at Ace. Anderson Speedway, limited late model. Chris Whitfield was the winner. Ten cars in that race. Southside got underway this past Friday night. Late model stock car winner. Mason Bailey, 15 cars strong there at Southside. They always have a good showing. Right, and, I mean, that racetrack is fantastic. Southside is the most awesome racetrack uh, I've ever well, been to in my I, life. Well, I don't know. Tri-County is the most awesome racetrack. Well, we'll get into that later. That yeah. was that was spe- special this weekend. So. <laughs> then uh, Saturday night winners. Kingsport racing on a Saturday night. Last Saturday night race, I think, yep, for yep. a while. Saturday race. Saturday race. Uh, late model stock cars, 12 cars. I think 11 started. Ronnie McCarty, a little bump and run, three to go to get the victory. Right. Yeah, but that's that's yep. Kingsport, yeah, though, right? Yeah, you got to you got to do what you got to do. Yep. Right. If you don't and see that coming there, you're in trouble. And, and Chris Van Dyke was cool yeah, with it. Sure, so. yeah, absolutely. I think he's used it before <laughs> a few times. <laughs> right. There yeah. You go. He, he has the same mindset as um, 
Uh, Philip Morris, right. most of the time. Ooh. Right. I mean, and Philip's <laughs> one of those guys. I mean, like, we'll talk about it here in just yeah. a little bit. But if Philip, I'll guarantee you, Philip, you know, expected to be hit. You know what I mean? He expected to be hit this weekend. And, and I, I, he doesn't, he's not going to, he's not going to cry about it. I mean, he doesn't cry about anything that happens. And neither does Lee. That's one of the right. great things. And Chris is that same guy, kind of guy. Yeah. And Carteret, 5,000 to win. They had 12 cars. Chris Burns with the victory. I think it's a big victory. Kind of a small team, but big victory for those guys. Absolutely. One of the local guys there uh, races, uh, you know, every week, every race Who? there. Uh, <laughs> I've never heard of the guy. <laughs> no, nah, I love Chris, my buddy. I had to give him hell. That's awesome <laughs> yeah, to yeah. see him win that sure. down there. Yeah, I mean, 5,000 to win. I mean, that's, yeah. that's a good victory for them. Yeah, Absolutely. really awesome. Then Greenville Pick and Speedway uh, did some racing, I do believe. I had a hard time finding uh, good information on them. I mean, you might want to work on their social media or their website. <laughs> well, I know I mean, a guy. come on. I know a guy. I mean, come on. Uh, Taylor Satterfield, I think, was the winner from what I could gather. Yes, okay. yes. Taylor Satterfield was All right, the good job for those guys. Hey, and, and one note there, because I know we won't cover it later, but this week they gave 30 pounds off. Um, and a super sucker plate to the limited guys. Really? Um, and Devin Morgan finished second. So we good. got a late model guy first, limited guy there second. You go. So now they're, we're they're making getting progress. There. That's good progress. I think that's great. Uh, yeah. Hickory Motor Speedway. Uh, Landon Huffman in a, in a I don't I want to call it rent a ride, but it wasn't his own car. It was for a uh, PRW car. It was a PRW Just car. So you know, cool. That's why you won. <laughs> 16 cars strong. I think it was Danny. Um, <laughs> I can't think of his last name. Oh, jeez. Really? Yeah. You come prepared tonight. <laughs> oh, I, well, I thought Craig you Johnson. would be able to finish it there. Thank you. Yeah, Danny Johnson. Yeah, Thank Danny you. Johnson. Come on. Uh, he won race number one, 16 car strong. Pretty good field there at Hickory Motor Speedway. Chris Hutsmith, racer, uh, uh, winner, race number two in late model. So pretty cool. Another PRW yeah. car. There you go. I just wanted to be clear. Paige Gaynor in the Lemon Late Model was your winner. At Hickory. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Are there any other cars at Hickory? <laughs> yeah. Gage Painter. Yeah, Gage one. Painter's got something else. Yeah. There you go. Langley Speedway, late model stock car winner, Connor Hall. First ever win. 13 cars strong at Langley. Right. Yeah. All right. Uh, Corey, you watched it, right? I didn't. I he mean. smoked him. Yeah. <laughs> I guess him and yeah. C.E. got into it. I missed that part. Yeah, man. I guess he got into it. <laughs> Corey, must Corey really place. watched it. He watched well, it through some it. beer. Okay? I was, I was <laughs> turning up a beer and seeing it through I was flipping channels, it. man. Now, there was other flipping stuff channels. Going on. Yeah. <laughs> on Fans Choice or what? Flipping channels, there was other stuff going on. <laughs> I, I have more than one. I have cable. <laughs> you know? I, oh, my oh, God. God. <laughs> we have established that Corey has cable. But and that, a job. Yeah, con- oh, Jesus, let's not go there tonight. Somebody's fixing to get throat punched. <laughs> oh. yeah, I, like, I'm glad I got my bleed. I don't know what's getting ready to happen. Uh, just reading on social media, I guess, uh, Connor got into uh, C.E. Falk at some point in a race and uh, – um, you know, said he made a mistake afterwards and hoped that uh, CE understood. So, I'm sure he did. Yeah, I'm sure CE. Yeah, yeah. I'm Such sure an understanding. Yeah, right. CE understands real good. About yeah. two, three more races down the road, he'll he'll understand. Yeah. It. Yep. No, I'm sure he got it right. I'm sure, sure they're buds again. Sure, it's cool. It'll all work out. Tri County Motor Speedway, the Super Trucks. How about my buddy Clint King with the victory? I'm so glad to throw see back. him. Talking about yeah. a good family there, racing family. Absolutely, uh, his dad, great, you know, good, good folks there. So I was really tickled to see him back in victory lane. 14 trucks strong yeah. uh, with the start. Ralph Carnes won the Lemon Lake Model Race. 14 cars there, pretty strong field. Yep. Now one of those had 15. One of them had 14. But whatever. Vice versa. Yeah. You're close enough. <clears throat> Straight from their website. Well. I wouldn't go there. <laughs> <laughs> Their Facebook page had 15 and 14. Okay. <laughs> Brad Brinkley joining us. Yep. Nice. Nice. Up. nice. Yeah. But uh, good job for those guys. Uh, don't forget, uh, plus we had the, the big race at Richmond with the past the Commonwealth Classic uh, this past weekend. Uh, 16 car strong in the crate. Crate super late models. If it's a super late model, but they have a crate. Yeah, but there was some controversy. Don't there, ask. Wasn't don't there? ask me to explain <laughs> past. Okay, yeah. please. Um, so yeah, I didn't quite understand it myself. But anyway, Mike Hopkins was the winner. Sixteen cars strong. The North Open super late models. That's kind of what I thought all super late models were. But anyway, Corey Heim finished the stripe uh, first. He was first to the stripe. But he was disqualified. I think um, sources say something to do with a spacer plate. Is that correct? Yeah, he had a tapered spacer plate and was supposed to be straight. So, Damn oh it. goodness, I don't think uh, you know. Unlike his uh, previous, you know, deals where he didn't get to win, I don't think. I think it's pretty cut and dry. So. Yeah. yeah. But that handed the win to Austin Reed, uh, and Good that's kid. per the uh, press release on Pro All Still though, I'd probably quit racing com. in Virginia. Yeah. 
That's that's going to follow him. Hey, the kid's an absolute wheel. Oh, he's guy. awesome, he dude. You know, he he he'll be going for thirty thousand to win this weekend. Yeah, and he's uh, one yeah. of the top dogs. Yeah, I he's think going to be there. Sure. Uh, sure. Biggest uh, field, thirty plus cars showed up for I, I guess what twenty eight starting spots. I don't know if they started them all. Uh, the act late models. Right now, those are the, kind of the rules. What you guys been talking about? Right, it needs to be are. going on here. You know, marginal heart, horsepower, sh- uh, narrow tire. Yep. And everybody, what I saw, that put on they put you on know, the best race. You know, that's yeah. an interesting point because I do get quite a bit of calls about people that that are from up north that have moved down here that mm-hmm. have those act mm-hmm. late models. And they're just and wanna, perimeter chassis, right? Yeah. They want to try to figure out how to do it, but most of them don't do it just because they're right. Right. It's not going to work out. Right. Well, right. I mean, if somebody down here would, different, would, would take that, that type of rule No, set, for sure. I, I just, I'm just i surprised that there are some quite a few of them still around, even though they don't really race them around I, here. I don't right. know if he's listening or not, but Craig Murto from Late Model Racer Magazine, he wears me out about those act guards. <laughs> really? Man, that's yeah. What, yeah. He tells me every week, that's what we need to do. That's yeah. what we need to do. That's what we need he to do. He's probably right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can't argue with that. But many stocks also in the show, they had 50 cars show up on the grounds. I thought for sure A.J. Sanders, our buddy A.J. Sanders, was going to whoop him. I think he finished top five maybe. He finished six. He six. Was, and, but the thing, he was practicing at Richmond. I walk in the gate. Oh, me and Roger walk yeah. in the gate, and I was yeah. like, there's the legend. I said, he's here. What he raced at Ace on Friday night, went yeah. all the way back to Richmond right after the race. Right. Yeah, he had practiced in Richmond that day. Yeah, wow. yeah. and then drove to Ace. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Now nah, that's so. a hard one. Now, even though he's not a late model, now he used to run super late models in the Big right. Ten Series right. at Concord. We need to have him here one time. Absolutely. Many Absolutely. moons ago when there was another show in the area, he used to come and be on the show. He was fantastic. It was one man. of the best shows. I'll never forget Mike Neff. He said he was going to G, uh, for Cytec, and Randy Butter was teaching a class out there, the motorsports class. He said, oh, you're trying to hone your skills and learn something? He said, no, nah, man, I'm just using their equipment. <laughs> <laughs> he, he paid for a college class just so he could build race car parts. He didn't care Probably nothing about that way. the tools, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. But uh, David uh, Daniel Bentley won the uh, mini stock race. So, good show for those guys. And Man, that's that's pretty pretty uh, pretty good. They had a good crowd. I understand they had a pretty good crowd because it was a, a close section. Kind of like they used to do it late models at uh, Bristol. You know, only one section for the fans. We'll go with that. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> we're going with that. I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> points in the Cars Tour late model stocks. Josh Berry is your leader, sixty three points uh, over six points over Bobby McCarty in second. Deke McCaskill third. Uh, Taylor Gray in fourth. Tommy Lemons Jr. fifth. Uh, Brandon Pierce sixth. Bradley McCaskill is seventh, and Stacy Perrier rounds out the uh, top eight. Ninth is Zach St. Ange. Brody Pope rounds out your top ten, tied for tenth with Lane Riggs. Boy, Lane is not off to a good start this year. He's going to good to a good place to get that correct. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. What a better place for him to go. Right here. Yeah, yeah, him and his dad, they're pretty decent. And uh, they said that he was pretty fast this weekend. Everybody I've talked to said that yeah. Craig Moore was the fastest guy there yeah. this weekend in testing. <laughs> yeah. So. Cool. That's I'm good. hoping one of those local guys, I don't care if it's Lane or Craig mm-hmm. or Josh Oakley or uh, Ronald Hill. Are you or, going there Wednesday? You know, I'm, I'm Ronald Hill. I'm the people's racer. That's Ronald Hill. Hill. I heard there's a lot of guys going Wednesday, yeah. I'm sure they are. Yeah, you that's what I heard there. today. I mean, you can From test. From multiple uh, sources. I guess you can basically test there every day this week. So. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? I thought you yeah. couldn't. I thought Wednesday was like the first day. And then, But I, I'm not sure about that. I don't know. That, that's kind of what I heard. I mean, I I guess Chris the, said on the, the show track. last week that basically you get a week of testing. Okay. From Saturday. I didn't. Right. I got it. So, from everything you heard, the track's okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Chris said last week on the show that, uh, you know, the track was in great condition. I asked somebody who was there today, a member of uh, Craig Moore's team, and they said it was super fast. Wow. Nice. Perfect. So I looked on the website just uh, before I left Winston, and they haven't changed the uh, pre-entries. It's still at 31, but I I knew from seeing social media some of the teams that were there testing and talking about the big race that's not on the list. So it's going to be quite a few cars. I mean, I only think I seen one. One car that was not on the and what was the his list. what was his number where he said he would be happy? I remember last week he gave us forty five. Is that what it was? And I have said from day one. Mm-hmm. I, we said a guy it, even messaged me today well, Jack about said, what sixty? Yeah, yeah, the, but come on, Jack. Jack <laughs> was uh, he was pretty. You know, he was thinking outside the box there. I believe he he was really trying to go for it. But uh, um, I, I mean, I, I think uh, I think. You know, it'll be interesting. I, I think you're going to have with the forty, the forty-ish cars mm-hmm. that you're going to have there. Yeah, um, it's the think, best of the best. I mean, yeah, I mean, right. I think out of those cars, I'd say thirty of them could probably win the race. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, that's a good feel. I mean, that's what you get at Martin. Who's the unknown? You know, we get it's one? the same thing we talk about every year with Martin's Bill. We used to have 140 cars. Now we just don't have the 40 cars that were going to make the race anyway. Exactly. I exactly. mean, it's it's about it's the, the quality is still there. 
Hundred uh, percent. Everybody talking about Bubba Pollard on here on the comments. Randy yeah. Weaver, what happened and, to him? Brandon Clements, and all you know. Is talking he race? about. I mean, they say he's racing. He was uh, supposed to have been in a Nelson uh, Motorsports entry, uh, but that deal did not, uh, according to Barry Nelson, did not come through. Um, so he will not be in a Nelson entry. So I don't know what he's driving. Well, we had that audio where he was talking about. Uh, uh, he's yo, not driving for Jamie. For fathead, no. Yeah. I thought he was driving Jamie's stuff. Yeah. Well, I, from what I gathered, the motor that was in Jamie's car went to uh, uh, Ashton Higgins. That's what somebody told me. I don't know that to be fact, uh, but, you know, so. I mean, Jamie can't find a motor? <laughs> That's a good conversation. I don't know. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> well, I think the series is off to a good start because two races, first two races, two different winners, you know, two totally different types of races. So, I, I, I think it's really exciting going into this big race. Oh, 100%, man. I mean, this this race is going to be, uh, you know, the Nelson team, speaking of, you know, they had the white knight out. That's oh, yeah. uh, going to be Timothy Peters' car uh, uh-huh. for this weekend. And it, was, it was bad fast, too. Uh, I'm sure it was. I mean, and, you know, Timothy's got all kinds right. of laps Come there, on. and he's extremely right. yeah. good there. Um, and, and But, I mean, all their cars should be good. I mean, yeah. you know, Ty, you know, if we can It'll avoid, be good racing, avoid sure. running into anybody, he will be exceptional. Yeah. Um, you know, Bobby McCarty's going to be really good. Timothy will really save good. His stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, then the you have the trio from uh, Lee Pulliam's camp. Lee, of course, yeah. running one. Brandon Pierce, Corey Heim. I mean, any one, of, really, any one of those six drivers could win. Um, you know, and then you got so many other people yeah. that Deke, can win. Deke runs so Tell good you what, there. My man Ronald <laughs> Hill had had some phenomenal runs Background. last year. If it wasn't for mechanical right. issues, so. He could hey, be. Ronald, Ronald will be I'm good. I'm telling you, man. I am. I am so excited. I'm, I'm really hoping to see him do well. Right. I mean, I, 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 any yeah, of those locals. Good track man. for him. Yeah. If Ronald don't win the race, he's going to win the party. He's going to win the party. Absolutely. I mean, I'm doing Josh Oakley's hero cards this week, so I hope he signs a bunch of them and has to buy some more. <laughs> so, you know, and I did Stacy, so I hope he signs them all nice. this week, too. So. Get a little extra on the side. Right. Anybody need hero cards? Oh, you know? come that was a cheap <laughs> plug. <laughs> Dang, he's bought some hero cards. You got Corey's done? You got his? Y- yes, we're having. He's actually. Hey, remember, he's gonna. We're remember, gonna take him to the bar wait, down there when that. they do the autograph session, and he's gonna be signing. Did you do any for Tony Stevens? Don't, no, but remember, we could use that photo. When that dude, <laughs> remember the last time ten years ago we did this, and Tony Stevens wheeled out his hero card. Oh my God! Yes, I do remember, remember that, that for our racing or something. Yeah, well, that oh was a go kart thing or something, right? He was like Jeez. had Kodiak or Kodak stuff on, <laughs> and he was like, he was on like up on a tire with like a glamour shot. Let's see if we can get it in the chat. Oh my God! Oh. I know Kim's probably got it right. Like you can find I know it the somewhere. Remember you're talking about? Yes. He's got like oh, a. He was racing over there at LaJoy's at the field filler. This thing. will be worth it. That's when it was the field. Field filler the field thing. Right. Yeah. This this picture yeah. is a hundred percent worth it. Yeah. For anybody that's going to go to the car store race this week, they definitely will want to see this before they go. <laughs> I yeah. did not initiate that, Tony. That's all them. No, nah, we. <laughs> it's, cool. it's a sign of love, we're, man. We're throwing him as far under the bus as we can get him, and we're going to back up a couple times. <laughs> no, that was a cool well, shot, Tony, man. Tony's the one that put it out there, right? Yeah, I mean, he's. It's yeah. on his. Uh, t- it's on his Facebook somewhere. Yeah, right? Kind of like Andy's profile picture. I didn't do that. Yeah. He put it out there. Right. <laughs> right. I didn't do that. He gave that away. <laughs> Steve Bashimi. <laughs> 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 he looks just like oh, Reservoir yeah. Dogs. Wow. And right. speaking of which, let's do a little details on the big race for the fans, information for the fans. Friday, uh, they got practice. Uh, it's free to, to go in and watch practice. I think they'll be practicing on and off. They have a schedule between 3.30 and 6.30. That's Friday in Orange County. Um, and then don't forget they got the uh, Fan Fest downtown uh, Hillsboro. They got volume records and beer. They got uh, Hot Tin Roof, Wits Frozen Custard, and Village Diner, uh, all right there within close proximity down in uh, downtown Hillsboro. So I want to see all those fans come out to the track and then come see the drivers because I think the tour is going to have the drivers there. And I think, uh, man, I'd love to be there doing some broadcasting. That'll be a whole lot of fun Friday night. Uh, Saturday, grandstands open at <laughs> 4 o'clock. Are you doing that? We are, can. You, are you broadcast? That's oh, up to the boss. Oh, so you're trying to goat Langley. Yes, that's exactly so what you were trying doing. to draw Langley do it, out do of it, the weeds do it. right there. That's Man, exactly I'm telling what you. Him. As much as Langley talks about us two not going to the racetrack, I would have thought he'd have been right on it. You wouldn't even have had yeah. to ask him. All right, hang on. Hey, you do know I went to two races no, I, and y'all went to oh, one. Oh, I'm sure you've right. told and us Corey, times. Technically, Corey went to 1.1 because he didn't watch that race because he didn't even know what the hell happened. score. Come on, man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This weekend, Saturday, April 6th, grandstands for the fans open at 4. Late model stock time trials at 5. Top 5, and here's what we come up with. Top 5 are locked into the feature. Heat races start at 7. There's four heat races, 30 laps each. Top 4 advance to the feature. Then they'll have a last chance race, 30 lap race. 5 will advance to the feature. 
Then the last two will be provisionals by the tour. Sunday, grandstands open at 12 noon. Fan, fan Fest at 110, as per the uh, uh, the rundown on the, the website. Green Flag, Sunday, April 7th at 3 p.m. 200 laps, late model stock car racing. I just like that it's a day race. Yeah, yeah I day really races do too. are so much I love better day than races. Night races. And speaking of which, I just saw Carteret uh, change there yeah. for the next two weeks because they had such a good positive feedback. Right. Yeah, I've seen uh, some of the racers on there yeah. wanting them to change it. So it and they did. Moves. They listened to the racers. That's what, you know, I think it's cool. Yep. Yep. I really for like sure. that. That's all I got. That's all yep. you got? <laughs> yeah. That was a lot. You know, talking about day races, if I had a track, we would race every Sunday at 2 o'clock. Hey, man. I love that. You're, you're speaking my language. I love here. that. You, you know, you're I not doing nothing that. Sunday afternoon, you know. Uh, I did find that 2 o'clock was too early. Yeah, but, probably uh, so. I, and, and honestly, I had the best luck with fans later in the day and the worst luck with racers later in the day. Yes. Uh, they're, they're, uh, hey, we don't have time for that here, <laughs> that man. That was awesome. Hey, we like the sounds in the background no, here. So, yeah, that's uh, they're, good. They're back here tearing apart Thomas that's, Bean's that's car. That's proof that they are still working. Yeah. Right. I mean, there's no proof that Roger's ever worked, but there's proof that Thomas Everybody's and, uh, the dirty here except for Roger. I do notice that. Wait a minute. That whoa, is whoa, whoa, whoa. fact. How would you just get thrown under this? They always do. I was grinding today. Yeah, yeah. it's only because you seen the dude on the video camera and rushed out here to we pretend like you were working camera. on this. Don't lie. I we seen don't. it in your office. No, we do not have videos here. <laughs> we don't want anybody to know what's going on in here. I think you need a video in here running 24-7. I know. You know, I talked about it. I think that I think that'd be something cool. Right? right? Like, just... I don't know. I think maybe people would want to see in that. We we talked about it. That might be something in the next week or two. Yep. I agree. If I can 100%. try to do. You okay? My kickstand fell. Oh, jeez. Oh, um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so wow. many what, directions we could go with that. Wow. Um. Anyways, uh, Brett Suggs uh, chiming in. He uh, run his first uh, truck race this past weekend in the uh, Southeast Super Truck yeah. Series. He's talking about uh, them going uh, caution free for seventy five laps, and I don't. It's bad. I don't even remember. That they went caution free, but you know it was so a great. It was, it was a such good, a great and, race. And you're giving me yeah. hell. I, you were there watching. Well, listen, it. Yeah, but he it was said such it was a great a good race. race. He told me the first I thing. Yeah. The, I mean, I didn't think about cautions or anything because yeah. I mean, those guys raced. It was like the top four for like the last half of the race were all over each other. Um, Tommy Houston, I believe it's his grandson Clark, uh, yeah. was in uh, was in one of the trucks, and I mean, he was so he was he runs so good yeah. to be his first race. Yeah, you told me it was great. Which I mean, if you think about Tri County throughout the years. It's not really much crash fest because there's so much room to race there. Right. No, totally agree. I mean, Tri-County is an amazing racetrack. I mean, it's amazing how many grooves there are for those guys to race in. Like, those top four were all over each other. They were nose to tail, but they were in different lines. But it's always – that's the thing I can't figure out. It's always been like that, right? Right. Like, every – you you haven't gone there where it's been like, well, the top sucks. You can't get – I mean – Right. Th- and it was big splits. You know, you could run sometimes th- – there was three lines there. The only race I've ever seen that sucked there was the car store race last year. I don't know whose bright idea it was to have uh, I, uh, stage races at Tri-County. Let, let's not try to fix a racetrack that's right, not that's okay. broken here. Right. If they wanted yeah. to do that, they should have did that at Southern National. As long as the pavement out. stays down at Tri-County, you're a winner. Uh, that, right? As long as the pavement stays that's, down, you That's pretty won. questionable right. right there. Did they have any problems with it this weekend? Um, no, not, not as problems. As past, no, right? I mean a few pieces come up here and there, but I mean, but nobody's yeah. windshield was blown yeah. out like last time, right? Yeah, I didn't see any. I didn't see any Amberlynn windshields out yeah, there. Yeah, that was so. bad. Yeah, that was really, really, really bad. Um, but man, that that was such a great race. The limited race was great. Um, both of them were great. Clint King, you know, getting victory lane. You mentioned yeah. it earlier, Doc. Man, yeah. it, it took me back to like you know when he was running the past truck series. You remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that is way back. That's got to be two thousand eight. He looked like he was nine. nine. Yeah, he, was. he still looks. <laughs> no, no, he's, he's got a beard now. He's got a beard now. Know, he looks like Grizzly <laughs> Adams. Yeah. Speaking of Grizzly Adams, he just walked through the door back here. Boo Boo Dalton uh, walking through the uh, door here at uh, Performance Center. Um, we'll have him on. Uh, we'll have him on here in a little bit. We'll <laughs> he him. brought his dad with him. Oh hell! That, that's his. Bo- that's his bodyguard right <laughs> oh, there. Man. Yeah, that's a, that's the bodyguard. He knew that Zach Bruinger was here last time they seen each other. I think they were in an Applebee's fighting or something. So, <laughs> Sweet. Um, Let's get you know, it we'll started. Have to, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Turn the camera on. Yeah. We might have to. We might have to flip the switch on the camera. Over yeah, here I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised you guys not doing the April Fool's thing like we talked about. I wanted to. I really did. I was going to put up uh, for April Fools. I was going to put up a uh, uh, headline that said that uh, Lee and Forrest were both going to be here in the studio. Oh man, uh, that together. Been dirty. Yeah, I, I think it would have been great to. Yeah, it'd been even greater if we could have pulled that off. Yeah, I would have um, loved that. Did you pull but, any? Did you pull any at work today? 
Hmm? You didn't do any t- work today or anything? Did, what are you, what talking, are you talking about? April Fool's jokes. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, no, 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 okay. no, 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 no. No, he's afraid of he's getting pretty, tired. He's pretty no. creative. I thought he'd come up with something. No, no. I read this. Everything's so corny with it now, and it's so everybody looks for it. I don't know. Right. Think up something different. I mean, I did see something on uh, Facebook today that wasn't an April Fool's joke, and uh, that was uh, Austin Wayne self uh, getting busted for uh, substance abuse. Oh. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah. You know. You know. <clears throat> it wasn't abusing driving skills, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, oh, you wow. know. <clears throat> Uh, Corey, Corey. How old is he, Corey? How old is he? Is he 18? <laughs> Mike Looney. Is he 18? Great. Please, God, tell me he's 18. So, um, I don't know, Mike. I don't know. <laughs> Corey, Corey Rose said that uh, Boo Boo is late for work, too. It's a, it's normal. Yeah, Actually, he is 30 deal. minutes early here. Yeah. So, oh, wow. I mean, that's uh, that's, that's pretty impressive. Uh, so. <clears throat> Uh, but you know, speaking of this past weekend, let's uh, dive into uh, South Boston. Um, you know, everybody's seen <laughs> wow. the videos by now. Uh, yeah. First of all, what's what's your take on the wreck itself? I mean, you know, I I, I didn't you see it till to the Corey next go day. All PC yeah, right there. Like, no, I didn't see it till the next day. Hell, I don't, you're right. I didn't see it till the next day on the video. He just but tries I mean, to wind you up. Do you I, know, I know, that? I know. Okay, <laughs> but actually, and it works every time. Right, <laughs> like, right. right after it happened, I was messing Lee back and forth, and I won't say everything we talked about. But yeah, it, not. he said pretty much mean? like That's I was, people want to know. Pretty what much like I about? saw the video. You know, Philip. Muscle him out of the way. That's what Philip drives. He gets sure. to you. He's not waiting on nothing. Sure. He's moving. And he in. doesn't care if you do that to him. No, he put the bumper to him. They got in the corner. It looked like Lee hit him awful hard. It, it did look like it. But like he said, he said, he said, I was, you know, going to stay tucked up under him because he just moved me out of the way. He said, but he tried to back his corner up, you know, kind of drug the brakes a little bit earlier than he thought. And he was already up under the car. Eh, I don't know, man. <laughs> Roger, Roger isn't fond of your explanation yeah, here. I don't know, I'm, man. I'm fine with everybody's explanation. I just find it intriguing. Well, well what's your take? I don't have one. <laughs> or shit. I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and tell you. That's I, a lie. I don't have one. <laughs> I mean, you know, you, you watch the wreck. What happened? I don't know. I couldn't see it from my angle. I I uh, I, I don't know. I can I think Philip moved him. I think sure. he, he moved For Philip sure. a little harder than Philip moved him. I'm not saying that's yeah. wrong. I'm right. just saying I'm, I don't care what any of it is. I don't think the actions that resulted in the end sure. were – what they should have been, no matter what happened on the racetrack. Yeah, right? if, if, if Philip, if, if Philip hadn't written hit the wall, we would not be having the conversation at all, you know. But it just, yeah, he, but it th- went around and that was would it. Would we not? I don't, I don't know. Say you it know, again. With the way things are right now, between you know, fortunately, there's no love loss there. It has never been. No. Um, you know, had Philip just spun around? Uh, I mean, does Force still? You know, is he still mad at him after the race? I don't know. I've seen him do some crazy stuff. So I mean, <laughs> right. You know. I mean, but where does it stop, right? Like, that's where I'm the most disappointed about the whole thing, to be real honest with you, because that's kind of what it is. Like, where does it stop? I, well, I like, that that's a bad deal. That, that could have ended way, way, yeah, way, Yeah, oh, it could have ended terribly way, bad. Terribly bad. I mean, you know, we went through all that with Tony Stewart and, and Tony Stewart hitting that kid on the racetrack, and, you know, NASCAR clamped way down, and then – Drivers weren't supposed to get out of your car, then blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I'm, I'm cool with the – Before that, we had Derek Stoltz drag Mike Robertson halfway around a whole lap around the track, and we celebrated it, and it was on every TV, right. Good Morning America and everything, and 8 million people come out to see it the next week. So Right. I mean, it's you – know. you know, I we're a society of if it doesn't go bad, it's okay. Right. You know what I mean? No, right. Yeah. And, and listen, I'm not – I'm definitely not saying that what Lee did was wrong. I mean, I mean – what do you do? I'm jumping right. in my car. I'm strapped in a car. Right. I don't know I, right. I mean, and the way those seats are now Listen, and everything right. is, there know. is nothing you can do. That is the one thing that I will say. I will say this, that I do not in any way think that if the roles were reversed and I was in Lee Pulliam's race car when that happened, that I would have done anything any different. I can't, right. I can't say that I would have. I, right. Knowing, number one, I'm strapped in here, right? Like, I... Is he going to hit me in the face? Are we going to throw down? What's going to happen? What is it? You know, right. I, I don't know. Right. I, I, yeah. I, I, I would. Yeah. I mean, Patrick Coleman chiming in with basically the same thing. He said, I would have done what Lee done right. 100% and then got out and eh, got out of my shit and whipped his ass. Right. I mean. Yeah. When, and, 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 and Lee, think, as soon as he fell off, Lee stopped right, right. after that, you know. And they just <laughs> did he actually pull a wire? I'm, I should have asked Lee that earlier. Yeah, I don't know. I don't no, know no, if he because did I talked to. Uh, because if he just pulled him. the wire, you know, he could have got it. They back. don't. They don't have them wires where you can reach them anymore. Got you. Yeah. So what was he reaching for then? Uh, him. I, guess. I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't gotta ask him. I don't know. Right. I just I mean, can't believe it went down I mean, like that. Well, I can go ahead and tell you, Forrest did, did not respond to my text yeah, today. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't figure it yeah, out. I, I did not anticipate so. him responding to my text today. Philip did not respond to my text today. Lee did. So, but yeah. I, um, I've heard you know. that much, too. You know, like, I, I, I think a lot of people are crapping on Forrest right now, and, and I'm, I'm fine with everybody's opinion, but... Also, there's got to be some stress there. Well, I mean, hell, you're about as psycho as he is. I, We're talking I, I, about a fender over well, and, here earlier, and, and you about flipped and, out. And see, that's some of the things that I'm, I'm going to actually – I'm not going to stand up for the actions sure. because I, I don't think that that was right, but I am going to stand up for the mindset. And, I mean, this still can drive you nuts. It really can. It's it's broke a lot bigger men than than Forrest or me or, or whatever else. I think so many people just demanding so much at such a high level all the time – and they have plenty of money, so they can afford to buy it. Right. And you're the guy that can perform it for them. So they're right. trying to figure out how to get that. And they're going to keep squeezing you and squeezing you and squeezing you. Yeah, I and, get that. But there's so many others that don't do that, though. Yeah, but right. I, I, but everybody's different. And right. everybody yeah, I know. I, know. I, I, I get that. I just don't know. I, and I, Forrest, not, is, Forrest is high strung anyway. Right, I mean, but I'm not know. in his shoes, right? Like, I'm not, I don't know what he, so. I, I just I, wish I, he'd have jumped on the hood like a spider monkey. Done something cool, been right? Like, been on the roof and Lee took off then. Hey, right? hey like, speaking of it, Franklin County, we had a mini cup race, and a dude wrecked another dude, and he literally jumps on. You know, they got those little holes. Yeah. There. He hangs on and has a beer in one hand. <laughs> That's I mean, he just got out of the car. <laughs> it was great and held on for like two laps, man. That's it was awesome. fantastic. That is amazing. Oh, man. Yeah, but, uh, I, I, I'm sad for the whole – I'm actually – I'm sad for the sport. I'm good for the – you know, I, I like the, the PR. I mean, some of, a friend of mine in Ohio told me that they saw it today. That tells you how far the reach has gone. Oh, yeah. He said he saw the caption, and he was like, please don't be Roger. Please don't be Roger. <laughs> <laughs> he said, and I saw it wasn't you. I was, so he called me. So, I mean, it's reached right. a long distance. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think last look, uh, the video that we reposted from uh, – uh, Jeremy Martin, I think, is who it was uh, that we pulled the video from. It had two hundred and thirty-four thousand views, yeah. so it's been around right. wow, yeah, quite a right. bit. I mean, yeah, and that's just the way the world is. I mean, yeah, you would rather say, "Hey, well, I've seen this video now because I've seen some great racing." Man, nobody care about that. Well, I mean, as much as like, we like, talk, like, like we do, we talk about it every week. Fans don't come to see cars run around in at circles. All. We do at all. Yeah. They don't. Yeah, I know. at all. I mean, if Bowman Gray is a prime example that people do not go to see cars just run around in circles. No, there's entertainment with it. Yeah. I mean, uh, Knights of Destruction sell out. Uh, figure eights sell out. Right. I mean, it's just the way it is. Uh, some people chiming in. Ryan Nelson said tempers always get the best of us. Um, Alex uh, Miller says that. Uh, he says, if you're man enough to climb in my car and want to fight while I'm strapped in, you must be itching for a ride. No, I don't disagree with that. I don't disagree um, with that at all. Uh, Patrick Coleman says that uh, Forrest is embarrassed, uh, uh, and that's why he didn't answer. Uh, he said he would be embarrassed. No, I think I, 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 I think I, he's very smart by not saying anything right now at this well, point. Well, I'll be honest with you. I, I actually – I actually I believe opposite. I think right now his best defense would be a great offense, to explaining situation, whatever, whatever he can. Yeah, but we don't know. NASCAR's taught him to so shut your mouth, do whatever. Uh, I don't. You, you don't know what's happening on the side. Well, I, I can tell you this. Um, I don't know whether the uh, the penalty will come from NASCAR or South Boston. I talked to Nick earlier. Um, the owner of South Boston, and uh, he said that uh, there will be no penalty for Lee. Actually, when I asked him what the penalty, if there was going to be a penalty for Lee, you know, driving off, he said, well, what did he do to get a penalty? Right. So, I mean, I that was his that. response. I agree yeah. with that. Um, and the, he said that there would be a penalty um, for Forrest, and I have been told by other people in the know, not Nick, that it will be an indefinite suspension, and there may be stipulations to him coming back, whether that's anger management or other things. Um, so that's 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 the road, the path we're on. That'll come out tomorrow. I don't know if it'll come out through NASCAR or from South Boston because Nick wasn't sure, uh, but he did tell me you know things I could repeat and things I could not repeat. So yeah, um, you know, I think they got to stop it. Well, I, I, I mean, the one thing I will say, you know, like. And Lee alluded to, you know, Lee had that interview this morning. I, I think there was a lot of things good on it. Yeah. Um, 
You know, they he had did, a great, he had a great interview, him. you know, before yep. you, he had a great interview on Speed 51, this morning bull ring. If you haven't heard it, you know, you when we're done, yeah, yeah. go check it out because, I mean, he talks about, you know, the wreck and what his take on what happened was. And, you know, of course, you've basically said what his uh, take was, Corey. But, uh, you know, and then he talks about, uh, you know, the history between uh, between him and Forrest and uh, Forrest and Travis Kiker. Uh, yeah, yeah he know. goes into detail, well, I mean, too. I mean, <laughs> and, 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 like, it's worth the listen and if and you listen, get a chance. People – People, a lot of people in racing already know, but basically at the Dutch Inn, he was a little intoxicated about, you know. Who was? Uh, Forrest was uh-huh. seven or eight years ago, however long it was. Might have been ten years ago. Well, yeah, it was yeah. longer as I was still doing the right, thing. right. Yeah. And uh, and so he, uh, you know, he decided that uh, he told Travis Geiker that he was going to lay his his junk out on his arm. And by junk, you mean what? <laughs> twice, no, I mean, told him twice. His, Travis, uh, Travis man park. In, in the words of Lee Pulliam, his private parts. Private parts. And, and okay. he did, and uh, it didn't work out for no, him. No, no, he didn't. He he thought he tried. It didn't make it. That far. Well, he, he so let's he get. I want to get this. Straight. Yeah. Let's so say. He, I, I just want to clarify because I'm kind of confused. Yeah, I don't so think what you're, you're saying <laughs> is that <laughs> Forrest and Kiker were into it, and Forrest said, "I'm going to put my." I, I think he was just talking to Travis at that point. I think it was Travis and Brian Dean, I believe. Yeah. Um, and uh, he was talking, and you know, Forrest Forrest likes to talk. Right. You know, he's really good at. He talking. don't talk to me much, so I don't know. Well, yeah. He's go ahead. really good at talking, and uh, I believe he, you know, decided that he was gonna. He thought it'd be funny, and Travis wasn't too fond of that idea. <laughs> I don't think Travis found it was funny. Was there alcohol? A lot of alcohol. Uh, I'm sure it was a okay. lot of alcohol. Freaking Dutch Inn, man. Oh, I've never been. You know, Forrest. Uh, <laughs> that was a lie. I'm sorry. I can't say that. I have never been. <laughs> Forrest comes into the racetrack the next morning. Uh, has looks, looks uh, like a raccoon. Two black eyes. Oh yeah. no. And. Uh, He's uh, in no shoes. Uh, oh, they dropped him off. No. Cops dropped him off outside to, out to try to track there, and he comes in with no shoes and two black eyes. So, I mean, it was uh, it was exciting times at uh, at Martinsville, and obviously exciting times at the Dutch Inn. There's plenty of stories that have ended that way say, at the Dutch Inn. So. You can't really pick on him for that. There's probably a lot of things. Yeah. I know I've seen quite so, a few things at the Dutch Inn. There's but with been. that said, there's a lot of history right. between right and, and sure. And from what I'm told, um, last year when Corey Heim was disqualified, um, I think. And this is obviously hearsay. I'm not saying, you know, that any person involved told me this, that, uh, you know, Corey was one pushing. I mean, not Corey, but uh, Forrest was one pushing for them to check for that. This was a skew deal? Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the just skew it. If you need a T-shirt, got them online. Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> but, uh, um, you know, so he's pushing for it. And then afterwards, after they basically get disqualified and, you know, it's going to – not necessarily the appeal process because I don't think there was an appeal process, but um, you know I guess uh, Forrest was taunting uh, Lee and his crew uh, by driving around with his music blaring, driving around their car wow. uh, while they were working to get it loaded up. Um, so there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of history here between uh, between Forrest and Lee and, and Forrest and Travis Kiker who owns Lee's car, and I mean. I don't. And I Philip don't, and Lee, and just I mean, well, well, yeah, there's that. I mean, that's, and the whole thing. That's the two that's best there is. So you're going to have them, right? And and I mean, it. the two, those two guys, though, they accept that they are great rivals. Yeah, I think they're yeah. both you know good, I mean? right? Like they, they yeah. know that they play they, the game. Well, and they both know that. Hey, this this guy over here, I need he him. may be the best I've ever raced. Right. You know what I mean? And, and yeah. on both sides, they they look at each other that way. I think. I mean, I think Lee said that in his interview on Fifty One. Um, you know, so I mean. There's, you know, it, the thing about it is, is <clears throat> these guys they're going to race and they're probably going to wreck each other more times before this season's over with. Yeah. Brad Allen, the race director at South Boston Speedway, I'd say that the seat up there is pretty hot because things yeah. are going to get out of control. <laughs> I wow. mean, Quick. and I don't think anybody expected race two of the season was uh, was going to get uh, that that out of control. But uh, here we are. Here we are. You know, talking about it and, and Forrest for Forrest, and I'm not trying to throw him under the bus because I've known him since he was five years old, and and I, uh, you know, I'm not going to say I consider him a friend, but he's he's not an enemy. Okay. Sure. Um, yeah, I don't think of him as an enemy. We so, but build opposite uh, cars. Brad yeah. Allen, 15 minutes after the whole thing happened, asking for a friend to modify just make people a little more crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Text me. <laughs> <laughs> right. For a friend. Right. Um, but uh, you know, I, I don't think anybody expected it to happen this soon. But you know, these guys. That, that's just, the whole thing. I didn't. Expe- I expected it. To, well, not right. this to happen, but something to happen, but not this. You know, second I race mean, of the season. I, you know, there. I'll be honest with you. With the way you know. You know, Forrest left his team, you know, at uh, South Boston and, you know, story, you know, we did, you yeah. know, talking him and Daryl Poe, they don't really like each other and, um, you know, all that. And, and I have been told that, uh, I don't know, I don't, you know, I don't know this to be fact either, but I've been told that oh, uh, Forrest, Forrest and the rest of the team has been told not to talk to media 
So, um, you know, probably a good idea after the last uh, article, you know, because I got way more information out of them than uh, I probably should have been able to get um, over that deal. But, uh, <clears throat> you know. I just don't want to see anybody get killed. I mean, I, I, listen. I, 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 I think this was a one-off weird thing. I mean, yeah, right. yeah. I, I don't think I'm not dogging him for that. I'm, both teams I'm and both sides for, have so much clash. You're not going to see I'm nothing. Not, I'm, but I'm saying crazy. even for Lee, right? Like, say, uh, right, even for Lee, he, I, I don't think he did wrong, right? I don't think he no. did wrong by driving. But the problem is, if if he gets sucked up underneath the tire or something happens, now Lee's living with that on his con- – sure. like, he doesn't want to be sure. put in that position. Well, no, of course he don't. I mean, no. I, I, and he shouldn't have to be. That That's the thing that I well, – I mean, I, I'll be honest with you as a racer. If if I, if I was Lee, I'd have grabbed his arm and rode him around the racetrack for a couple laps. Yeah, just, oh, Just for to sure. give him a real but, good feeling. Right. Yeah. If you jumped in my car out here – I mean, <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm taking you for a well, ride, I'm, right? Absolutely. I'm like, sure I'm he's, the he's still feeling you. rolling across the ground, though, more than riding in a car. So. Well, uh, I mean, you know, the the problem is, you know, Forrest has been hit harder than that before. So, <laughs> I mean, this wasn't gosh. even like his hardest hit. So, gosh. I mean, you know, and, I, and I'm not trying to make light of it. I mean, it is what it is. It's just. Uh, I, well, it's kind of got to. You have to make a little bit of light about it. I, I just can't. I can't fathom that it went down that way. Right. I, right. I just. I can't fathom that it went down that way. I mean, uh, you know, I'll be honest with you. I didn't see Forrest being there. With with Philip this past weekend, and and it was weird. I did not see him, and maybe he did show up, uh, you know, in Victory Lane, but I didn't see him in Victory Lane on Fans Choice when they were there because I was specifically looking for it. So I didn't even, you know, I didn't know what was going on. Obviously, we didn't have anybody there. Corey said he was going to take photos, but you know, didn't yeah. make it. Um, <clears throat> he had a few too many beers with uh, with uh, Roger at. Uh, we didn't have too many beers at, no, on Friday all. night, I think, not or something. All. I only had a one. Yeah, we had one. <laughs> it was a five-gallon bucket. <laughs> I was getting was ready to one. say it was a big one yeah. then. <laughs> yeah, we got a. We went to a regular restaurant. Got a Mexican beer. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, that'll do it every time. That thing was huge. <clears throat> um, uh, Alex Miller, who races at uh, King Sport Speedway, uh, says that uh, we've all been on both sides of this situation. Uh, the reality is, someone will eventually get hurt bad if yep. not killed. I mean, obviously that's already happened, right? Um, you know, albeit in a car with uh, you know no fenders around the tires, sure. so, you know, makes a whole different uh, whole different aspect there. And and I mean, Even my worse. opinion, yeah, my opinion. I mean that 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 kid asked for that to happen. He when went, he came at him, you mean? Sure. Yeah. I mean, you know, you're gonna go grab the wing of a car, right, you know, Which right. is what it looked like. Right. That's know? what the difference was. Opinion. Those cars were still rolling, you right. know, yeah, when that incident minute. happened, when and then there was red the flag track? when he went on the track. Right. Like, right. Yeah. You, I yeah. mean, you, yeah. you can't just enter the racetrack. Do you think was... Force would have done that if it had been under yellow? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I, don't I mean, know. It, you Maybe know, through the radio from this side of the wall instead of going out on the track. Yeah, I you can know? see that. I don't. So. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about. I don't either. Personal I, things, but Lee brought it up in his interview earlier, and I'm not diving into that. But there's some things going on in Force life. Okay, so you know his his life is uh, is is not you know uh, you know all rosy. So you know. Yeah, but neither is mine. That's not for me to judge. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Me, me well, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is is you know we don't know what was going through his. For we sure. don't know, you know. For sure, you're right. You're right. We just don't know. You know what I mean? Right. You're right. Um, you know, when I saw the video, he was walking towards, you know. The I car. thought he was just going to throw his hands yeah. up, and, and then know, all whatever. of a sudden he snapped. So right. I thought maybe I, I thought it was over after he spiked the radio off of the thing. Yeah. Right. Like I thought, right. okay, that'll end it. Right. Yeah. And then yeah. when he went in the side, I was like, oh no. And then you hear right. the car. Yep. And I'm like, yep. oh no. And wow, I, I don't know. I just, I just didn't expect that. <laughs> I, I hate it for both sides. I, I do really too. Do. I, I because yeah. I think it's a black eye on a guy that's really talented. Yeah, I, I, I really think he's very talented. That's and what I'll Lee said in that. his interview. I mean, Lee said that he's a super talented guy. Yeah, and uh, you know, just you know, I have respect for him. I mean, if you don't respect him, you, you I mean, you win the championship last year with Philip. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, I mean, not so, just win the championship, but they dominate for sure, right? So yeah. I, I don't think you can completely. Uh, I, I just and then I got a race with Gerald right. Peyton right. Sellers is loving it. Well, we'll we'll wrap this one up by quoting Greg Marlowe. Shit happens. Shit happens. <laughs> so that's what he said on the uh, on the chat here, and uh, we're gonna we're going a lot of to uh, in the chat. That's we're nice. gonna go with that on that part. Uh, one other thing that I did notice that was very interesting, and my wife just reminded me about it. Uh, Austin Thaxton actually pulls up to protect Lee. As Forrest is coming, if you watch the video, yeah, yeah I've seen that. that. Yeah. Yeah. Lee mentioned it in his interview with Fifty One, and, yeah. and I highly recommend you go listen to uh, the Morning Bull Ring uh, when you get done listening to us. Um, very good interview, but Austin Thaxton rolls up, and yeah, you know, I saw that. I didn't protect. know if that's the actually what he was doing or, or what. 
Yep. Well, that's I'm, cool. I, I don't – there was no other reason for him to roll up. So I'm I mean, gonna, did anybody ask him that specifically? Mm, no, nobody was there on our part to uh, cover it, and I don't think anybody else really noticed it. So I will ask him uh, to see. I w- we actually were talking about it uh, coming down the road, me and Kim were today, uh, talking about, you know, talking to uh, Austin Thaxton. Uh, about that uh, we had hoped to uh we had hoped to maybe get uh you know <clears throat> one of uh you know one of the people involved on the show as i said you know Forrest didn't respond philip didn't respond which th- both of those are fairly normal uh you know yeah, yeah. philip's not a big media guy yeah. no, he doesn't like not. social media They'll you know he's just not you know up. he 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 uh handles everything with uh the uh utmost class uh but i will say you know if i really wanted to talk to him i'd drive to Rutgersville just like i did the last time and just go to his <laughs> business and sit down in his office and talk to him so i mean uh you know it, but I, I don't think there's anything that uh that he needs to say at this point uh that uh you know really would do anything you know what i mean i mean what's he gonna say right I mean, yeah, I mean, what do you say about this? I mean, it, there's there's nothing to say. I mean, you know, Forrest is Forrest is going to be banned. I, whether that's a South Boston ban or a NASCAR ban, we'll see tomorrow. Um, I anticipate it'll be a NASCAR, you know, ban. I don't I don't think there's any way that uh, they can allow, you know, that to happen at one of their tracks yeah. and and not continue. Um, so from a legality, especially after it happened once, right? Like from a re- comes a liability, right? right. So that's the question, you know, another racing series. If he wants to go there, participate with one of his drivers, how do they approach that? Yeah, well, I, I mean, another think... racing series, that's on another right. racing series. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He goes to the Cars Tour race right. this weekend that's with Justin Carroll, yep, and I mean, all bets go. are off. I mean, that's unless Cars Tour was to go, you know, we're going to enforce this because we don't like this. And right. I don't think – I don't think that. I don't think that would happen. I don't either. I no. mean, you know <clears> – <throat> I, I get it. I mean, you know, me and you, Roger, we talked about it earlier, kind of, you know, how do you enforce that NASCAR ban? Because these guys aren't really, you know, right. if a guy who rolls in and he doesn't have a NASCAR license, he just signs in and pays extra money and right. rolls in. So how how do they control this? I, I, like, he's not a driver, right. so, you know, you're not going to say, oh, you can't race tonight. Right. He, I, I mean, and he holds a NASCAR license, but the NASCAR license at this level is no different than, like, a fan NASCAR license. I mean, right. it's not like you have a He just won't be allowed in the pits or, at a NASCAR sanctioned track. Yeah, okay. but how, Here's are you the gonna, how are you going to police that? If, if, let's say he rolls into Hickory Motor Speedway this weekend. People at the gate don't know who the hell he is anyway. Correct. I'm 100% positive nobody there knows who he is. So how do you do it? I mean, in the old days in the cup deal, we used to sit in the grandstands. What do they do now, right? Because they would know you, but now – you could go up to the gate, sign in, and walk in. Know. There was people that had drug charges on them that were going to the racetrack and saying that they didn't, they were just paid their $45 like anybody else. Take a Polaroid and email it to every track and put it in front of You can go in, in the, the pits at Hickory without know. a NASCAR license. You don't have to have a NASCAR license to go in the pits at anywhere. Right. No. That's so what's it matter? Bowman oh, Bowman Gray. Gray. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Bowman you have Gray, to have yeah. a NASCAR license. Bowman Gray. The only NASCAR track that I know of that requires you to have it, you cannot buy. You can you buy a temporary. Yeah. But you can't. Yeah. Bowman Gray. Twenty so, bucks. Yeah. What's it? Twenty five dollars for but that's temporary. The way, yeah. So it'd be forty five dollars. But, you know? but that's the way that the bigger series do it. I mean, you got to have it. It's not like you can just. You know sure. what I mean? Sure. That's uh. I just think that's just an interesting think they aspect. Can it. I, I, if the enforcing this is going to be, I mean, like you know, he goes to Langley, Shane Laws, and all those guys know him. Right. Okay? Yeah. Right. He goes to Dominion. Does anybody at Dominion know who he is? No. Or care? That's okay. my question, right? right? Yes. Like, sure. I just don't think this will sustain long against him that bad because I, I, I mean, I just don't know how you police it at this level. I don't know right. what. I don't either. And, and I don't think you're going to stop I don't anybody. Uh, Matt Cheatham brings up an interesting point that I did want to talk about tonight, and I actually forgot about it. He said uh, NASCAR officials should have stopped him um, on the track. Someone going to get hurt one day. Well, that NASCAR official had no idea that the dude was going to take off and run like he did. Right. He walks up. You know, yes, he's walking down there. Crew and those were the NASCAR the car officials, correct? Well, Didn't this we was a South Boston official okay. specifically that was standing in this spot. Okay. Uh, but in my opinion, he did absolutely nothing wrong because how was he to know that this guy's just going to take off at the last second and run across and jump across the wall? There's yeah. no way for that guy to know that. <laughs> I mean, I, I cannot blame <laughs> that guy in any way, shape, or form yeah, because it's just no – there's no way. And, I mean – My second thing, are you going after him? Okay, and here's, here's – I'm not well, going after yeah, him. And that's the next point, okay? So if you're this guy and you see him run out there, are you going to run out in front of nah. – Phil- Listen, I mean, uh, leave you're paying me twelve Williams bucks car? an hour. No. I'm not jumping out in front of oncoming traffic for twelve dollars an hour. I don't think no officials way. make that much. But well, I'm not dogging. I'm um, just saying. You come know, on. I mean, I'm just saying. It's 
Wow. What was he to yeah. do? Yeah, no, yeah, nothing. I don't. I, think. I think people are confused about how this happened. I mean, that uh, you know that that video is not in fast forward. Okay, <laughs> right. that's in well, real right. time. Right. So how that happened? There's no way. And I mean, you know, I'm not. I'm not dogging on the official in any way, shape, or form. He's probably 50 or 60 years old. He's he's not catching for us, okay? It's right. just not happening. It's, it's real easy to sit here at a hindsight and watch sure. it on video and sure. break it down. That guy's standing right there. He, the moment everything's going all to hell around him, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's there's 100%. not much you can do. 100%. There'll, there'll be both sides of this deal. I mean, there's it, this is what it's made out of. This is what it breeds, right? We're going right. to have people that think, damn, I'd love to have a guy that cares as much as that on my team. Right. And other guys are going to be like, holy cow, I'm afraid to spend money because he might stab me in the face after we're done. Sure. You, sure. I mean, you know, I, this will, I think there's going to be both sides to it. I think you're going to have to pick what side you're on and go with it. I mean, you know, the thing the thing that's uh, – that's just crazy is how people, you know, on our Facebook page have to post that video. You know, Lee should be charged with murder or you know, attempted murder. I'm like, get, get yeah, a grip no, here. Yeah, right. <laughs> get a grip. Right. <laughs> Literally, the guy has no other recourse, no other action that he can take no, at that point. Just stand there and let a guy do whatever to you? Right. No. I mean, it's strapped. I mean, I don't, and I don't think people realize how in those cars they are. I mean, they are, like, in there tight. Yeah. I mean, I just I don't I don't understand what uh, I even think it would have been different if he would have like dropped his window net and been on that side, but going in the other way it just kind of makes it different. Uh, Kevin Parker he he says he says hi and he said uh, that was a buck wild moment for sure. That was a buck wild. I love love that. Yes, (laughs) that was a good yes. Uh, Buck wild. He says it happened and it was misspelled. (laughs) <laughs> it was misspelled on, on the, the wall. wall. Yes, it thunded. was. Thunded. It was thunded I, we, at Franklin right. County. Right. Did it you was, say the guy had a heart attack? So it, it was, was yes. misspelled Corky, on yeah, the wall yeah, where they yeah, wrote he did. it. Instead of said thunder, it said thunded. Thunded. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Misspelled for everybody to see. Nobody said nothing about man, it. And uh, Kevin Parker, we miss you out there, man. We need to get you back on the racetrack uh, for sure. Um, Patrick Coleman and Ryan Nelson going back and forth talking about uh, uh, Patrick Coleman and Boo Boo having their run ins back in the day. Yeah. Uh, we'll bring Boo Boo on here in a minute uh, as we uh, wrap up racing, some of this. Man. Oh man, that was uh, Patrick Coleman and uh, Ziggy. <laughs> well, well, Ziggy and and Boo Boo and Patrick yeah. Coleman <laughs> and Ryan Glinsky. Yeah. Those yeah. were the days. I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> Speaking like of spider weeks. monkey, that's what Ryan <laughs> Linsky looked like. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, those uh, those were some good times right there for sure. Oh, man. Uh, Patrick Coleman said that uh, all of those people that uh, say that about uh, Lee, you know, with the attempted murder, they, they voted for Hillary. Yeah, so. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. <laughs> right. Uh, I didn't see one from Andy, so I don't know if it's true or not. But uh, um, yeah, but we just don't know, right? Like, uh, as Stephen Thompson says he wasn't hitting him. He was trying. He was trying to rip the wires yeah, out. But of he it. didn't like hold actually. Up the you, sign uh, Steve, and Stephen, like, I'll just go ahead and tell you, you don't know that. Right. You don't know what he was doing inside that car. There is no definitive evidence whatsoever of what he was doing inside of that car. So you don't know that. You you can assume that. Force can tell you that. Whatever. That's not. I mean, that's not what Lee said. Lee said that he had something in his hand. It was an Allen wrench he or wasn't something. Sure, sure. Something like that. So uh, you know. I don't know, but uh, I, anything else on this subject, uh, you guys? Want to talk I'm glad about? nobody got hurt. What do you think oh, happens sure. next as far as the racing between them? I think they're going to wreck each other again. 100%. Probably five or six times before the season's but over. But that's they're what gonna the year's going to be, right? Like, and then there, I mean, what's going to happen gonna no matter fight, what right. happened. So they, you think the crowd at the next South Boston race is going to be pretty good? I think if you live within, you know, 100 miles of South Boston, you should be at the next race April 20th. Yeah. I'll just go ahead and tell you. Um I think that's where I'll be the next race, which means nothing will happen. So, well, I, I don't. I think it'll calm down for a little while. But I, if you don't think I, they're gonna, I don't know. As long as they're running these twins, and I don't know if that's a twin night or not. But as long as they're running these twins, it's very, very possible with this, uh, you know, mandatory invert from NASCAR and stuff. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. Philip. Yeah. Let's say Philip's dominating or Lee's dominating. Whoever it is, they're gonna have to come through the field. Right. So. We're gonna have we're gonna have some exciting racing for sure. Yeah, hundred lapper, hundred lapper in the next race. So no, I'm not going. Um, but uh, you weren't gonna go anyway. You never go to racetrack. Oh my god, I went to more racetracks this year see, than you've been in the that? last five. I was just swinging at him, swinging at him. <laughs> oh man, I appreciate I, uh, everybody tuning hey, in. We actually had some people viewing. It's pretty nice. Yeah, absolutely, been yeah, uh, yeah. been a lot of uh, live viewers and, and and you know there's 77, 76, whatever it is on there right now. Uh, there's actually probably quite a few more because if you go on our website and watch through there, yeah, you actually routes. don't have to log into Facebook. You know all that. There's a lot of people that tell me, hey man, yeah. I listen. I'm like, well, I didn't see you on there. Well, I went watched it on the website. Oh, okay, yeah. that makes sense. I, I appreciate the people in the in the chat. 
Uh, um, absolutely, man. I, and I do think that uh, you know we need to. We're going to work on our chat. We're actually going to set up another another uh, another way to chat uh, that makes this um, a little more interactive. Um, so we're going to work on that in the next couple Still, weeks. At, uh, is the an, an, um, what would that word be? Anonymity? Anonymity? Rob Nelson said, ask Corey what James Savali would do in this situation. <laughs> I don't even want to know. <laughs> yeah. That would be entertaining. For yeah. Sure. yeah. Savali, of course, uh, modified racer. Um, yeah. Pretty uh, pretty badass racer. Had a little controversy around himself before. How about Ace Friday? Oh, man. That yeah. was, that was uh, an interesting fr- – you know, I get there, you know, there's not very many cars. I'm like, man, this is going to suck. Yeah. Um, you know, it's actually a pretty good race. Yeah, I mean, you know, and people said the race and what, there wasn't a whole lot of side. I enjoyed the strategy of the late mile race. I thought sure. Ryan Millington drove one of the smartest I, races I, I've, I've ever seen I've seen him put on. Last 25 oh, yeah. laps were yeah. great. Because we, we thought Justin right. Carroll had it, you know. Sure. Thought, thought he thought he had it. He came in here today yeah. and said he thought he had it. Yeah. Right. yeah. But Millington and Mark, I look over Marlow with 20 to go, just grinning like a possum over there, you know. And Millington just got up on the wheel and just walked him down. I thought it was a great race. He drove right. a great race. Yeah, yeah. Ryan, Ryan is super good. He's at, smooth uh, as silk, tires. man. He's smooth. Yeah, I that mean, that was the big thing, I think, right? He just kind of <laughs> left his stuff going. I mean, I think he makes Greg Marlowe look good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew that neither one of y'all were going to touch that one right Listen, there. Listen, <laughs> Greg Marlowe told me last week that he was going to sneak up here one of these weeks. <laughs> uh, he said, I'm going to. Catch it. He's got keys. That's a close door. Hey, right tell there. him the back door's right here. Yeah, he knows so, where it is. Um, yeah, he he can uh, find his way. Uh, got his Already way. got yeah. free off. Yeah, yeah that's what that's Patrick Coleman said. Yeah, he got yeah. free off, and uh, that's kind of what it looked like. Yeah, maybe he burned his stuff up. I don't know. Well, uh, Justin told me his stuff just got tight. So I mean, you know, they're, like everybody's handle went away. It wasn't so much just the tires; it was just the handle on the car. But right. Millington, I mean, he drove a great race. I mean, I thought it was good racing all around. I mean, modified race was wonderful. Like the last, the last stuff. Uh, the last lap. So, so fight ish. You know, Gary Causey. Good old Gary Causey. Yeah. He's always entertaining. Yep. I yep. mean, tell us about that whole deal after the race. You, you were, were up right close. there. You yeah. were right there up close yeah. to the well, person. Well, the whole time, see, I wasn't. I, we walked out. I, I didn't know. I thought Bobby Meacham was still driving that 17 car. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I don't, I don't trust. I don't we, trust this. We might want to. Uh, we might want to get him another chair uh, here. Okay. Did he crash can, down? can we get him another chair? Some somebody. Because um, that one right there doesn't. It looks like it's seen better days. It's we thought we'd give that one to Corey because we we're hoping he hits the ground at some point or another. Yeah. Got some wedge in it. Um, but anyway, <laughs> yeah. Obviously, the guy hit Gary on a restart or something. I didn't see it. Nobody else really knew about it. But after the race, you know, Gary pulls up beside the dude in victory lane, and Lori Hopper looks at me. She said, Gary's going to tell him. He's, he's not amazed. Con- con- congratulate him. I said, do you know the hell Gary calls he is? He's not telling him congratulations. No. And no, he didn't. And uh, it got live for a few minutes, you know. Yeah, I saw there was some jabbering. Yeah, yeah. Whip your Yankee ass right. and something else. I heard know. something get kicked too, right? Somebody oh, punched he smacked, something. Oh, he smacked the top of the car. Smacked the top of the car. There was some action. Yeah, yeah so we'll yeah. see what happens with that. And then, and then he, he protested him. And then I, got, <laughs> I got pictures of Gary with a trophy. So. Right. And what, what 100 was pounds it? light. They found it real quick. They didn't even go into the other stuff because – uh, I don't know. There was supposed to be other stuff wrong, but they didn't even have to find it. It was just 100 pounds light automatically. Now, did he actually have to protest to find out that he was light? Well, I don't think just... that. I mean, they just roll across the scale right. and you see that. So Right, but he was going to protest. Him. He was going to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think their tech was that overly diligent at Ace, was it? Uh, te- they take uh, Ace never really is because right. I, you know, and I think that's a great thing about it, you know. Hey, Ryan, would... Ryan Nelson wants your help. He said that uh, he wants you to buy, buy him some tires and Corey, he'll be at yeah. Ace. He's so. been trying to sell that damn show car for three years. Right. Yeah. Who's, I mean, if he goes to Ace, who's going to drive it? Corey. <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn. Well, he did finish second there last time he raced there. Did everybody else fall out? Finn Krim was third. So oh, everybody else fell out. Boo Boo fell out. <laughs> Boo Boo, you, you, you wasn't in that race neither, were you? Didn't you get wrecked? What would you do? Oh, uh, yeah. I, I was definitely in it. But uh, we uh, – You did something. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, we uh You wrecked somebody, didn't you? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, we caught the fifty six buddy already and um oh, That's yeah. right, I buddy. That right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy ain't seen he you no Christmas. Thought you cars. were reverting to that. That's yeah. why he started laughing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He originally <laughs> thought I, that's I where you were going. You know? yeah, yeah, Buddy Allred was pissed. <laughs> yeah. So we rolled off in the corner and Buddy was kinda a little slower than we was and he knew that <laughs> if he brake checked us we might mess up or something i don't know he kind of all wrote, these drivers he, with this frank denny brake checking he, he, <laughs> he, he brake checked us just a little i mean not bad just kind of a little bit and it just upset his car and 
I feel like you could have saved it. Honestly. He upset it a whole lot. <laughs> well, he upset it a lot whenever I come back around. Oh yeah, and then That's he, right. he upset him. He upset mine too because I had to come see Roger. Like, yeah, you know, he did the next yeah. Monday. Speaking of saves. How about Thomas being saved on Facebook? Uh, Michael Fox said something about that. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. Did you see it? I didn't see it. Oh, my gosh. If you didn't, I don't know where. I think maybe my, Thomas's Facebook. It was a sweet save. Hey, Monteith, you saved a car last week? <laughs> 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 he just called wow. me Nate Monteith there. You so. think that Thomas we were, being and Nate Monteith look a lot alike? We were uh, – we were giving him uh, hell uh, earlier about uh, about them looking like. Uh, of course, uh, you know Roger. He really gives him hell because he says that uh, Thomas looks like a garbage pail kid. So. Yeah, I like Thomas, <laughs> man. Thomas, my buddy. We we can't tell. Right, he's my buddy. I mean, no <laughs> doubt. Listen, look, I mean, if you you want to know why he runs good, because his car is wrecked, and at six thirty, well, seven thirty, he's in here digging. Right, right? Like, I yeah, mean, he's working on it. Right, by himself. And the two Zacks left him. Right, so but they, they were helping him. But yep. it's still cool, right? Like, I mean, I mean, that's the that guy's got pretty good dedication. So, I mean, we got all the tools and stuff to fix it here, and he'll come in here and dig, and he'll dig till I kick him out. That's it. Right. That's that's yep. how it works. Well, I'll, g- I'll give you guys some video here. Um, of course, uh, man, he's got the swag oh, down lady. pat here. Uh, oh, we got, got the race swag, twenty-two right? hat and PRW yeah. chassis uh, hoodie here. So somehow uh, or another, I accumulated this once I got here too. Right, <laughs> yeah. and I uh, so you went in the back. <laughs> <laughs> went to use U- the bathroom. Been coming here so long, he knows where the t-shirts are. <laughs> <laughs> right, like he just sneaks off and I know where the t-shirts are. I'll get I'll get what we need. <laughs> He worked here for a while. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah Boo Boo. Yeah. Boo Boo's got it unlocked. <laughs> Old lightning. I like that. Yeah, for sure. I got it. I fixed it. Uh, uh, sound was a little bit messed up there for a moment, uh, but I got you. I got you fixed up. Uh, accidentally uh, hit the wrong button here. Um, but you but uh, yeah, well, <laughs> Doc taught me. So wow. you know, I always got to put mean, somebody else down. You know, he taught me everything I know about audio. And our so. guest here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Yeah, it'll be nice to introduce Boo Boo Dalton. <laughs> yeah, Boo Boo Dalton. <laughs> the legend. Limited late model driver. <laughs> is, that, is that Ziggy? Yeah. Oh, come oh. on, man. <laughs> He's a lot skinnier and a lot taller. <laughs> You're correct about that part. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, Boo Boo Dalton joining us here uh, tonight. Uh, a Speedway uh, limited late model winner from uh, Friday night. Uh, that's not why we invited you. Winner. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, he, uh, he, he did railed them. Yeah, well, uh, Gary Young got the lead there for a little while. I don't know yeah. what happened to him, but uh, he caught on fire or something. something. Yeah, that was weird. What? But then he came back. Yeah, yeah. It said something about maybe the carburetor had backfired or something. Fire shot up, or and then I heard elsewhere that it was elsewhere. 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 Can you spell that? <laughs> elsewhere. Elsewhere. I can't spell. So. All right, me neither. That's why he's a race car driver. <laughs> right, me neither. That's cool. So, um, elsewhere. You know, <laughs> I, I heard that it was rubber on the rotor. I'm not exactly sure what the fire was. Oh. Rubber on the what? Rotor. Rotor. I don't think that was it because it was up by the carburetor. Okay. I can tell you that. I've seen They the took the hood there. off it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, for sure. Oh, but, uh, you? Yeah, I just yawned gonna, right there. I don't know. Gonna, I don't know gonna put the, gonna put I've, Roger to sleep I've here. actually been here a few hours, Doc. I don't just like to get to show up, party, and then go home. Yeah, uh, hey. <laughs> I got a job too, just like Corey. <laughs> oh, you got two people in is, here with a job now. What is Corey doing? What did he have to do with this? It's just a running. Just joke. clarifying. Just I got a joke. job. Boo Boo's over here like yeah, anyway. doesn't pay. Like, uh, did I come job. here to listen to this bullshit? <laughs> I could have listened to this at home. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Not at a drive fifty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. How, how long did it take you to get here? Uh, it's about an hour. About an hour. Yeah, about an hour. Gotcha. Frequent, frequent right. drive for us. Frequent drive. Well, I guess I guess you can start off by telling us about uh, Friday Night Race. We had a um, good Thomas Beans doing work back there. Cranking here. it out back <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, <laughs> it's a little loud in the headsets. Uh, we went to Southern National um, for the Southeast Limited deal right. um, the weekend before last weekend. Right. And um, Pop's done a little work over the winter, figuring some stuff out, what he could. And um, we went to Southern National. We was really fast. And it was on F50s, and we ran F50s last year at South Boston, but we hadn't ever ran F50s on nothing aggressive like Southern National. So we uh, found some speed down there, and we decided we was going to bring it back to Ace and try it, and it really, really, really helped. So um, I really liked it. So. <laughs> I threw the deuces at him. Did you see that? Uh, I mean, selfie moment. doing selfies over here. So we had a really good race car off the trailer on Thursday when we went and practiced, and we um, – Made a mock qualifying run, and we was a lot 
quicker in qualifying on Thursday than we was on Friday. Um, just the car never really got no bite in it qualifying on Friday, and but that's average for me. I can't qualify anyway. Right. So, but yeah, we're really happy. We're excited to get the season kicked back off. Um, we're going to do some traveling. We're going to run the whole Southeast Limited deal, and then we're going to go down to Southern National and run quite a bit, and obviously ace when we have an open chance. Right. Well, you just answered uh, Matt Cheatham's question about where you're going to race. So yeah. You're, you're you're taking all of our good questions. Oh, I'm sorry. Already. I'm sorry. I'll mean, slow down. Yeah. You're going to run just like, you're going to run any late mile races this year at all? Well, you know, the whole deal with Southern National is they run late model. Yeah, it's combined. It's called thing, late model, yeah. but it's actually yeah. limited rules. So it's I basically mean, the Southeast rules. Yeah, yeah. Um, we talked to Bushy all the way here just about um about rules I'm sorry. and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, he um, filled us in, and, yeah, it's basically limited. So, so you mean – if wait a minute, I just want to clarify something. So you mean an official answered the phone at – what time? Seven? That was like 6 o'clock. Okay. So, and you yeah. talk with him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I called a track in <laughs> <laughs> South Carolina today, <laughs> and I still haven't got an answer about anything, like their weight. <laughs> What day of the week they race? <laughs> How much to pay? Like these, I called them because their number is on the internet, and the guy's like, "Hello," <laughs> and I said, "Hey, I'm calling about some rules." Yeah, I don't know them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, the internet says to call yeah, you. I just cut the grass. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to look. Call you back. Never heard from them. Oh, wow. So I just was clarifying that some officials at yeah. racetracks that do get people, like they answer. Yeah. Okay. Right. So Bushy, you know, he talked to us a lot last weekend. So and then Diaz talked to us about getting us to come down. I'm really sorry now. <laughs> yeah, wow. So I've talked to both of them, and and we've kind of come to conclusion that we're going to probably run down there at least the first three or four races. Could nice. pretty good haul for us to go down there, but right. um, we're going to run the first couple of races, and if it turns out to where we have a chance at the championship or something, we'll probably stay down there and run the Southeast Limited deal. Also, so got you, got you. Um, Corey Rose on here talking about uh, Bowman Gray. Any truth to that? And I'm so there is some truth to that. His dad is smiling over here. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I, I, his dad is the most underrated guy on pit road. Let's just be completely clear. Hey, about from go karts all the like, way yeah, to for now. sure. Like yeah. he plays it off. Like you know, I don't know. He like talks <laughs> to me. Right? He'll call hey, him you're, to, you're 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 calling his bluff here. Don't no, I'm bluff. just telling you. Like I love it because he'll call me. Like hey, I don't really quite understand this, and I'm, we we'll talk right, and he's like, I got it. I think I got it now. I'm not real sure, and he'll go out and I'll see. Yep, P one. <laughs> yeah. He could have told me what to do, right? Like he was just goat me, you know, seeing if I actually knew anything or not. And he found out you didn't know anything. Correct. That's why he came back. Because yeah. I can push me around. And <laughs> anyway, Bowman Gray. Bowman Gray. Uh, Corey's real interested in this subject. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Your own stuff? Yeah. Wow. I have a old race car. Yeah. That I have. Tried you need to, an old one over there. I have tried to sell it. We should put a Bowman Gray Stadium bumper on it. We're going to. And go at it. We're going to. That could be real. Yeah. So, I've, I've kind of wanted but to yes, get in on yeah, that. Honestly, yes. Um, you know, we have an old Performance Center car. It's actually a Children's Center section with Performance yeah. Center stuff on the front and rear. Um, it's Dylan Bassett's car. He won all them races. Oh, yeah. I was getting ready the to ask plug. Yeah, yeah. And then whenever he won all them races... We couldn't beat him, so we just joined him. We bought the race car, yeah, and the right. next I two years we went. We right motor out of it, bought it at A Speedway yeah, or something. Yeah. If I remember, they right. didn't even I take it there. home. We right. just we just they won the championship with it, snatched the motor out of it. I remember we loaded the car in our trailer. We That's took the, the best car way home. To buy a car. Yep, I remember. Well, and that. then after the, that winter, we ended up buying the motor and transmission that went in the car as well. So <laughs> we ended up buying the whole deal. Putting my seat in, obviously I couldn't get in his seat, so <laughs> clearly um, uh, put my seat in it, and then uh, <laughs> he's a little dude. I mean, let's be honest. Dylan Bass is big as this Gatorade bottle. <laughs> <laughs> that, that Gatorade bottle is actually a little bigger. Yeah, right. real. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we've attempted to sell it. It's just you know we can't. As a driver, I just can't get out of my new Performance Center car and get back in it, and right. it be it's just remotely close. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's it's no no comparison. Gosh, that thing's got to be what ten years, eleven years old. It's Probably a ninety four center section. Yeah, but we put. A couple, it's two thousand ten. Yeah, yeah. two thousand ten front and rears. Yeah, 
So it's definitely old and it's outdated. Right. And you know, I've tried That's to sell it. That's the perfect it. thing for that, though. Yeah, exactly. So it's outdated and it's old, and I've tried to sell it. I can't get no money out of it, and it's more sentimental to me, right, to sell it for a couple thousand dollars than to you know keep it. I like yeah. that. And so if I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna race it. Right. I'm sure you and, can raise some funds to go over there too, huh? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of quite yeah. a few people that go over there, right? I mean, so I'm kind of excited about the whole deal. I mean, in a way. What makes you, you want to go, go to Bowman you Gray? You going to go over and wreck family and all that? <laughs> uh, no, I really don't want to. <laughs> I mean, family. But if you have to. I mean, yeah. I mean, and I would expect him to do the same thing. Right. right. We're talking about Derek Stoltz. Derek Stoltz, yeah. yeah sure. I know who you're talking I about. I know. But, <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's. Alex is on here right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He'll be talking crap. Yeah. He wants a hoodie. And Corey. I like Bushy saying, uh, reach out to him if people got questions. He's on here again. Love right. It. You know, and, and Bushy has all the answers for All uh, the answers for uh, everything. For down there. Uh, Brad Allen chiming in says he's got the seat. Yeah, he's yeah. Not right about yeah, that. Yeah, he yeah. has got the hot seat this year. I would not want to be race director at South Boston this not year. Not a shot. No, he's not talking about that. He is talking about oh, Dylan oh, Bassett's oh. seat. Oh, okay. oh yeah. yeah. What the hell is he doing with it? I. Hey, he look, Brad, it Brad couldn't fit his leg in. <laughs> I don't know. He wanted. He was a race promoter then, and he wanted it, so he ended up with it some way or another. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> wow. So, so you just play on racing every once in a while, ever? Just have fun. Yeah. Um. We wanted to, you know, try to get together before we got to. Um, before they is the, the car together at all? Yeah, the cars together. It's sitting there ready. All I've got to do is slide the motor in it and transmission. Nice. Um, and then once we slide that in there, it'll be ready to go. But we just, you know, haven't had time. We transferred everything over to 604 stuff this year. So we're going to have to drop one of our motors back to a 603, which, I mean, it's not a big deal, and um, make it a 603 so we can go because they don't allow the 604. So Right. They, we, they, they, they allow it. Just bring it, whatever. Yeah, that's kind of what I heard. Yeah. <laughs> is that official? I mean, yeah. I wish it was. I honestly wish you, it was. Is Corey saying like, I, is he? Can he say in the we tech lay room, cars like, with a damn grain scale? Yeah, but yeah. It's, I mean, like, how official is it? Can he say Corey Latham said I can run the six hundred four? That's here? what I'd go with. I mean, you know, Corey almost they got said, thrown out of there. I last have year, been told so. right. That they pump motors the first time you show up. Right, they do. So I hear that this place Don't is show like up the, the first biggest time. cheating track that you could go to. If you go, you got to cheat. Right. So, I want to know how, when you show up and they pump your motor, how do you bring a motor back that's not sealed? It's not been pumped in the past. They don't seal, do they? No. Mm -hmm. No, that's what he's saying. No. Yeah. <laughs> you got to love it. That's right. So. Yeah. Bow Bowman Gray is an interesting place, and I think it just got a little more interesting. Yeah, this might be. Yeah. How many, have you figured out I, how many races you'll be able to run there? No, I hadn't calculated it. Do you it's, know when your first one will be? No. That's the story of the night, right there. So he knows nothing. Nothing. No, I mean, I know He's I'm going. Really at some you, point in time of the you year, I'm going. Game. You really brought your facts tonight. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> right, right, right. I right. have a big announcement to make. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and wasn't even <laughs> able to tell it myself. Corey Rose had to ruin the whole deal. Right. I mean, he's Couldn't five, the he's five finger discount in hats and hoodies. <laughs> right. Here, but he can't bring us any damn information. <laughs> What the hell? I mean, I might have broke it out. I mean, I wasn't even allowed to. It was a question before I even got a chance to talk. <laughs> what about well, Kingsport? You ever think about going there? Karen's asking. Yeah, Karen why Donnell you asking. Come on there. I honestly, that it, hey, that is your type of racetrack. Right? I'll just let you know. There's three, and shout out there's to Karen. Honestly, they're doing it right up there. They're putting there's some honestly three racetracks I've never been to, never even stepped foot in, and never even watched a race there. Is uh, Kingsport, Motor Mile, and Dominion. Never been to any. And you Langley. Like I've never been to Langley. You like Kingsport. Well, I ain't been to two of those. So, so you know, I, I want to travel. I want to. I got locked down at South Boston last year. You got A's. married. Right. No. That's not what that kind of lockdown. He was supposed to be out of racing. I don't know how he survived. Right. That's what I'm saying. Let's go ahead and go there. <laughs> We're right throwing now. him under the bus in a video clip. that kind of lockdown. I'm talking about in the points. And, you know, Whenever you get tied down in between two racetracks and one year running for a championship, right. it sucks the wind out of you. Yeah, because right. there was like four or five weekends that we was at Ace on Friday night and then had to turn around and go to South Boston on Saturday. Right. And it never happened Why do you do when it? there's not a race on Saturday. We didn't get tore up. But when we did have to race on Saturday and Friday, somehow or another, a fender got knocked off or right. something stupid happened. So right. it was just we ended up winning the championship at Ace last year. And we finished second in the points to Trey Cruz 
in South Boston. So it's definitely nothing to hang our head about. But yep. still, it it just drained us. It's I too mean, much. Yeah, right. way too much. And we got to the point where we was going to the racetrack because we had to go to the racetrack. Right. We wasn't going because right. we wanted to go and have fun. Yep. Right. And I didn't realize it, honestly, until the beach. We mm-hmm. went to the beach, went down there Thursday, we practiced. Practiced again on Friday. We was really good. Went back. There wasn't no pressure. Right. We could wake up on Saturday morning, go to the racetrack. If we won, good. If we run in the top five, good. If we finished the race, good. Right. I mean, there wasn't nothing yeah, that we had to, to do. Right. Sure. I mean, there was right. no lines that had to be drawn. So that's just kind of where we're at this year. I don't want to get tied up. Like I said, Southern National, I'm going to run the first few. Right. Because we went down there and we had a really good race car. They've talked me into it, you know. Right. I'm going to run the first few. If there's something that's capable, then that's fine. Same way with the Southeast Limited deal. I'm going to run the first few of them. If it's something capable, then we'll do it. If right. not, we'll back out and we'll continue to go and do what we want to do and have fun and go to the Bomondega. 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 I didn't see that coming. <laughs> I, I got to tell you, that was a good one. I, I usually and he cuts be- his eyes at Corey right. as he said that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 but do you think that's the mentality of racers now? Is like racing for points. Racing for points is pretty much the thing. The past, just people just want to have fun more than anything else. What you know? There's so much pressure trying to do the same thing all year long. You're not going to the racetrack to win money. You're going to the racetrack because you want to go and have fun. Yeah. And so when you go, you're not going to come home out of the hole. So if you're going to race, you got to race for something. And so a lot of guys want to go and win a championship in something. So it just it puts a bind, I think, on a lot of racing, running for a championship. And I'm not saying that because I don't want people to do it. I mean, obviously nobody's going to listen to me. But, <laughs> you know, <laughs> what I'm saying is – Just like, to put that out there, you know. It's just one of them deals where if you're going to race, race to have fun. And I don't know. It's just it, – Is that what it became for you? It, it came became like a second job last year, honestly, because we was racing every single weekend. And right. I mean, I mean, it's just it's not like it's we work on it all week long, right? It's definitely a second deal. Me and my dad own the automotive. Or dad owns automotive repair. I was going to say you don't know. Jack. I don't know nothing, <laughs> but I work. It's there called Jay Dalton. Jay Dalton. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, look, my first name is Jay Lee, so okay. I've got part of that. Good try. Well, yeah, well, <laughs> you get an A for effort. Yeah. Well, you know. Um, so it's definitely, and we've got, you know, a couple of guys that stay with us consistently all year long. They can't wait for race season no more than I can. No, you bring a bunch right. of guys to so, the track for sure. Um, yeah. Hey, I can attest. They, they buy a lot of pit passes. Yeah. yeah right. 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 No, yeah. I, I love great, seeing them you know? come through the gate. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, my guys, they, they, they're there after work. We're there after work. So it's not a deal to where when we get tore up, we just go Monday and we work all day Monday and have a race car back together by Tuesday. If we get tore up on Saturday, we have to work till Thursday, and we finally have a race car sure. back together. So, yeah. And after doing that all year last year, every single weekend, just about right. it got, you know. So. Sure, sure. Uh, something that uh, somebody I've seen somewhere is talking about. Uh, oh, it's on that uh, Central North Carolina racing page. They're always talking. Well, he needs to move up. He needs to do this. Tell us why you're a limited racer. Huh? I mean, I, I don't think people understand it, what it's it takes. self-explanatory. I mean, when they say limited late model it's because money right i'm not my biggest sponsor is j dalton auto tech right and ruth signs ruth signs wraps my race car for free j dalton auto tech me and my dad we sell cars that we work on and put them together to sell so we can afford to race i love it absolutely love it we sell a car for twenty five hundred dollars well if you were on a late model we spend that in one weekend. Tires over. Right. So we're just a limited budget team, and that's why we run a limited late model. I mean, like I tell everybody when they ask me, when are you going to move up? When you give me some of your money? Right. So, yeah. Yeah, I've uh, heard it for years. A Mac, uh, Mac Little piece said to him all the time. He's like, well, I'll, I would if I could. Right. You know? Absolutely. I mean, if you look at me and Mac Little, I mean. Yeah, but is that your plan? Is that what you're going to do? What? You're young yet, right? Like, so. <laughs> What's your what's what's the plan? Like, what's your you, what, what's your next step? You I mean, I would far, definitely right? I definitely want to run late model. Okay, that's definitely something that I would 
love to participate in. I'd love to go run a cars tour season. I'd love to go run, you know, for a national title. But can you sell enough cars to do that? No. <laughs> I wasn't being a smart aleck. I don't know, right? Like hey. No, not between not to sell enough cars during tax time. Right. And right. and then absolutely bust our butt during the week turning wrenches. Right. Well, that's what he does. What do you do? <laughs> I, I works on race cars. <laughs> I quote jobs. <laughs> I quote, I'm an estimator. <laughs> so, if you need any car work done, come to J. Dot There you go. <laughs> and the man looks at the camera as yeah. he says that. Yeah. <laughs> that's what he's supposed to do. He's got it down. That's for yeah, sure. Right? He's, he's bringing you some more business here. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, just trying to get him to sell interstate batteries, but they won't do it. So. Man, we're wow. Napa car care. So I know, wow. I know, I know. We have to sell the Napa Damn Legends. Napa. I don't know what just happened. Everybody's in sales mode tonight. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I started this. We got crap. paid by none of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, good stuff. Oh, hey, uh, just good. just so you know, uh, Corey's taking credit for uh, your uh, Bowman Dega thing too. Bowman Dega? No. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. He said you sit in the office and work on slot cars. Hey, listen. <laughs> he's, wow. like, he's like yeah. straight up throwing everything right. no, that's out. That's good, right? Like I, like I mean, it. you ain't said that he's lying yet. Right. <laughs> that's the problem. I can't. Right. I can't. And I, I appreciate your honesty. If I said he was lying, I would be lying. Right. So, right. right. Uh, understand completely. Mike Jones wanted me to uh, ask you about your jeans. Oh, my God. <laughs> this guy. You do wear nice jeans. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know about the nice part. Hey, look. What girl do you steal those from? No, 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 no. Why no. do you wear those kind of jeans? No, I haven't said Listen, <laughs> listen. Yes, you've said plenty in the past. This guy <laughs> right here, he's always posting something about, like, if you wear these kind of jeans, you don't have a boyfriend, you have a girlfriend. Right. <laughs> but I want to talk about and you. I don't Jones, have a girlfriend, Mike you have a boyfriend. Mike Jones is the same right. way, and so on and so forth. I just want you listen. to know Matt McCall wears jeans like that. So you go ahead and keep that up, Corey. <laughs> Well, you, know. Like, well, you know, hey, it's style. That's what it is. Keep, sure. keep, keep talking shit to Greg Marlowe. We'll see yeah. how that goes for you, too. <laughs> Roger Johnson wears some pretty thick stitch. <laughs> I pants. can't wear I, he hey, has, this, let me he tell has you. women's socks on right now. <laughs> oh, listen, I'm sporting some cool socks. Wow, <clears throat> those are definitely not women's socks. These are not women's socks. No, at did all. you get those from Shane Laws? No, nope. my wife bought them. I think he me. had those same ones Saturday at uh, Langley. Yeah. <clears throat> No, I mean I he posted not. a picture of him. Wow. I mean, I'm just going by that. Thanks. That was wow. So, so your your jeans are fashion. Is that what you're trying to say? Listen, I've got a sister. She picks out your jeans and for a wife, <laughs> <laughs> and I leave it completely up to them to what I wear. Got you. If it there was up go. to me, I would be in a black pair of dickies with a like black the way shirt, twenty four seven. Like a nice set of jeans. You also like a heated vest. Shut up. I do like a heated vest. <laughs> Come on, man. Dude, it's cold. Good. Who's the idiot? I'll stand outside cold, or I just turn my vest on and get warm. Turns his uh. vest on. How many people listening right now can turn their vest on? What the? You should be able to. They're on sale. One oh nine. One fifty nine ninety nine. You can have one. If just you like go to my website, website selling stuff again. If you go to my slim. website, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, his uh, wife ordered his. He don't know how much they cost. Right. I I'll just tell you that right now. I think they were one hundred nine. Totally going off the rails uh, there. Susie Campbell said Arroyo. that uh, you you forgot uh, to say that you had the best uh, mother and father in law. Just, just yeah, by the way. yeah, so. yeah. Mother in law for sure. Father in law. <laughs> mm. Hey, tell us wow. about. Uh, you know, <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> wow. I'm pretty sure He's race twenty two. Like wow. All right. So listen. Here we go. We Ready? was at uh, Ace. Imagine Gosh, that. Gosh, what year is this? 1975. Say, no, I wasn't born. Um, <laughs> might have been dirt then, but anyways, <laughs> it probably was. Um. I think it was 2013. It was me and Jason Payne. We was racing for championship. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Me and Corey Rose talked about this today, actually. And, um, you know, me and Payne was going back and forth all year long. And it ended up coming down to the end of the night. And we had Jason York in my backup car I because I had to win the race. Yes, I remember, I remember now. This. I had yeah. to win the race. There had to be a car between me and Payne. Yeah. Right. So we bring both of our cars, put Jason York in the backup car, and I'm in my red car, which is going to Bowman Dega. Right. And then Payne was obviously in his car. And so we run, and York is actually out front leading the race. And somehow or another, I get to the lead. York's running third. 
because when I pass short, Payne goes with me. So Payne's running third. Well, we come off a of three. I mean, off of, I hate to come off a of three, but anyways, come off a of four. <laughs> And uh, we needed the backup car in between me and Payne. So I slow down, and the nine car just runs slap underneath of me. I was blamed for brake checking him. I mean, I did drag the brake, but it wasn't like I slammed on brakes. And um, it got in between there. Well, there was a big rigmarole on the front stretch. Well, I'm pretty sure Corey Latham got the picture of my father-in-law over top of the fence pointing his finger at me telling me to stop so <laughs> there's a picture out there somewhere if i can find it i might i might get it posted up. what, what year was it I think 13. 13 kim look it up for us find it on uh, our photos because i know it's there if, yeah if we I have think, it i think if not i might can get it sent to me yeah i was there i, I remember all that yeah just think yeah. it was it was great about race oh yeah that was, kim that was basically does everything langley right, just says i just kim, tell him what to do look at it right so if anything good has happened Send Kim a nice job because Langley has done nothing. <laughs> right. Let's I'm just be clear. He went to a racetrack and dogged me and Corey about it. Would for you like, like for me to argue? Months. No, I don't. I, <laughs> know I don't have anything gonna, to say. Right. I know you're not going to argue with. We <laughs> talk too much. I know how this works. But uh, anyway, you, you and Jason had a good rivalry there. You had a rivalry with Ziggy. You've had a lot of rivalries. Who, who's who's yes. some of your best rivalries that you've had? And why have you had so many rivalries? <laughs> I know my why. First, Shut up, Langley. My <laughs> first rivalry was Ziggy. Yeah. And the reason I had Ziggy as my rival is because I was young and I messed up probably one of my very first races at Ace. Went three wide after taking the green flag in turn one and pretty sure I wadded up the whole entire field. Yeah. And Ziggy was mad from then on at me and could not stand me. And pretty sure at this point in day, Ziggy still don't care much for me. He'll talk to me, but he I, never I, got you back. No, he uh, never did. I, I don't think he did either. He talked about it. I don't think he did either. But he never did. That. Um, you know, and then Patrick Coleman. Uh, we had our. Those were good. Yeah, those was yeah. those was pretty tough days. Yeah. Um, we went back and forth quite a bit. Um, those were good ones. I remember a few of those and good then, ones. And then it was pain. Me Jesse and pain. Payne. We went neck and neck. Head to head. You were the plug too a little bit, right? You and Bassett. No, me, really? me and me and Dylan in 2011 was when I raced against Dylan a lot, and Dylan that was remember. that was a year of nothing but bad luck for me. Um, I was if it wasn't lead sliding out of the frame rail to a motor blowing up to rear end breaking, anything that could go wrong did go wrong that year, and um, he just he killed us all year long. So no, me and him never had any problems. But to this day and time, me and Mac Little is huh. we're that one played out at Franklin County with me we, a little bit we, too. We're definitely we respect each other. We can race side by side, door to door, nose to tail. But he don't like me, and I know it. And he, and I don't like is him, that and he knows you it, exposed so. him for his illegal motor. No, it started yeah. long before long that. Long before that, absolutely. Right. But that motor was wrong, right or no? Isn't, wasn't that what happened, or, or was your motor wrong? No, no, no my Max. motor wasn't wrong. It was Max. I think, so, his, yeah. I think his was wrong, too. He just had to get it Right, no, no. Because, <laughs> no. you know, he came back at next race, and he run like crap. Different motor. No. No cam. No. <laughs> the next race I came back, I at won. Ace. No, no, at Ace. You run like crap at next Friday. Just saying. Langley keeps track, man. Just saying. Don't you remember? Because I paid you out front at the gate out there. Don't you remember you run like crap? I was giving you hell. Yeah, your, See, me- I think your I memory do remember sucks. that. Your right. dad remembers it over. He's like, nah. <laughs> I think I might actually do. I don't I, remember I, what happened, but you had yeah, some problems. I, I, so I don't remember. remember. I'm just giving you hell. <laughs> hey, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you and Mac Little definitely uh, had some interesting times over the years. Oh yeah, yeah. But with that being said, in 2017, I think it was, we was both at Caraway, and we was on scuff tires, running limited. 40 lap race we dropped a green flag at halfway it was a caution mm-hmm. and we ran the last 20 laps side by side sure right i mean straight up like literally not against each other but literally side by side right i mean that just shows that i mean we actually do have respect for each other it's just it's just one of them rivalries but right i mean in limited you guys are kind of like you know philip and lee in yeah. late models i mean you yeah. guys are yeah. two of the best guys in limited oh yeah absolutely i mean if there's it's like we have Orange County a couple weeks. What about Zach Brunninger? Who? 
<laughs> we have Orange County in a couple of weeks for the Southeast Limited deal, and Carver is great there. Oh, yeah. Carver for sure. runs really, really good at Orange County. For sure. But, um, you know, whenever I sit down and think about going there to run the Southeast Limited race, I know Mac's going to be there. Right. For sure. So whenever I slow down enough to think, like, who am I going to have to outrun? Right. It comes to two people that I honestly think I have to outrun. And no matter where we go, if that blue 16 car is there, I yeah, know gonna I'm going to have to outrun him. Yep. 100%. And um, so it's just one of them deals. I have a lot of respect for him, and I'll race him the way he races me. And that's where that's where the rivalry come from. We started right. leaning on each other. Right. And it got taken a little too far. And then we ended up mad at each other a couple times and so on and so forth. So it is what it is, and I I respect the rivalry. Right. If I'm going to the racetrack and I don't have a rival, there's something wrong. It's not near as far. Well, <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. Back in the day, you created a lot of those. You were super aggressive. Yeah, and that all come from go-karts. I was going right. to say, did that I, come I ran, from your I success ran go-karts, go-karts from the time I was three to the time I got way too big to ride go-karts. Mm-hmm. I mean, you sit down on a go-kart, you got 20 laps to make something happen. Right. And there could be 30 go-karts. Do you think that was a good way? Absolutely. Looking back now, Absolutely. do you think that was where Absolutely. a lot of your success in? Absolutely. And in a way, I honestly, I miss go-kart racing. Yeah, you and I have talked about that a little, yep. right? I mean, yep. So, uh, yeah, go-kart racing is, I mean, it's actually two complete different worlds. And that's where, as me getting out of a go-kart and into a big car was a big difference, was the aggressiveness level. Talk about some of the other stuff you do, right? Like, you do some go-kart racing. I mean, segue into that, like... Do you, do you? <laughs> I just got to say, Eddie York just commented. It, you know, it, it, it's, it's funny it's just going to happen like that. Hey, buddy, and Ziggy, you better be worried about that red 23 is coming back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's fine. That's cool. Uh, that might would drag me back to Ace a few more times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be worth watching that would, right that there. That would be worth watching. I, I did notice that when you were, you know, giving a rundown of all your uh, people you've got into it with, you didn't mention Jessica Dana. I don't want to mention that one. What happened? Tell us about that deal. It was it was just honestly ridiculous. The the the, sick, the incident was. It, oh, I forgot all about that. <laughs> all of a sudden, I wish we, I wish we, we, we should have had video. Yeah, of Corey you right should there. have seen it come over. Corey, the like, damn Whoa. light bulb went. Woo! <laughs> yeah, now I remember. I remember. But anyways, yeah. So <laughs> we struggled really bad last year. South Boston. Right. Between last year being the first time on bump stops. Right. That place has got a lot of bite. Yeah. And it's a different tire than what we're used to, which was the F50. Right. So we went up there fighting three battles at one time, racing against some really stiff competition. For sure. Trey Cruz is no joke. Right. Anytime somebody gets in a Lee Pulliam car, it's no joke. Right. For right. sure. Um, so, you know, whenever you show up there, it might be – seven or eight cars but there's going to be a handful of them that can win that race at any given point sure so we struggled and we finally found a little bit of speed enough speed we actually ended up winning one race up there and um just we fought our way through and we was actually running good one night and she was way better than us Mm -hmm. trey cruz was gone i was running second i was holding her up she comes off a of four. I'm up against a wall. Things tighten up off a of four there anyhow. She doors me. And, like, when she doors me, she never lets off of me all the way down the straightaway. And my car wheel hops, goes off into three high. And, I'm, I mean, I just got hot. I was mad. Sure. So, after the race, I go up the side of her and I kind of, you know, make a hand gesture. <laughs> Door just a little bit. She drives off. Well... I'm actually not paying attention in three and four as we're pulling in the pits. I'm looking down, unbuckling and undoing the radios and all that stuff because I wanted to be ready to get out the race car in case anything was to go down. Sure. So I'm getting on. Un- that sounded like experience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got plenty of that. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. He's got there. So um, I was getting unbuckled and stuff, and I look up, and there's a pink number nine car just stopped right in front of me. And I look up, dude, and it, it's way too late. I slam on brakes, and here I am tucked up underneath her with a busted radiator and a mangled up box and everything else. So 
I could have avoided that one if I'd have been paying attention, but she got me. And um, so <laughs> when I got out, I was I was mad. There right. wasn't nothing I could do. Sure. What I are mean, you going to do? The fans wasn't, wasn't going to take it. Yeah. They was 100%. Pink race car, blonde headed girl. hundred percent. They could care less about this fat kid that <laughs> straight up got wrecked. They could care less. So, oh my God. and I told him, I was wow. like, man, just let me talk, because they they wouldn't even like they had nothing. They they could care less that I was even on the radio. I mean, over the intercom. Sure. So it was one of them deals. But the thing was, is there was two completely different sides of that story because the people in the stands had their view and then the people in the pits had their view sure to the people in the stands are like you just went up and started ramming this car in the rear right yeah. and then the people in the in the in the pits mm-hmm. they was like you know that was completely called for because it right. was not the first time right every time it got that nine car got to me i got moved every time so Right. It was repetitive. And that's that's another thing why I just got the wind knocked out of us last year, man. It was just right. one thing after the next. Uh, David Moss chiming in. He said uh, that he met you at Myrtle Beach last fall. He yep. says you get a bad rap sometimes, which I'd say that's fairly true. Uh, I mean, I know when you came to uh, race with us at Franklin County, first thing out of the guy's mouth, oh, my God, we got to race this guy. Yep. And then after the race, you're like, hey, he's a pretty good dude. You yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah, he's um, a good kid. <clears throat> You know, most of the time I somehow or another end up with a bad rap, but it's okay because, like everybody else says, you know, once they race against me, they pretty much realize that I'm going to race you the way you race me. Do people that finish 12th and 13th have a bad rap? No. There you go. I mean, if you're running up front, it there can happen. There you go. <clears throat> They're either going to love you or hate you. Yeah, I, I, And hey, you don't listen, care. Listen, no, I don't. That's, that's, that's what great. I was about to no, say. That's I mean, I get just as much self-satisfaction out of a hater right. as I do as a fan. And you got plenty of I that. went I down the front stretch of last night or last Friday night when I won the race. Here's my whole crew standing at the start-finish line. Right. They can't wait to get across that racetrack to get in victory lane with me. Right. And I pull around to the back stretch, and here I am. I see everybody shooting me the rod, <laughs> thumbs down, you know, cussing at me, and so on and so forth. Well, I'll stop. So I just wave the flag, yeah. <laughs> you know, just to rub it in. Just a little, a little bit. What's yeah. up? Well, about that time, here comes about four or five beer cans. <laughs> and oh, I, oh yeah. wow. So, so That's awesome. You know I pull, where the, the, they came from or no? Oh, I mean. They was all from the back stretch. I don't know who it was, <laughs> but they definitely they so tried. Some Ziggy's people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it, it so, was Ziggy. It might have, <laughs> it might have been. Could have been pain. Yeah, could, could have been, been pain. Yeah, uh, but you know, is he still doing security there? I don't know. He never did security. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did when Jason and them took over. Yes, he did. He did do it. You remember? No, I remember. You don't he, remember? I remember no, he I was a sheriff, and he was the one that we needed to call the sheriff home. <laughs> 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 That's true. Yeah, he used to. He's, guard. A, good, he's a good guy, though. He was like uh, he was guarding you know, Jason when they carry money or something. Oh. You know, right after they first opened, I don't know if he still does that or not. I didn't see him there, so I'm not 100 percent huh. sure. Um, I, I will tell you one thing. Uh, this Chase Chase James, you know, limited yeah, limited racer, absolutely. Know, you know, yeah, he uh, he said you're his hero. I, I feel sorry for the guy already. <laughs> so that's all I'm saying. Hey, look, Sarah said somebody threw a hot dog at you. Yes, I did get a hot dog thrown at me one night too. <laughs> I wish I could have called it though. You know that would have just rubbed it in their face if I'd have caught it, it in and your took mouth. It back. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> like just jumped out, yeah, caught it with your mouth. Yeah, uh, that'd have been sweet. Oh my god, that uh, that would have been epic, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine uh, your mom saying it was beer Friday. Yeah, yep. for sure. Yep. Oh man, Adam, love is losing, hated is winning. That's what uh, your mother-in-law said there. Yeah. So, yeah. uh, we we, did, we should ask him his take on the uh, racetrack incidents for this weekend. Yeah, what do you, what oh, do you think about the driver? The Philip like Morris, Lee Pulliam thing. I mean, what, what would you I'm sure you've on seen that? everything. Oh, yeah, it? I did. I've seen everything. Oh, this dude's oh. into everything. Oh, okay. yeah. Um, I, I, Slot cars, apparently, too. <laughs> <probably>. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, if, if it's got four wheels and I can race it, I'm right, going to. In, right. Yeah. So, uh, this weekend... I, it's one of them deals. I've been in it. I've done it. I've right. heated moment. It's you're going to react before you realize you're reacting. Um, 
he's just I feel like Forrest is definitely head over heels in the late model racing. Right. It's and passion, man. That's absolutely. What it right. It's a hundred percent passion and he was absolutely upset. Sure. I mean it was he seen his race car. He knew how much up. work it was gonna be. Right. Oh, right. Sure. So, you know, I'm not taking anything away from him for getting upset. And I'm also not taking anything away from the five car because the five car got moved getting into one. I mean, no, the yeah, yeah. the five yeah. car got in moved the one. getting into one. And then from the video I seen, I, I the O one wrecked a lot harder than what I thought the five hit the O one. Right. But I mean, I that's judgmental. That's that's all. Everybody's got their own opinion on that. So. All right, quit beating around the bush. Tell, me what, tell us what you think. I, I think <laughs> you've done the same I, I think thing. It was absolutely. I, I it was a hundred percent heated moment. Hey, I got moved. Yeah. I'm gonna move him back. Right. right. And it was just one of them deals, you know, where is that something you've maybe ever he worried reacted about, a little too quick? Like you've been it, aggressive, right? So have you ever? Moved? You were worried about it. All no, the time. but what I'm saying is, you, you worry about it, but do you worry about them coming out on the racetrack? You because you've right, you're the guy, right? You've been into it with heads of rivalries. We've discussed this Dude, the entire time. I, is that something that goes through your mind over and over? It's holy cow, I got to stay out here so a crew before. guy can't. Uh, the Rodney Cook race last year in before. Limited. Yeah, I mean, me and the yeah. 56 car, yeah. we was running. Yeah, we were first and about second this today, like, or yesterday. We was running right? first and second, and I moved him, and he ends up spinning out. Well, when I come back around, to kill he you. drives into the pass right. uh, into yeah. the driver's door. Yeah, yeah but I'm I mean, not saying that. I'm saying okay, that's that's two drivers on the racetrack, right? That's you're talking about happened. a person. Running I'm, I'm saying, do you are you sitting there on the back stretch? You ever at, had a crew member run out there and worried about? Oh my God, some of this guy's coming for me. Oh yeah, I mean yeah, like I, on the racetrack. Yeah, yeah I think I've seen I've, it. Two or Patrick three times. come after me. Yeah. Patrick come after me. I think I've seen yeah, it at least two or three times. Driver yeah. again, right? Yeah. So. Right. <clears throat> hmm. I mean, it, it's Causey. Yeah, Causey <laughs> come in. Yeah. Causey come in the yeah. win that. Yeah, I think he's on here too. I'm not saying that. You guys can talk bad about him. I'm not saying. <laughs> ain't nobody talking hey, bad about me him. And Gary, <laughs> me and Gary. I just want to be completely clean clear. Slate. I ain't never <laughs> talked bad about him in my life. Right. <laughs> me and Gary. Anytime had a clean he slate. needs to come in, we'll give him a discount. Even he's, <laughs> 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 he's a bad dude. <laughs> No, me and Gary. What? Me and Gary. After that whole incident, um, we actually have made, yeah, good, somewhat friends. You know, after right. the whole situation, and most of the time, that's how it works. Yeah. Once you get into it with somebody, you don't it's want it to after. happen again. Right. And yeah. so, so you do everything you can to make things right. And I feel like you know, between me and Gary and my crew versus his crew, I think our crew still looks at their crew and their crew still looks at us. But me and Gary, we're a hundred percent fine. I I definitely believe. Right. Right. So, so in yeah. that situation that you crashed somebody, you're playing offense or defense? You're hiding from them? Or I don't think he's hiding from them. No, I'm not. He's re- preparing himself, though. I, I, I will I will be ready, <laughs> right? but right. I'm not going to hide. If Lee Pulliam pulling off, would you have done the same thing? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm not going to – you're not going to back me in a corner but so far before I fight my way out. Right, sure. And I'm not going to let somebody crawl in my race car and come after me while I'm buckled in. <laughs> and I don't have nothing to do about it. M- Mitchell Poole said, in a heated moment, someone has been known to run out on the track after a champ cart. <laughs> 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 we got to get video of this stuff. Oh, man. I oh, think- I face planted too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> I was in my driving suit. My nephew raced a champ buggy at Ace. Yep. And it was championship <laughs> night for, the late, for my limited car. I missed a picture of that too. Yep. And – Alex gets wrecked. When Alex gets wrecked, I go after the guy that wrecked him. I'm yeah. in my driving suit, so I'm trying to run, hold a driving suit up and everything, and I'm full-fledged going for him. If I yeah. could have got to him, hey, I don't know what I'd done. He fell from here to that wall over there. It <laughs> hurt. I'm not going to lie. It hurt bad. Yeah. It really it did. Was, it was like slow motion. Oh, just <laughs> falling, falling, falling. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, in front of everybody. Is there yeah. video oh, yeah. In front of the yeah. whole yeah. front straight away. Yes. Is there a video of that? No racing nah. going on. There's got to be I'm some video of that somewhere. No. I'm not 100% stuff. sure. I don't think there is. We'll get Kim in the archives here. Yeah. Yeah. She's, that would she's, be some epic video. She is still going through pictures over here trying to find this. Yeah, she listens well. She's diligent. She listens well. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and speaking of, what did you call that? <laughs> What hand she, gesture. Yeah, but what did she just do to him? Like, Owe him the rod or what did you say? Yeah, rod. 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 Oh, man. Wow. Uh, Trying to get hip. 
Ronnie, uh, Ronnie Crate Payne says, uh, wants me to remind you that the Southeast Super Truck Series, their limited division, has a pretty good field of cars to race with, too. Of course, yeah, he's, uh, he's the announcer. Um, great series, man. I went, first time I've ever been to one of their races was this past weekend at uh, Tri County. And, uh, have and you raced really Tri County? I have not. I've been there, but I have not raced there. Oh, mm. Be another you, good one. You should check try off that. your bucket list. I think you. I think you'd, you'd there, enjoy that. I have that. not raced at Concord either. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. You ain't missed anything over there. That's uh, uh, Tri County's amazing over there. Not, 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 now, over if we had a limited race on the track out back at Concord, oh, yeah. that would be something. I, hey, I've raced there. I raced go karts there during yeah. the winter on that track. Got gotcha. you. Chris Burns just said he's joined in. Well, Chris, you didn't had your fifteen minutes of fame a little while ago. Sorry, you missed that. <laughs> we didn't talked about you. It wasn't good. <laughs> no. <laughs> your your mother in law said she'll pay Kim not to find that photo. <laughs> oh no, that was not Susie. That was definitely Lonnie that put that. <laughs> he don't want that that post uh that photo exposed. Oh man. Uh, Corey Rose chiming in a minute ago and said that um hold on, let me find oh, it here. Oh god. <clears throat> My Thing stuck right here. So he said that uh, he said that he doesn't uh, he doesn't have a bad rep because he runs in the back. So I mean, I, I'd say he's probably right about that. That's not true. I will go with it. So you're saying he does have a bad rep, or he doesn't run in the back? He doesn't run in the back. Oh, okay. We went to the first 602 tour race, and I went to help him and hang out with him a little bit. And he actually had a really fast race car. He was just too lazy to put tires on it when he should have put tires on it. And then once he put tires on it, he had to come from 12th to the lead. And, you know, that's just that's part of that's just an under budget team trying to do what they can do, and you know, that's that's part of limited late model racing too. Yeah, right. Uh, Tyler Payne uh, asking about uh, any news on punishments for Lee or Forrest. Well, there won't be any punishment for Lee. No, he did absolutely Does, he nothing deserves, wrong. Yeah, but I like it. He, he oh, deserves no. I like Brad Allen coming right. back with yeah, it. And Brad Allen did say announcement coming tomorrow, um, which we expect. Uh, you know from. People that I've talked to, not Brad, uh, and Nick uh, did not share any information with me when I talked to him earlier about that, but uh, I expect it will be an indefinite uh, suspension for uh, Forrest. Uh, like we said earlier, we don't know how they're going to enforce that. So how, right. how, you, you tell us. I mean, you, you've went to racetracks before. I mean, how, how would they enforce that? I've had punishments, but it was at one in particular racetrack that I right. was caught up in the points. So before I was allowed back, I had to pay my fine. So right. I think me and Brad Allen – and I was just getting ready. Patrick probably paid Coleman. him some fines before. No, me, yeah. Brad Allen, and Patrick Coleman had a uh, Days of Thunder night. That's what <laughs> Patrick, Patrick said actually asked about that. We, 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 we went out to uh, some place and eat, and I totally wish we could have rented two race or two cars and just <laughs> beat them up on the way there. But yeah, we de- we totally had one of those nights with Brad Allen. <laughs> I can imagine that was a good one. Uh, that was the that was after uh, I think I wrecked somehow or another. We got together, and I ended up wrecking Somehow that. or another. It, it, it all, that's how they always start, yes. somehow or another. Yeah. But I got into him, and he ended up getting tore up, and he pulls around to the front stretch and backs up and backs all over me, and we end up in the pits with two tore-up race cars. So we have to go talk to uh, Brad about it. That was the night wrenches were flying, wasn't it? No. Oh. Who no, was that, the one wrenches was flying? That with? was with the wards. Oh, that was the worst. Dang, that's a rivalry yeah, right there. That's not really somebody you want to get yeah. into a fight with. You Listen, some good I'm ones. not fighting him either. No, <laughs> hell no. Nah. No shot. Hey, was <clears throat> Dean in it? Dean? Oh, it was a full on. Oh, oh yeah. Bro. It was like 30 Jesus. on 30. It yeah. was huge. It was Holy a, it was, I'm oh, going in there with a Gatlin gun. That's oh, the only shot. There. It was There's full out, bro. Hey, right look, there. it was straight up. It was there. They had probably 15. We had probably 15. And yeah. We was throwing down. Oh, dude, it was massive. Yes. It was big. It was real big. Wow. <clears throat> That's good for the sport, though. Oh, yeah. People loved it. Right. <laughs> Corey Rose talking about you uh, with the rental car thing. He said uh, you could have used two of your dad's cars, but you would have had to miss a couple races. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He's all over it, ain't he? Like, wow. We should have had him with him. <laughs> Brad, Brad Allen said he took you all to Bonefish Grill. Yeah, that's it. That's where we went. <laughs> <laughs> and we made him pay. <laughs> that's actually awesome. Right? Yeah, that's he pretty good. Pay. Pretty good yes, idea. he did. He put on somebody else's car. <laughs> yeah, that's you exactly know, he what didn't he pay did. Himself. <laughs> <laughs> He's too smooth for that. He didn't pay. <laughs> I wonder if he got Abraham to pay for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I still think that we should get Corey's uh, recording of uh, Abraham and his conversation from several years back and play that on the radio show one night. I don't know that we could. It was epic, man. 
it's that pretty was good. It. it was pretty good. I've never talked to anybody. Yeah, I've never heard anything like that in my life. You know, the whole thing said, you go to a steakhouse and you buy a steak. You don't know if it's good or not, but you buy it and you pay for it. I said, yeah, but I ain't bought a $1.2 million damn steak. I have people go investigate before I do that, you know. I'll take a chance on $14. <laughs> but, yeah. Email it to me. Uh, yeah, right. I had to find e- it. Email it. We'll, to- we'll play it. I don't. I don't know. Uh, if that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's been quite a while ago. Right? Things have kind of progressed since then. I don't know in North Carolina what the laws are. I know in Virginia, only one of you have to know, but I don't know about North Carolina. So, and I definitely don't know about Pennsylvania or whatever. He goes to court so much it don't matter. So. Yeah, I don't want him. That means he's practiced. <laughs> oh, yeah. right? and I don't want to go against that. He's right? probably like, got a good lawyer. Right, that's no what I mean. Right. I mean, but you know, Ace, you know. They got to be in the best shape that they've been in in a long time at Ace, uh, with uh, Jason and Robert Turner being oh, there, yeah. oh, uh, yeah. running the track. I, I disagree. Mean, I don't. Uh, uh, I disagree. No. I didn't even know they I were gotta, having a race until Roger gotta, told me. Right. I I strongly disagree. They said. Did they say in the drivers meeting that they were doing no advertising and want the drivers to get all the advertising out? Somewhat, kind of. So, yeah, in a, in a way. They, they said that they weren't using a newspaper anymore because they spent a lot of money yeah, there. Yeah, they did. On the newspaper. Oh. Yeah. Which, I mean, here's, here's the problem. The newspaper, yeah, I Social can media. That. Thing, okay? Did we not discuss this? Here's, here's the problem. They, the, and, and I'm not trying to throw them Nobody the reads the newspaper. Right, but they're they, not I doing, guess maybe over there they do. No. Yeah, no, yeah. they don't. No. There's 25 people in every county that read right. a newspaper, right. and they're not coming to the race. Right. I agree. So, I mean, yeah. Boo Boo don't even know what a damn newspaper I, is. I, okay? Right, right. Uh, He's never seen one. I just thought there would be, for their opener, I, I was, <laughs> I thought there would be more. I, I wanted there to be more. I well, thought there would be more. I, just, I thought there would be more I, people. I wanted there to be more as right. well. I really did, and I expected it. But I did too. I was a little let down. As I figured out, Latour was sick or something. He couldn't come. Right. Um. Dylan Harville was going on his honeymoon. I don't honeymoon. care why they didn't come. You know, I'm just saying. There was, just, there was a bunch of people that wasn't able to come to the season opener because right. they had something going on. And, you know, you, Is that what with we're Bushy, see? just like I said with Bushy, I could call Robert Turner right now. Absolutely. And have him on the phone and talk to him for 45 minutes if I need to and right. get any kind of answer that I need to. Right. He takes his time with tech. He does a great job through tech. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, Jason does I, – I spend a lot of time with talking to Jason and stuff. You know, I try to help the racetrack in any way I can. Sure. If there's any way of advertising. Yeah, I'm not dogging the racetrack. You know, I'm just saying I thought there would be more people. Oh, yeah, I definitely – I, I expected that, more. I, I expected more people there as well, you know, and um, I don't know why they didn't show up because the way it was ran – well, for the last two years, honestly, the way it's ran, the way they pay, the way, you know, everything works, you can't beat it. And it, you're in and out. It's not drug Yeah, out. It, 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 it works. An, it's, it works it, great. It's an in and out deal. I mean, you race on Friday night. You get there on Friday afternoon. You race by. You're done. Sure. It's a late Friday night, but you still have your full weekend. You're right. Yeah. So, um, right. they do a good job. I mean, they they might be struggling in a couple places, and car count being one of them. But so, but why do you think that is? So is everybody else. I, exactly. Right. So, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we went to the Southeast Limited deal. It paid two thousand to win. Right. We had six race cars. Right. Wow. I just, I, I just feel there's like a lot of other problems I just there. Feel, yeah. Well, I just, yeah, there is on that. But I, I feel like I just didn't feel Friday night. I just didn't feel the excitement that I always come into first. And other tracks are the same way. I went to other tracks this yeah, year. Yeah. And I just hadn't felt that excitement that I felt at the opener. Right. Yeah, at the opener. Right. Right. I a hundred percent agree. I felt like there should have been, you know, fifteen to twenty late models and about. 12 to 15 limiteds. Right. That's, that's what I wanted. But right. I, and I, I don't know why they wasn't there. I, don't, I mean, that's what we all want to not, say, There's nothing that – Do you think th- people are more conservative because they're closer, right? Like if they get tore up one or two times, so they'd rather not have that opening night where everybody – they comes with that stigma of destroying their stuff. Oh, that too. Do you think that uh, – I, I mean, that, I, that's uh, that's the thing I hear a that lot was, in here. I mean – Was, oh, we don't want to go opening night because everybody gets all crazy sure, and we're yeah. not going to run well, for Ace points. Ace is the and same guys racing. That, that's the only place they race is at that racetrack right. usually. A they lot of them, yes. Right, yeah. But yeah. So, okay, so here's the thing. So you lost some of those old school guys like Brad Kurth or whatever that used to put in a lot of time yeah. there. Dustin Rimmel Rimm was supposed to race. He right. actually blew a motor Right. And He started car, right? my car so that he could actually get his points. Right, yeah. um, but I, I, you know, I, I, some of them guys I haven't seen anybody really replace. Is there? It's not really a lot of new 
in there, I don't think. Or even I, think, there's I nobody. think there's a lot of racetracks facing that, though. We were talking about it the other night. Yeah. Langley Speedway, you know, their car counts have dwindled over the last couple of years because guys are just aging out. You know and I mean? and the, there's no new people coming in. Yeah, but where do you think the cars go? Corey and I talked about this kind of – I mean, there's still a lot of cars in that area, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So where do they all go? I I, I really don't know. Like, a, a person that I'm, I'm going to straight up call him out. I don't know why he hasn't been there, and I don't know what he's waiting on. Um, Pulling him out of the weeds right here. I mean, Mac Little. Mac Little. I right. mean, straight up. I, I mean, Friday night, I don't know if it's he because he can't get on. He hasn't been there in New York. I mean, to he, race at Ace a whole lot. I know, anyways. but I mean, it's catfishing season, bro. He, he, he is yeah. in. It's okay. catfishing he's season. He's in the area. They're reeling he, in big he's tunas. He's are, are y'all friends on Facebook? No. He you won't. should he be. Won't, he won't answer my Listen, friend request. <laughs> dude, he's, he's hooked up pulling out catfish. Dude, it's been fishing. Right. Like He's throwing it down. Right. Well, I'm just saying. One time I thought he pulled up Jimmy Hoffa. I mean, (laughs) good lord, that thing was huge. Right, he got his whole hand in the mouth, like, whoa. (laughs) Like, he's noodling a fish and stuff. Gladiator, yeah, 85 (laughs) rods out. (laughs) Oh, man. There's just, you know, there's a couple people. I mean, Jimmy Rice last year, he tried, he struggled, and they've kind of dwindled off, and they're going back to their ground pounder. Right. I Um, see he still sponsor the racetrack. Yeah, he does. Um, You know, and. Ace was given such a bad rap between um between Brad and uh Robert and Jason. There was a lot of bad stuff that happened in you between think? that area. And so Yeah, I'd he, say so. I wrapped myself up in one of them. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> yeah. So, you know, there, it's Hey just, Corey, go find the transponders. Well They're gone. <laughs> uh, daily sold those. Yeah. On eBay. So, you know, it's just it's one of those deals where I just honestly don't think that people has gained enough faith in the racetrack yet to sure. to support it. I can 100%. see that. Well, you know, and I've said it too. There's only so many sponsors around, and these sponsors, you know, that little community is only going to get screwed over so many times. Right. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And uh, but I think with 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 it being uh, Jason and Robert, that's somebody they've known through the years. They can trust them right. instead of this right. guy, this Mike, whoever this guy was out of the blue that we've never right. seen. You know? Right. Absolutely. Well, you know, and it's one of them deals where they're they're fighting in day in and day out to go get a sponsor yeah i mean they had modern chivalet there friday night trying to get a sponsor for either the limited or the modifieds right. and i mean after the modified race i think hands down I, if they don't sponsor it i think they would be crazy i mean the modifieds put on a great race so right. and there was a lot quite a few cars for that class i mean yep. there was what 11 i think it was yeah we had brad allen out there trying to sell his yeah so yeah, his clutch, yeah. his clutch went out. Yeah, he fell in all seat, that went out on him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, <clears throat> the only reason we talk crap about him is because we like him. So we yeah. like him. Yeah. <laughs> we're sad that he didn't come on. <laughs> well, you know, I'd like to have him on. Sometime. We're gonna we're gonna work good. on getting uh, yeah. we're gonna work on getting him on uh, maybe next uh, next week. Um, you know, he's you know, of course, the race director at uh, South Boston and part time racer at Ace. Um, you know, yeah. I don't know how much more he's going to race. We can talk to him about that next week. Um, I don't know what Kyle Dudley said kept him away. Maybe the tearing up cars. Lane Riggs ain't there, so you're good, man. <laughs> um, yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, that's that's his that's his uh, rival there. You know, one one race rival. Yeah. So. Turn one, lap one. <laughs> <laughs> Which Lane apologized for? So, yeah. You know. Um, Daryl Carver come on here and said that he's coming to Ace. Yep, I see. I see. That's yeah, uh, start that's, calling people out of the weeds. See what hey, happens. That's good. I mean, we this, got is, this is what, good, well, hey, this let, is let, let me tell we're you doing this. That is good. And I, I'll tell you, as much as I think the Turners are really good for Ace, okay, I will call them out on one thing. You know, I offered to have a radio show at Ace or at a venue down their street from Ace, and uh, told them I wanted to do it. They said, Yeah, we'll do it. Blah blah blah. Let me find a venue. I'll get back to you. Let me tell you when I've heard from. I Never. Haven't. And see, that's the problem with racing, and that's the problem with a lot of these racetracks. I've tried to work with several of them. Guys don't; they can't. They can't see I mean, the forest for we, the trees. We you know? have well, tried to work with several of them. We, okay. I, I mean, you're, I'm talking right this now, so it's terrible. me. Okay, so shut up, selfish uh, bastard. <laughs> but uh, I do everything. That's why Kim's been searching for two hours to find your picture. Well, you know, Kim usually does everything. That so Corey I gotta, took. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, right? Exactly right. That's exactly wow. right. Wow. Wow. 
Um, Dog but just, almost fell out the chair. <laughs> right? <laughs> Doc about went down. <laughs> that uh, would have been a crash landing. Um, but uh, but th- these racetracks, man, they can't see the forest for the trees, man. Uh, they got to get their head out of their ass at some point or another, especially if you got somebody want to give you free advertising. I mean, I'll, I'll call them out right now. Motor Mile, they're, they're, they're working on very hard on that. But I've offered Michelle for two weeks in a row to come on the radio show. So this is an hour and a half to three hours worth of free advertising right. that we're going to make stories and stuff out of separate but from we've that. we've been getting, tell so them some mean, numbers. We've been getting good steam The car story, you, 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 you asked Jack, what, one time? Oh, yeah. I don't, yeah. Boom. Uh, and Chris, the, you know, Chris coming on the show every week, you, we call him. Yeah. <laughs> that was his idea, okay? So, yeah. I mean, that, if people want to know why the car store is successful. Right there is why they're successful. They're working it. These other people aren't working it. And, yeah. and, and they can talk about they're working it like, you know. Yeah, I think they're working it. They're just working it like they did 15 years ago, and it doesn't convert. Well, okay, you're exactly right. And you even, can't do that anymore. And, right? even, and, and I'll, give, I'll give Hickory a crap load of credit since we called called them out well, on here talking junk about him every week. hey hey they have lit it up oh i okay? agree i, I agree. mean they have done a good job with social media for sure and there's other tracks that do a good job with social media but don't don't tell me that you're relying on facebook to get the word out when you're posting three times a week right. okay you better be posting 30 times a day if right. that's your goal if that's yeah. the only thing you're doing you better be working your ass off to right. do that yeah i mean i agree I just don't. I don't get. I don't get where people. Uh, what people are thinking right now. I just don't understand. They'll uh, sign out in front of their business, but they expect you to stop in. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's just not the way it works. Yep. Uh. Hey, hey, bro. The legend Willie Wall wants to know how much does it cost to run limited Ace tires, etc. You talking about the, the some cost of stuff when you go to run limited Ace? How much is it? We break it down. After, after your first weekend, uh, obviously you get four new tires the first weekend. Right. So, um, you know. That after you pass that deal, we're gonna skip that because you know that's sure that's, sure. that's expensive. Yeah, yeah. Sure. your first weekend is gonna be your most expensive weekend. Right. So for me, I carry average eight guys at thirty five dollars a head to get in the pits. Right. Um, and then you know two tires and then fuel. So we're around six fifty seven hundred dollars. And then if you win, you know, that's a thousand dollars. So if you can win, you can actually come out of A Speedway. And you bring way more people than most people too. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I most mean, people are probably about a four or five. Four right. Or five, yeah. Right. You know, so we have a large team, so that ups that price quite a bit and then right. you know, obviously you're gonna get tires. I mean, you if you're going to a racetrack and not buying tires, you shouldn't even be going. So Right. Um you know, I'd say probably on average, probably around five hundred dollars to go race. Right, and then uh, if you don't tear up, their payouts actually really well. It's like thousand to win. I think six fifty for second and like five hundred for third. And then, it's not bad for limited. No, and it, it dwindles all. off just a little bit as you go through the field. But I mean, it's a local Friday night show. I mean, they can't afford to pay five hundred dollars to start a limited race. Sure, sure. Comparative, <laughs> comparatively, you going to run the Southeast uh, Tour. What does it cost you? Uh, we went and we camped. We didn't even get a motel room. We camped, bought a set of practice tires, a set of race tires, fuel, um, there and back. Then. Um, you know, pit passes and everything, a three-day pit pass. Well, a three-event pit pass. You had Thursday practice, right. early morning practice, and then your race pit pass sure. was $80 a head. So we was uh, wow. Jesus. We, was, we was right at, you know, $2,000 in right. running a Southeast Limited race. Right. Wow. Um, and, you know, it paid 2000 to win. Right. It's supposed to pay 3000 I think. But I thought so, too, yeah. It, yeah. I, we didn't have but six cars. So it might have, so might have, yeah. it might have went down because the car count was so low. Chris Burns said, he, said he spent six hundred fifty-seven bucks at Carteret and he won five thousand yeah. dollars. That's, that's big good. time. Yeah, that's good. I mean, yeah. that's and I mean, and there's some yeah, yeah, there's yeah, some yeah. races out there. And, Rogers, I, Rogers, and Rogers I know you're said, planning on going to Carteret, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah we're going yeah. to go to Carteret for the yeah. yeah when, 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 when did you find out? You know, I'm, if I'm supposed to make you know a touring series and I'm supposed to get three grand at racetrack and I get there. How, how, how did all that I'm go down? I'm always intrigued about how this happened. Yeah, how, the, how does that go down? Well, say it again. I'm sorry. He, he's basically asking, how did you find out that you were only that it was only two thousand to win? I I didn't know until after the race. So you were just assuming that it was three before? No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure I, I read somewhere that it was supposed to be, or like all the Southeast Limited races is supposed to be three thousand to win. 
So they yeah. don't have a published purse anywhere? I, I actually believe they lowered it. And I, you yeah, may I, be right, I, but I, I think they lowered it. This is all on me. I, I, a couple of I years could ago. be completely wrong. I, I, I went, I not, I went not paying attention to how much it was going to win. Right. Pay to okay. Win. Right. I, right. Was, I, didn't, right. I didn't. I thought you were meant they cut the purse. He's got so much money, he didn't even care. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I think we just talked about this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Hey, one, one thing I wanted to point out, uh, Eric Siebens uh, posted, yeah, let's see you get Hackett in there. Actually, Darren's already been here. Yeah, we've done so, did that. Uh, Darren, you know, stepped up to the plate and ha- had a lot of really, you know, interesting things to say. And, uh, yeah. um, you know. I and wish his podcast is available. Absolutely. So you can go back and uh, Chris Hillis said his advertise is 2,000 to win. They said they spread it through the field this year. So Okay. okay. Yeah. So, you know, and I, I didn't – I did not pay attention to that. I did not even look at that before I went. I went – I was so, going to race. So damn no race car what. drive, right? I don't care what I'm winning. I'm going to show it up. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, I think we've already established that he's racing two series. He don't know, you know what I mean? He just yeah. already said he's driving himself in the ground to do it. Doesn't care what the purse is. Not dogging. Cares yeah. what the purse is. Yeah, that yeah. cares what the purse is way more than right. Yeah. And, and and it's just, not your job to care what. I, I just want right. to win races. That, that, I don't care what it pays. Kind of what I just want to win. Right. I mean, not right. So and you're going to race as much as you can race. I'll race for five dollars. Right. Right. You know, I don't care. Right. Racers race. Well, and typically they race where they want to race. They they do what they want to do. I mean, like you this year. I mean, you could have went back to South Boston and run full time at South Boston yeah. and Ace. Yeah. But you didn't want to do that. No, I, I mean, I really didn't. I just didn't want to. I want to run Ace. Um, right. You know, quite a bit. Yeah. But I also want to travel. I mean, Ace means a lot to me. Sure. That's the first yeah. place I ever won a championship. Right. I mean, I, I, I've you know I've established a name there, loved and hated. So you know. A lot of people in the area know me, so I, I don't want to just up and leave there and not ever go back because, you know, for one, I want to support Robert and Jason so that they can Absolutely. get it up and going and continue to keep it going um, and so on and so forth. But I also want to travel and, and venture out because, you know, in 2014, we left Ace and didn't go back, which that was in a time period of it going to somebody else. And right. it was you got told to not come back, or no, 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 I didn't get told not to come back. I just decided not to go it back. It was too much of a joke, too. And it was no, right, after right. Brad left, and right. it was under new management, and so on. So I mean, I just didn't know, you know. I remember you were hurt for a while, like just yeah. because you care about that place. I yeah, oh yeah, you absolutely. And, you yeah, and I, maybe I shouldn't share this, but I remember you and I talking here. But he's going to anyway. <laughs> when you were in here, no. <laughs> but I want people to know. I, yeah. I want people to know that he. He genuinely cared about being able to go race there. I think you yeah. started to deflect and maybe went to Caraway a few yeah. races, and yeah. that turned yeah. into a, what it is. Yeah. And then you, you know, said we'd go back. But you genuinely were oh, hurt yeah. by not racing at a Absolutely. speedway. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I, whenever Jason and Robert decided to bring it back, Dad sponsored the track with right. putting a banner on the wall and. Right. You know, we done what we could to help. I mean, right. What we can do is obviously not enough to help a racetrack, but sure. every little bit does help. So we decided we would help every little bit we can. And um, you just being there at that place helps out that racetrack right. a lot. Yeah, I mean, a lot. It, just it, it bringing really, in the really people does. that hate you more than anything right. that helps <laughs> the racetrack. <laughs> I mean, you know it's true. Yeah, no, right. seriously, no, no, no. Your your fans are there, and then there's other fans going. I'm going to see right. who, who wrecks his ass. Right. Right. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. Which is great. I mean, every week That's there's great. some dude bitching on that page, on that uh, Central North Carolina page about about you racing limiteds or something else. Yeah. I mean, yeah, every week. I mean, did you did you really watch the video of the 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 Forest and Lee, there was half the people were like, yeah, and the other half the people were like, what in the hell? I mean, yeah. the, the people yeah. that were for Philip, they were yeah. all screaming for their own thing. That's what it right. needs, I think. Yeah. Right. Yep. I mean, it's supposed to be rivalry. Absolutely. And there's supposed to be hate and, and love. I mean, it's one of them deals where if you don't have it, it's, it's going to be boring. Who's uh, going to be your rival this year? Mm. Pin Cram Gary, Jr. Gary Young. No, no, I, I don't. I really don't think that. That's, I mean, you two guys are going to be battling right, it out that for That was wins. my pick too. I, I, I mean, I agree, but I'm not going to run ace. Uh, I mean, gotcha. all year long, that's not going to be one of them deals. I, if I had, back a little, I mean, yeah, yeah. If sure. I had to go with it, I mean, I just, I just, me and Max always so close, and right. we're like magnets to each other. We're always right. together, and it's just, it always uh, somehow or another ends up bad. I don't want it to. I mean, I don't want nobody to be mad, but. I'll be the first one to try to fix it when it does go wrong, but I definitely, you know, Mac would definitely be probably the, my pick for being a rival again this year. Right. Gotcha. Um, 
What what uh you know, I know it's the money getting in, but what would make you go race a late model? What would make you run late model races instead of limited? Is there something that a track can do that would make yeah. you go race late models? No. I mean, honestly, there's there's I mean, there's there's things that I could do probably I could race five or six times a year in a sure. late model. You tried Martinsville, right? I, 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 he didn't I, just try. He run really good. No, I, I wasn't dogging. Yeah, I, mean, I, I went to Martinsville, and I mean, it was like five thousand dollars later. You know, here we are. We made the race. Right. We was running sixteenth. Right. On the lead lap, with on lap one sixty something. Right. And the motor blowed up. So right. you know, it was one of them deals where that was yeah. like a ma- major accomplishment, even to Absolutely. make the race. Yeah, and then it. we was yeah. in the top twenty, going almost into the final twenty five laps. And I mean, I don't think that we could have won it, but I definitely feel like we could have at least been in the top ten. And um, you know, I feel like Dad being the crew chief, my brother in law being my spotter and co crew chief, mm-hmm. and then me. I mean, there's a little circle right there where feedback and then you throw roger and greg in the mix because when dad don't know it and ethan don't know it greg's our first call and then roger's definitely there as well you know and if they can't answer it then we don't know and so whenever that's just that's just where we're at like we don't I, i i trust them and I feel like with their knowledge, with Greg's help, with Roger's help, with Dad's knowledge, with Ethan's knowledge, and I feel like I could definitely participate in late model racing. It's just money. I mean, that's right. that's all it is. Yeah, I, 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 I think your, I, I your whole thing is. I can't is, afford to go buy a Harrington Motor for thirty thousand dollars. I can't yeah. afford to that's go. That's the biggest number we've heard. I don't think yeah. you're gonna pay thirty thousand well, dollars. Whatever it is, you know, I, I don't even <laughs> you know. You for about twelve. I, I, well, whatever, I don't even know how much it <laughs> yeah. is. Well, but, hey, hey t- t- tell me if I'm wrong. You would rather run, run limited, and be good at it, and know you're good at, it, than run half ass at late model. Absolutely. I mean, I, that, that's what the whole thing. If comes I'm gonna to. race, I'm gonna race to where I can win. Yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna go and say, well, I hope I can go and finish in the top five this weekend. Yeah, no, exactly. I, I, I don't want. I don't want to go and finish fifth. I want to go and win. You, you mentioned the Harrington exactly. engine. Is it that part that's keeping you more from going to late models, or is it the weekly expense of racing a, a late model? Um, a little of both, honestly, um, because different tracks call for different engines. Sure. Um, so with that being said, you don't have to just. I mean. To be Lee, if I'm gonna do it, I want to be Lee Pulliam. I want to be sure. Peyton Sellers. I want to be Philip Morris. You know, I want to be one of them guys. If I'm gonna do it, I want to be them. Well, they have one of each, and they, depending on the motor package, the rules right. and stuff like that. I mean, it just depends on what they want to run that weekend is what they're gonna run. Right. So I mean, it's just there's so many different combos that sure. you can do. And then, I mean, there's going to be more cars. You're going to tear more stuff up. The the cost is going to go up. The tires, you know. I would totally do it if we could afford it, but we just can't afford it. Sure, sure. I mean, I understand that completely. I just didn't know, you know, what it was that, you know, you know I knew money was Oh, yeah, the deal. It's, it's definitely money. Yeah. It's definitely, I mean, that's all. I feel like we have the knowledge. We have the race car capable. We have a motor builder. It's just having the motor. What I find amazing mo- about this? He said something earlier, it's the money, but yet he believed enough in a speedway that they are not super loaded, but they supported their place that they were going to race, right. and that's the win, right? Like, they, he, he consistently through this, and I've known you a long time, so I have said, hey, man, we didn't have the money, we didn't have the money, but, but a speedway was something that you believed in, so your dad, who is not a loaded man Mm -hmm. right is a working class guy right right? does his own deal he believed in it enough to to put a billboard up there to try to two-way help i I think that's awesome right that's that's where the win is yep i I applaud that i think that's great yeah it's it's hard it's hard to race somewhere it's not open so i mean i appreciate you i appreciate y'all doing that right but a lot of people don't look at it that way you know what i mean through the worst days of ace absolutely i mean in its history yeah Yeah. that was its worst days right by far i mean I just think that's helpful. I think that's something that people don't think about. You know, it's it's not only just going oh, no, there. You're, I mean, you're you, in it. You, you can know what definitely I mean? go to racetracks and see that when you show up, the racers don't respect the place that they're at. Like, right. 
you walk into Southern National, I mean, that's one of the top notch right. racetracks. I mean, you've got it all. Right. So South Boston's the same way. Right. And then you see people just throw their trash on the ground, drive out, and say, screw right. it, I might come back and I might not. Right. I mean, there's, and then you got the guy that shows up every single weekend that, you know, keeps his place as clean as he possibly can. Well, I can tell you from promoting at Southern National, the racers in that area are spoiled rotten. I, I can tell you that 100% for sure. And I'm not, not all of them. I mean, obviously, it's not all of anybody anywhere. I mean, everybody who goes to Ace yeah. doesn't respect the place right. like yeah. you do. Yeah. But, I mean. Not I, all I, of them, but a lot of them do. It's, it's, more, it's, more, of, it's of, more of a big family a, there than it is it other is. tracks. 100%. There is. It, it I is. I mean, like Causey. How many times you see Causey go elsewhere? No. Um, Gary Young. Uh, me. I mean. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of people that when the do- – Dean Fogelman. Is, Dean yeah. Fogelman, absolutely. Yeah, Dean Fogelman's been true to there forever. I, yeah, Dustin Rumley. Exactly. I mean, right. you know, if they're going to race, most of the time they're going to race there. I mean, the place went through that bad time. Dustin Rumley sells his race car. Yeah, yeah. Gets yeah. him a legend car. Yeah. Go, goes, runs legend cars on Tuesday nights. Well, guess what? This back open and it's being ran right. at a decent, you know, way. Right. He's got a late model again. He's going to race. Yep. So yeah. – I mean, I honestly think once the place builds its name and gets it back to where it's supposed to be, I believe it'll bump. I, I agree 100%. And, and I think they're on the, the right path to doing that. The yeah. stability there hasn't been I there mean, for it's a consistent. While. I right. mean, it, since it, it's, Brad, it's, it's it hasn't not, been have not, it has not been one of them deals to where you go and you hope that you get paid. Right. Yeah, it, it, for you, sure. It's, you're going to get paid. Right. I mean, it, it's, it's consistent. Right. The rules is the rules. The way they do the tires is the way they do the tires. The way you park is the way you park. The way you pay at the back gate is the way you pay at the back gate. There's, right. it's consistent. The, it's the yeah. same every single weekend. Yeah. yeah. To where, beforehand it wasn't. Right. right. I mean, it'd be twenty five dollars to get in the pits one week, and then it'd be forty five the next. Right. Yeah, I remember right. that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I mean, that, that consistency. That, continues to add up more and more and more and more and 100%. i really think that it, it's gonna it's gonna eventually i mean people gotta give it time right and yeah. i really do think i mean riding a cook race i mean they throw just a little bit of extra money on the line and it ain't just a little bit they, there's a lot yeah i mean they they have a good car count sure i mean For sure so i mean we're at the point with late model stocks where that's the only car count you get is big yes. races right I mean, yeah, that's right. yeah, yeah. I mean, these tracks, most of them would be better off if they had a limited division as the top division like Southern National is doing. Yeah. You know? yeah, but yeah. then Greenville did it, and we dogged it. I haven't dogged it. I, I, I said from the beginning, I think it's the right decision. I just don't know if it was knee-jerk, if it was too quick. That, that, they did it at the wrong late. time. Yeah, 100%. At the wrong time. I think somebody's got to win is the wrong time, right? you got to do it now and then just right. keep After the first it. race of the season when everybody's ready to run their whole yeah, season. You can't have guys, which there, at least they didn't have a whole long time right. to plan for I mean, it. because And they didn't have tons of guys either. They didn't have tons of guys. <laughs> So yeah. what what, what yeah. better test pool? I think Anthony's kind of falling on the sword. I like what they're doing. You know, they manipulated it back around. He's definitely falling around. on the sword. You know, right? I think he That's is. That's for sure. Ace, though, going back to Ace. Robert, I can I walk in there, and any time since they took over, Robert's over a taking car door. He sees me. He stops where he's doing, walks Absolutely. over, and shakes my hand and Absolutely. thanks me for being there. And Absolutely. that that makes me want to go back. Absolutely. Right. You know, that's, why we, that's why we like the old days, right? Because yeah. you went in there, and Brad or whoever, yeah. you know, yeah. they, hey, yeah. how you doing? Hey, well, I got yeah. this. You stood at the back gate you shook your tickets, hand as right? you pulled yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Which right. Langley done the same thing right. at uh, Franklin County. At, I, you got a free set of teeth when you walked in the gate. <laughs> no, 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 no. The first Wait a time, the first you time got, I was, I, you got a helmet with a set of antlers on it. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. That, that dude. I wish we could find that picture. There was a and a free uh, uh, Obama burger. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was pre me. Okay. That, that was <laughs> awesome. That was Buck Wild. That's what Listen, that was. Uh, the first time I said I wanted to go to Franklin County, a guy come up to me. He said, "You're going to Franklin County." I said. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to go up there. It was Langley was running it on Sundays. He pull in 25 ahead to get in the pits. Pay, you know, whatever it was for tires. He didn't care what kind of fuel you ran, just, you know, show up and right, race, right, right? You know. And so and he paid on the spot. Cash yep, money cash. before you left. Fun track too. Before right? you left, you was paid. Yeah. And it was fun. But my initial <laughs> the initial thought was put in my head 
you're going to Franklin County. Well, if you ain't got a beer and a gun when you show up, they're going to issue one. <laughs> so, <laughs> man, you know, issue and, one. And I've that, heard that before. That was the most interesting place I think I've been. I loved it. The racetrack was fun. It was fast. It fits you your could, style, too. You could race. You could race. There. I mean, you could straight up race. Yeah. Them For guys sure. went up there with them scuffed tires with and run late model. I actually ran late model with a 603. Right. And they would just roast their tires. And I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't think about keeping up with them once they dropped, when they dropped a green flag. But at the end of that 50 lap race, on them scuffed tires, I mean, they was junk too. <laughs> I mean, you know, once they was gone, they was gone. And I still had a little bit of tire left and I could run them back down. And it was, it was fun every Sunday. I mean, if we got scot free at any racetrack we raced during the week and they was racing on Sunday, we would haul tail. We was gone. It's good times up there for it sure. Was. It, it was. It was good so to have you fun. there. I, I'll never forget the first race that you won. It may have been. It may not have been the first race you won, but we had twins, and the first race you were crap. And yeah. And the second race you were really good. Yeah. And, and I mean, after the race, man, I had to go check your tires myself. Yeah. Because they're over here. The tire guy's cheating for <laughs> right, them. Right. They're doing this and they're doing. I'm like, <laughs> look, I'll go find out. Yeah. I don't care. I'm, I walked right over there and said, "Hey, pull these off. Let's, let's see what it goes." We had twins, and yeah. I knew if we put on our bad tires. For the yeah, or, our get, good what, tires. Six tires, yeah, we got six tires. Uh, and I knew he that tricked they, them. <laughs> they was going to put their good stuff on for the first race because they wanted to win that first right, race. Right. Well, I went out there and I was horrible. <laughs> he was horrible. I mean, horrible. <laughs> we got in the this first guy. race. <laughs> right. And then uh, they dropped. They inverted for the second race. And you got tires. And I got tires. <laughs> <laughs> they dropped a green flag, baby. There wasn't nothing they could do but spin. So I was gone. <laughs> My favorite part of that is Mike Looney comes over to me afterwards and he goes. So we don't have to run the same four tires both races. I was like, we gave you six tires. He said, yeah, but I thought we had to pick four. I said, well, who told you that? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> he said, I guess, I guess they were smarter than I was. So let me tell you something. If there is a tire management man in this building, he is sitting over here. <laughs> right, right. He That's is go kart days. Right, that's Absolutely. it. Right. I mean, whenever they give us this one tire or these two tires, I mean, right. there's so many different ways people want to do it. And he's, when you hear it, come out of his mouth it's like man he's he's going backwards here why yeah. is he doing it this way and then in the long run guess who's ahead i mean he, oh, he's got the but, tires on and, point. and he knows about tires like you know I, i'd go through the tires and i'd look at them you know most of the time and try to see you know what was good and what was like so i'm looking at tires i think they're good whatever and he comes hey i'm not racing on these yeah i'm not going out on these tires right. i'm like well show me what's wrong with them and sure enough man he told me okay yeah. whatever yeah. Right, yeah. let's get you some tires yeah. you know what I, mean? yeah. <laughs> I mean it wasn't like i was rolling much better tires out right <laughs> no 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 because <laughs> i'd roll them out and he'd go all right yeah <laughs> i guess this is all we got <laughs> i mean yeah. it was great though he I said mean, here you got these to choose from which ones you want uh, we'll take up. the bad ones yeah. hey, i think i have the picture <laughs> One of the funniest things I've ever seen was Brad Allen at Ace, and this was when Jason Payne, you and him, was getting into it after a race one time. I'll never forget he said this, and Jason was, you know, he was raising Kane saying you was cheated up, everybody's cheating, and won't you check him? He said, who's cheating? He said, everybody but me. He said, what kind of makes you the stupid one, don't it? I said, that's the greatest thing I've ever heard in my life. Brad Allen, he just walked off. Jason just looked at him like, you son of a <laughs> So well, everybody's cheating but me. The well, whole <laughs> – here, we got to pass this around. Yeah, we'll, we'll what are we looking at? <laughs> <laughs> that's great. My seven-foot – father-in-law climbing the fence pointing at me holy <laughs> <laughs> wow that's good stuff right there <laughs> i mean hey, up and, and, on and, the fence you know yeah th something that we left out about that whole night right there whenever Payne was supposed to win the championship and i was not because the whole fight that broke out on the front stretch um he ended up getting thrown out in tech afterwards so we still mm -hmm. ended up with the championship that year Yep. So it turned out, turned out our way anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, just reading through some of the comments on here, a lot of uh, awesome. a lot of comments on here. Uh, I won't read them all. Uh, Darren Cochran chiming in said uh, Franklin County is a driver's track. Uh, said that uh, said that I was able to make the rules uh, that took the money out of it and put it in the. He just read that because it was a compliment to him. Well, right. actually, I didn't read the compliments <laughs> above, so that would be. Incorrect, Corey. <laughs> well, I see where Franklin County's having a uh, race here. <laughs> Is that what you call it? <laughs> are they? <laughs> They're having, they've got three two by fours and two cinder blocks that are going to jump some motorcycles over it. <laughs> no way. And, and feel, yeah, and I, think I don't know they, about the cinder blocks and the two by fours, <laughs> but he's correct on the motorcycles. Wow. <laughs> I'm not Who's sure. Who's putting this on? I'm not sure. Uh, it's written in pencil on a piece of paper. Uh, on a napkin. It was. It was hung in a napkin <laughs> in the bathroom. I think it's one of Corey's people putting the race on. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Oh, no. It's, 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 I've seen that and I was like, wow. 
And the hits just keep oh, on coming. Oh, my God. Buck Wild. <laughs> your, your father-in-law said you, that he couldn't see over everyone. That's not an issue. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was yeah. That's not an issue. Uh, yeah. So he climbed a 12-foot-tall uh, fence. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you had her home on time. Uh, <laughs> big dude, man. Tom, Tommy Wright, who uh, – had a car there with several different drivers, Jimmy Mullins, uh, several different guys. Johnny Cash drove for him. Uh, said he ran a fourteen oh two on those junk tires. Must have got the best set in the container. He probably did. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, and that was. I mean, you know, certain times. I mean, if you, I mean, that's part of the draw. Yeah. I mean, if, if right. you show up, and you, I mean, and there was only one time that I went. Yeah, there was only one time he ever complained. I ever, ever complained about tires, and it was the night that I actually, I didn't know the trick that he had up his sleeve right? with the tire situation. And then, I mean, it turned out perfectly fine in my eyes. Right. But, you know, I was still complaining because I had a bad set of tires. And that's the right. only time I ever complained yeah. about a bad set of tires. It was your first, I think Brian Pimpleton or something, your first race. And he was like, these tires suck. They're all crap. And you're like, yeah, they're all crap. It was crap. Tommy Perry. They, oh, I told Tommy Perry. Yeah, it was. <laughs> he said, they're bad. all crap. Well, you've all got to drive on them. Uh, yeah. You know? Well, and that's what Tommy said. He said, I hate, these tires are all junk. He said, but at least we're all on the same junk. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. Drive hell out so. of it. Yeah. It, uh, I, I mean, it wasn't it like we was running really long races, anyhow. No, yeah. it was like if, if it was a si- it was like a sixty lap right. race or like twin forties. Sixties, I think, was yeah. about. Well, we run a one hundred one one hundred lapper one time. That was the Fourth of July race, though, wasn't it? Something like that. Yeah, I think I paid more for that or something. You my ain't wife, never paid my, more in your life. Let me tell you something. I did many a times, and my wife cussed me <laughs> every time. Okay, because I don't know what it was. Every time I'd pay more money, I'd get less cars. I could not figure that out to save my life. That's nuts. Well, that's got to be the way it goes sometimes. I mean, and I see it at other racetracks. I see yeah, other racetracks. They is. pay more yeah. money and they get less cars. I don't know if it's a mentality. I mean, look, I mean, look at the Southeast Limited deal at the beginning of the year. Right. It's supposed to pay two thousand to win. And we literally had six race cars show up. Yeah, like last thing. last year at Card Red, I never thought such a great place. And I thought that, what, 10,000 win limited race? Right. We just thought there was going to be like 50, 60 limiteds there. Right. They had, what, 21? Yeah. Something yeah, but like Ace that. paid 3,000, right, this weekend? Ace right. paid 3,000 and had was nine it? cars? I don't know. What what did late models pay at? What did late models pay at Ace? Last week? <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't even know. I yeah. thought it was three grand. He don't, he don't know what it pays. It, it it really what did it pay to win a limited race? Do you know? Nope. I bet Dad could tell us. What did? Hey. Oh, 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 oh man, I hate checks. I did that once at Ace. That was a cluster. Yeah, go ahead and tell you. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> like the Franklin County style cash money out the gate. Right. Which I grew up in go kart racing. That's how it is. Right. And Greg Marlowe said three thousand this weekend. Yes. Yeah. 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 If anybody would know, he would know. That's yeah. where his paycheck comes yeah. from. Yeah. Like, I was so. pretty sure he told me earlier, but I didn't want to call him out. I was. Make sure that was the right. Right, right. Uh, Bubba Janey uh, said, want to say thank you for the Race 22 for the podcast. Absolutely. Um, wouldn't wouldn't be possible without all these guys here. Corey sometimes and Roger most of the time and uh, Doc and my, my wife all the time. So. You know, Roger, we could start our own show. <laughs> well, that would be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that would be bad. Oh, man. You, I just about said something I'd regret. Uh, <laughs> I would shank you um, right here. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Brad Allen said, most hated guy in the room when I delivered his trophy to his own banquet. Oh, yeah, it was. That was the year that the whole pain deal went down, right. and I wasn't allowed to go to the banquet. That's right. So we had our own banquet. That, why were you not allowed to go to the banquet? Because we was we banned. got banned from the racetrack yeah, because we got that. in the fight. I remember. But... That's what I was talking about earlier. We still won the championship. Point. Yeah, so yeah. we weren't allowed to go to the banquet. You so. might be a badass if you get banned from your own championship banquet. <laughs> I ain't never <laughs> heard no, such a thing in my life. <laughs> yeah. So we had our own banquet, and Brad Allen just shows up with my trophy. That's cool. And walks in. So yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Josh Parrish. <laughs> Josh Parrish. Josh Parrish. Correct. Yeah, he's talking about 5,000 to win this past weekend at Carteret, 12 cars there. That's which, every track. It uh, doesn't matter. Yeah, And honestly, I don't think money brings them to the table no. unless it's Could have paid 15 grand. Money, you know? Yeah. Like, well, and I think for that, the struggle there for Carteret is, my God, it's so far away from yeah. everybody who races. And it is. It's yeah. a long trip. But, it man, is. it's the most beautiful racetrack on earth. Yeah. It is. It have is. you been? No, I have not. Oh, I've you? just seen pictures, and from the pictures, I can I tell you. It. How far it's, is it from here? It's like Disney really World. Like two years. Two from, years, here? from here? Yes. Like two from, years. From here, yes. about five and a half hours. <laughs> it's a good long damn way. About five and a half hours, okay. man. Yeah. It I'm is, going. Uh, you want to go with me? No, he does not. He, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Roger is not going. I don't know. Okay. I went to Franklin County. 
That's yes, not he that did. far. Okay. That was a, what do you mean? Well, the trip I took Holy you on, that was God. a long one. We went over three well, miles. we went to Motor Mile first. We went to Motor Mile first. Yeah. We, we were in a coal tunnel at one point. Hey, what about the bridge? The, we had to fold the mirrors in on the, <laughs> to get through the bridge. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the one lane uh, yeah. under the train. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, my gosh, that's some, yeah. that's, uh, good yeah. times right there. The dude, uh, gosh, that runs the six hundred two limiteds, and I can't think of his name. He brought their bus. They call their car on a bus. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-mm. Allison, uh, Chris Allison, maybe. I, I can't remember for sure, but they brought it through mm-hmm. that through that bridge. It was pretty awesome. How long does that say it is? Four hours thirty one minutes. Four hours and thirty one minutes from here. It's over by the coast, right? Yeah, you be it's at the beach. Hey, you can take your old when lady with it? you. Yeah. Race there. When is coast. it? Every other Saturday, basically. Every other Saturday. Yeah. I'm gonna go. My first race that I'm going is um, Memorial Day weekend. We're yeah. gonna go down there and camp. And are you so, planning to go to the fifth or ten thousand to win? I think it is this year. When is that? August tenth. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Just depends. I mean, I don't know. I, I think they pay pretty good on a regular. I know you don't know, so I'm not even. Gonna no, ask. I don't guess. And I, mean, I don't care. I'm going to race. If I'm going to right, race, I'm going right. to race. So. Well, and honestly, I like I like that attitude. I mean, yeah, you know, I, I think it's great. Um, Corey Rose, he is stuck on Bowman Dagan. Oh man, God. this guy's firing. <laughs> I, yes, I, I thought mean, he would have passed out by now. If I read Bowman Dagan one more time, I'm gonna ban him from the page. Jesus, do it. Lord. Good grief. Hey, the um, sad thing is, that Corey's racing there too, isn't he? Oh, he year. went. Oh, no. he works with me now. Yeah, Dad Sorry. hired him. So. Actually, I hired him. But anyways, um, he comes your dad pays you. He, do he yet. is just—he's so pumped. He went this weekend or this past the weekend practice. in practice, yeah. and he's got a fast race car. And he is just—he is so pumped. He wants me to come race, uh, open and race. I'm like, no, I'm not coming. Well, that's not very nice. <laughs> not the first race, okay? Right. Didn't we just go over this? Uh, I mean, yeah. Didn't we just go over this? We did go over. We it. don't show up to the first race. That's when everything gets tore up. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Waste but, time. I mean, Kevin Neal and Derek already said they're winning every race this year. Nobody else is even going to win a race. Yeah. yeah. That's so, what they said. They did. I'm not sure the purpose of the question, but Eric Stevens wants to know: Did Caraway have a banquet the year you won? No. So you had your own? Uh, no. Act. I mean, they. It wasn't a banquet. It was like a get together after championship night. At the right then at the, when it happened. At, at the racetrack. I mean. They bring out beers yeah. and stuff. Back yeah, I mean, it was just, you know. Everybody brought their own beer. Right. <laughs> I mean, everybody just, we raced, loaded the race cars up, pulled to the field, walked into the front stretch behind the big aluminum bleachers. How, how much did it cost right to get there. in the front stretch? Uh, I, it was actually, if you had a pit <laughs> pass, she was good, I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so, I mean, it wasn't a banquet, but we did we did receive our awards. Right, right, I got you, I got you. Chris Burns says 2500 on a regular night down there uh, at Carteret. And yeah, that's their pretty tires good. That's good, discounted. yeah. Not bad at all. Um, it, it's a really good deal, and man, what I a, think he said $487 for a set of tires or something. Yeah, I think that's what he said. How can that be? What are, they, what are they on? The 50s? They're, they're not making money on them. Yeah, F50. Yeah, so yeah they're not Hold making on. any money on Let's go them. back, right? Like, this could be a good This could be a good <sighs> little blip. What What did you say it was again? 497 bucks is what, what he, he said, said earlier. earlier. What do we, right, but like, what do we pay at a local racetrack around here? Like when you got them almost F50s? Almost 700 700 bucks. So how can that be? Well, the F50s, when we went to... Southern National a couple weekends ago. I guess the 50s is wow. cheaper than the 45s, here, I guess. No, they're more, no, expensive. They're more expensive. So, this is because what I'm saying. they last longer. Yeah. From Hoosier, they're more expensive. About like $2 or 5 Well, like anyways. You so, know. the tires per set, we're looking at a couple hundred bucks difference. Yes. Yeah. And there's several there, there's several racetracks doing stuff like that. Motor Mile this year, they have discounted tires. They're not making any money on the tires this wow. year. Um, they're, you know, giving it to the racer. And their pit passes are like $15 for a NASCAR That's license. That's a pretty good now. margin. Yeah. Oh, it's a, yeah. Well, I mean, but are they losing money? I mean, I, I know what they sell for, but I don't know if I'm supposed to give that information out. So. Well, my question is, they just said that they sell for $496. So what? It's uh, $25 to get in the gate at Garter Ed, so. Probably the cheapest. Wow. I mean, other than Bowman Gray, wow. I mean, probably the cheapest place on earth to race. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah. Um, I don't know, That's but amazing. I think you'll like. Uh, I think you'll like uh, Carteret. Of course, uh, you know we we uh, talked about your your drinking habits, of which you have none. Yeah. Uh, this past Friday, no, no. unless Bobby Gillespie's around, then then no. maybe you have a few. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, the moonshine cherries up there. Yeah, yeah. They, they got yeah. me. They they was trick. They tricked me on the moonshine cherries. <laughs> but if anybody on your uh, on your crew likes to drink, they will like Carteret because you can buy beer all over the facility. There's like twelve places on the outside to buy beer. If you're a fan, man, it's so great. I that mean, is it's, crazy. It's fantastic. And there's a bar 
and grill in the infield um, when you go there to race. And the fans can actually come over there for the for their ticket price. They can actually come into the infield. It's fenced off. Yeah, they have a walkway the over the track. Area. Yeah, wow. and they have a walkover bridge. Yeah, I mean, Bobby Watson, when he built that place, he the built place it The right. place has 30,000 flags around it, I guarantee you. American flags. I've never seen a place with more flags around it in my Oh, there's life. American flags everywhere. Dad and Bobby Watson was good friends through go-kart racing. Well, he Dad used to race go-karts down there. Yeah. So that's why we've been aiming to get down there, but we just haven't made it down there I yet. So. In the van, that, that might that'd be a good ride. Can you take Corey with you? Again. Again. <laughs> I like the van. Another van. He, cool. He's going to start awesome. using you like Uber. I'm not. That's awesome. all right. Whatever I got to do to get you know more coverage out there, right, right, for sure. I mean, uh, hopefully we'll be uh, going to Carteret uh, to cover a race uh, soon. Um, you know, it's one of those places where you know as nice as it is and as great as it is, it's a long damn ways away, and it's really hard to get sponsorship for pretty much anywhere along the coast for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, got some you know like uh, Chris Burns' dad. Um, you know, Roger he he sponsors us all the time out there. So you know, good people. Um, definitely love to uh, get back out there. Maybe we'll go Memorial Day weekend since you're going to be there. Probably uh, you. I'm, I'm sure that. you'll make things exciting. Got a house and a boat to fish off of there. Right, boo boo. You do. What's that? You'll make things exciting. Nice. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, that's what we expect. I mean, most of the time anyway. The, right. The place is pretty flat and one groove, so you're gonna have to move some people. Yeah, it's really flat. Oh uh, yeah. It's flat. It's not as flat it's as Bowman Gray, but can, it's close. Yeah, it's I could close. tell that it was flat, and I mean that it's pretty much going to be one groove if it's flat so you know yeah that's fine it is what it is i'm banning cory rose yeah, just going to take, take, yeah, Jesus, take them man. off god dog. Take them off. uh andy johnson i guess talking about the tires here he's talking about uh racetrack is a business they need to make money on the tires to survive well not necessarily that's not necessarily true uh what i did is, not uh, what is andy johnson i did anyway? not make money on the tires <laughs> at franklin county well i sort of like, did but i paid andy out johnson? so much more you know i paid 200 to win you know where i mean 200 to start sorry and, and you know 160 dollar tires so it was just uh-huh. you know swapping money more than anything um and racetracks do not have to make money on tires to survive i'll just go ahead and tell you that yeah. right now I mean, they don't. Bowman Grade does not really make money on tires, and they don't need to. They and other racetracks to. could do the same thing. They, yes, they're not going to get as many people, but they could do the same Bowman thing. Bowman Grade makes zero dollars on tires. You buy I'm your sh- tires from Freeman's, and you run the same set of tires for the whole year. Yeah. yeah. I'm That's sure right. they get some sort of cut, other than $5 modified. or $25 for the That you know, one time, you know, whatever but they could is. care less. Well, sure, they, they don't care. On I that. Mean, 100%. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I yeah. mean – Andy Johnson is correct under the current business Nobody's model. Nobody's ever said that. Right. And Andy I'm, Johnson is correct. Nobody's ever about said that. <laughs> ever. I about threw up a little right. bit when I said it. But uh, he's correct under the current business model that racetracks have. They do need to sell tires to, yeah. to survive. Yeah. Yeah. But they don't have to do that. They you know, they just need a new business model. Well, Kevin Pearson ain't going to like me saying that. But tires sure. is, is one of them deals where everybody's got to have them no matter what. Right. I mean, tires wear out. You gotta have tires, so it's one of them mm-hmm. deals where those Bowman Gray tires don't wear out. No, no, no they, they get they better. Get, yeah, they yep. get better in time. So, so my question is, wouldn't we be better off? No, because listen, th- this is that's where it all goes to crap. Sure, go ahead, tell us. Lay it they, on. They have a great tire, and they race that great tire every single weekend up there, and they have for the last however many years they've ran that tire. Forever. Yeah. Okay. Nowadays, they want to take that tire when they buy it brand new and take it and get it cut. Sure. So it gets to sure. the tread of where the tire is going to run good. L- like you did when Daly was running Ace? No. I just bought new tires and scuffed them down. <laughs> <laughs> but still. I, oh, uh, the video reasons. on that will be good, racing. right? There's nobody that hurts the sport other than racers. Oh, you know, 100%. Yes, you're right. Because They're their own worst enemy. We race go-karts, and we run this Harbor Freight motor class. Right. right. And the whole problem with that class is everybody wants to cheat the motor. There's only two rules. You can't turn over 5,500, and it has oh, yeah, to, we were talking has about to this. hit the governor. Right. So you can cheat it up however you want to as long as it don't do them two things. As right. long as it does do them two things. Well, now there's people spending... Five and six hundred dollars to build a Harbor right. Freight motor you can buy for ninety nine dollars. Well, we're in the same spot on late models with absolutely. the Harrington. Absolutely, I mean, the guy right. built a great piece exactly. and he had the expenses under control, and they didn't now write the rule book correctly. Right. So now they're out of there. Right? You know what I mean? They're, you know, from some engine builders, they're as much as eighteen, nineteen, twenty thousand so. dollars. Right, and they're yeah. punching you know. them right off the rip, and you know what I right. mean. It's, right. it's the same thing as the go karts. So I mean, it, yeah, I absolutely. Mean, it, that's all. I, I, same thing. I've said Quarter that. Quarter midgets, go karts, anything yep. with a spec type engine like that. Yeah, it's impossible to have a spec type motor or engine with racing. 
But even with no, those guys cutting so. those tires, I mean, yeah, cutting the tires, yeah, they, they can still race on them for multiple races. I, I agree with that too. So, so we're we're definitely headed towards saving money if we are on something like that. And yeah. I'm not saying that. No, I, I agree tire. with that. There's a Hoosier that uh, I believe the 602 yep. uh, Limited yep. runs. It's yep. very similar to that. Yep. And I'm sure, I'm sure guys are cutting them. But they did make a rule this year. Darren told us about yep. where they can't soak them or they have a number that they can only you know be. Right. At. Bowman Gray, you can soak them, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure you can. They don't. Well, you, well, they don't have any rules. To, right? I have. You're not supposed to, but well, I'll let, tell you what. I'm pass out when I got to I'm qualify. Right. Corey, I there ain't no bugs. There's no mosquitoes no, there. Lord, Corey, no. <laughs> Corey brings me the rule book for Bowman Gray. This Corey? No. Bowman no, Gray. this Corey, Corey don't even know what a rule book looks yeah, like. Yeah, Co- Corey say. Rose brings me the rule book from Bowman Gray. Mm-hmm. It is two sheets of paper. <laughs> That's Perfect. stapled together. Nice. The first thing I read in Limited Sportsman, or Sportsman, Limited Sportsman, I don't know what they call it up there, but... In sportsman, the first thing I read is a four-inch rod height rule. There's no such thing as a rod height rule at Bowman Gray. No, right. things are slammed on the yeah. ground. Yeah. <laughs> now, I mean, they roll out, I mean, and the, the nose is already on the ground. They don't move. Yeah. You can't so, stick your hand under them. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, there's no rules. I mean. Just if, do whatever you, else is doing. I mean, yeah. Just follow the leader, but, and you can do whatever. If if one person does it, the second person does it, and by then you got fifteen people doing it. Well, then they overrule everything else at at Bowman Gray, anyways. But right. you have, but in the last five six years, that's where the best racing has been. Absolutely. I mean, Derek, Michael Adams, and Kevin Neal, and they put on Tommy Neal. They put on a hell of a show, yeah. and they're all right there on top of each yep. other every week. Yep. You know. So everybody's cheating the same. Uh-huh. That's there you go. <laughs> Best shooter wins. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is, you know. Looks like Andy Johnson flew us the rod. He called through it the rod. rod. Through the rod. Yeah. <laughs> Willie Wall said Chris Allison. It was Chris Allison, the cool bus. I told y'all. That sounds about right. I mean, I, I, I thought you were correct, but I wasn't 100% for sure. So. I mean, I wasn't going to take your word for it. You've admitted oh, yeah. that you're a cheater, so. <laughs> I did not admit <laughs> oh, that. I don't think he said that. <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean, something similar. Wow. To that. I didn't. That wow. was that, that was that, deep. that was deep. Right. I thought it was a good one. I mean, that's all I'm saying. Corey, Corey Rose is still on here chiming in. I, I guess I didn't get him banned or something. So <laughs> he said that uh, half a season on a set of tires at the stadium and to be competitive in the 602 tour, you have to buy a set of tires every week. It'd be much better if they went back to the stadium tire. Well, that's an interesting perspective. I did yeah. not, have not heard that. <clears throat> um, and Corey Rose said that's two sheets of paper for all four divisions. Yeah, that's so. what I said. Boom. <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Uh, Justin Gill says that uh, late model stock car racing needs to bring back the 350 carburetor. I am 100% in favor of that. I, that is one of the one of the things that I've said uh, multiple times. Of course, you know, conversation, you know, some people don't like, uh, you know, my idea for uh, fixing late model stock car racing. Um you know, right. it, it just you know, and, and I get that. You know, me and you have talked about it, but uh, you know, other people, and it's not for everybody. You know, I'm not trying to fix the cars tour. Okay, I don't. Think there are people have to. that can run the cars tour, right. and they're obviously they have enough of them. I'm not trying to fix that. These weekly racetracks that have six cars showing up for right. a race, that's what we're gonna need to fix. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Um, a, a lot of these racetracks could, uh, you know, could benefit from from that. I mean, uh, you know. At the end of the day, I mean, Robert Turner said something at Ace in the uh, driver's meeting talking about the expense of late models and how things are creeping in. Well, I mean, he he's the guy who can fix that at his racetrack. Absolutely. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I think that – I think it's on his mind, and I think he may be working toward that. Oh, he's going to continue. I mean, it's been something he's worked on from the time he opened the gates. He's going to continue to work on it. Justin Brown wants to know who is this Boo Boo Dalton guy. Yeah, well. Uh, it's some nobody from Ace. That's yep, all we know. Yep. I don't know. I, he is, man, well, I'm sorry. Speed. I don't know who Justin Brown is. That's all I'm. He's thinking. the guy we race go karts with. So okay. Well, makes sense. He knows who I am. Gotcha. He used to honestly. Let me let me break out a story. He was one of them haters on the backstretch. He turned, used to be one of those. Right, haters. right. He was a pain fan. <laughs> and then he turns the pain train. The pain train. <laughs> the pain <laughs> train. That was it. That was it. Are you saying he's on the boo boo train now or what? Oh no, I ain't no train, bro. <laughs> 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 no. Wow. No. I mean, oh, what what do, what do you call your fans then? I mean, are they uh, Boo Boo Nation or what? What are they? I really don't know. I don't have are enough they the of them. Or <laughs> what? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, 
<laughs> I don't have enough fans to. to keep oh no, I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. <laughs> no, you've got a lot of fans. Yeah, I think you got a lot of fans. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure you have quite a few fans. I mean, at Franklin County, I mean, you had your own damn cheering section there. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, they come with me though. Well, I'm, they may have, <laughs> but I mean, you're supposed to bring your your friends with you. Yeah, so. absolutely. I mean, I don't know. Um, Al Atkins wants to know if claiming rules work, and I think the. I think, in my opinion, they can work at can. Uh, Kingsport. Their shock rule that yeah, they had, their claim rule things, in it, right. was fantastic. I don't think on everything that it works, but uh, uh, I think case by case basis. You ever run any divisions with any claim rules or anything? Um, race car wise, no. I ha- well, actually, yeah, you know we did. I mean, I didn't. My brother in law drove my older race car mm-hmm. at Caraway with the in the Challenger division, and they had a right. claim rule on the. Uh, challenger class for the shocks and um that's the only thing i've ever really done with the claim rule right gotcha did it, did it seem to work or no nah, not really no no i mean i think they work if the racers use them i think that was the thing at kingsport that you know the racers really put them to use i mean i, I know this is this is a race car show and we're supposed to be talking about it, race cars is it? but that well, you can harbor, talk about anything here that harbor freight motor class right. that i was just talking about that is a claim rule class yeah um, there's Do guys, people claim them? No. Well, see, that's that, the that, that is but the that, whole issue. They put two rules in this class. Racers go buy a motor for $99 at Arbor Freight. Then they take them to an engine builder and spend four or $500 to cheat it up. Well, then you go to the racetrack, and you're having to take a chance to sell that motor for $140. I, I remember when they, Hickory had a claim rule on the limited shocks, and that was like a big thing over there because some of them guys had – decent shocks and pistons in them right and they were claiming them around back and forth and it, it kind of made it to where it didn't get out of control yeah. just because somebody found out from somebody that somebody had these shocks and it, it kind of kept it under control right michael diaz chiming in um it, which he chimed in earlier and said that i complimented him i, I don't remember that um, but uh, he's got chiming in this time. Wants to know what my idea to fix it is. I'm not going through it at the moment, but I mean, you've heard it a thousand times, Mike. I mean, you know, lower the racer's cost, and you can lower your cost. So, take a look at Southside's rules. Take a look at uh, you know what Bowman Gray does. I know you know a lot of stuff there's you know not comparable to anywhere else, but uh, you know the cost to the racer is comparable. Um, so that's the main thing. Justin Brown says that he's a fence kicker. <laughs> Which apparently, you know, we we you know established that. Um, uh, oh. let's see, the Boo Crew. That's what Corey God Rose says. The, yeah. Can we get some damn T-shirts made with that on there? <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, we need to get some T-shirts made. I, I know a guy who can make your T-shirts too. So yeah. Lee Jordan will hook you up. All right. You probably know him from go karts, don't you? Lee Jordan. Yeah, LJ Designs. I've seen his it, dad but... uh, owned. Uh, what is that magazine for uh, chasing racing? Yeah. And oh yeah, like yeah, 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 Rowdy yeah, yeah, Jordan. I got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I don't know if they still print it or not. I'm not 100 uh, sure. Not the magazine. I know that. Got you. Uh, Matt Cheatham says that all tracks should have uh, two tire rule for late models to save money for the teams. Um, sure. I don't. Sure. I don't disagree with that. Well, at all. he said Freeman's have to pay the stadium to sell the tires. Yeah, I figured they did. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's yeah, some sort of money going. Yeah, yeah. We could actually only pay 250 and get. Yeah. Right. If they're 490 a set. We could just do right sides for the same as what you pay for. I mean, that's what we do in limited as well. Right. At, at, at um, Ace. Right. I mean, you buy two tires. Two right sides. Right. Yep. So. Yep. Uh, Gerald Harris says that Lee Jordan has killer designs. He does. He designed that hoodie that you're wearing right yeah. now. Yeah, he so. did a good job. I so, thought he uh, did a great job. You know, some Boo Crew uh, T-shirts would uh, would look really good. I, I mean, I'll just go ahead and make them up and put them on Race 22. I don't need your permission. Oh, so. God, here we go. Hey, that's considered parody. Have you ever been to Barstool Sports? No. It's legal. So, <laughs> I'll do it. I'll yes. do it. Yeah, get your Boo Crew minute, T-shirts. I'm just going to go ahead and let you know. Sign this quick, and then we'll take care of the rest from no. there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need a signature. I'll just go ahead and tell you. I don't need I don't need that. Uh, Dexter Knipe said that Trump will fix late model racing when he hadn't fixed anything else, so he can start there. Um, let's see. D- I'm just saying. God, here comes Come Andy Markey. Here we uh, go. Here we go. Should have. Uh, yeah, let's see. Good Thanks, Lord. Dexter. Corey Rose said you should have just brought him with you. No. Which, God, thank God you didn't. You should have. Yes. Uh, Lee Jordan said to send, to, to it. send it on. So, uh, <laughs> he can get you done, man. I'm telling you. Yep. Lee Jordan did a great job he with uh, the PRW. Uh, 
apparel. Keep that in mind. Great job. Which I did just come out with a new scheme on the race car, so hey, uh, that would look good on a shirt. Yeah, too. I do need to get some new shirts. Made. Hey, and that's one thing about uh, you guys. When you guys go to the track, I mean, you guys all look good. You know, well, except for you. But, <laughs> but uh, he does have you know, a the crew looks looking good, car. and the car always looks car good. Always you got a tent good. made up. It's yeah. got your stuff on yeah. it. I mean, it you get you look I mean, professional it, when it, you go to the race it, track. It, I mean. It's always been one of them deals where if we're going to go, we're going to go do it, do That's it right. A, your dad said it's all him. Right? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. And it, sure is. it is. It is. I was going to give credit to your mother, but hey, she's he does he wants it and she does. She it. makes it happen. So yeah. I mean, it's kind of one of them. Yep. Right. Like right. 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 Sounds like a team. Right. All yeah. it's supposed hey, to be. That's this way it's supposed to be right. for sure. So, yeah. For sure. I mean, I, they actually send me Christmas cards. They send you Christmas cards. Mm-hmm. They <laughs> they have middle fingers in them. No, nah, they're they're very nice. Shoot, they're appropriate. <laughs> Shoot That's what I send you. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. a beer can or anything. Well, very nice, very appropriate. Uh, yeah, I anyway. thought that was awesome. I, I'm just, we, I'm we trying, trying to figure out why I ain't never got a Christmas card. Well, you know, man, <laughs> Karen, Karen, what, what's going on here? <laughs> well, I got you know. to know. <laughs> well, you know. He well, says. you know. You know. Oh man! I, now that I have something to do with race twenty two, right. I might, I might return the favor. Wow! <laughs> Gosh. Wow. After you stole a hat, you're going to give me a Christmas card. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm not man. really sure I came out on that deal. Not mm. sure. I mean, uh. good day. Oh, man. <clears throat> yeah, that's, uh, that's a good question. How did you get the nickname Boo Boo? Um, so, we, uh, <laughs> mm. Mm. I was born on Halloween, uh, not on Halloween. All right, so, I was born October 28th, mm-hmm. and... When my mom had me, I had this little toboggan that said boo on it. And so mm-hmm. my mom called me her little boo. Mm-hmm. All right. So that was before that phrase was popular, too. Right. So we, uh, dad raced go karts every single weekend, just about. Well, I had a little Power Wheels Jeep, and he put screws in the rear tires so that it would have grip on the dirt. Mm-hmm. So I'd ride around in that thing, and I'd flip it over backwards, putting it in <laughs> reverse, pulling it back down and drive. Well, I always had scratches and dings and bruises and so on and so forth. So my name changed from Boo to Boo Boo, and it stuck around the racetrack. So that's been my name ever since I can ever remember. Do you like it? I wouldn't change it for nothing. I think there was somebody, it was a new guy at Ace this past weekend, and he walked up to me. He said, hey, Ross. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> that is not is my, that is not is my racetrack name all right look let me tell you something ross is not a racetrack name that is my name is boo boo dalton at the racetrack okay <laughs> oh, so man. i got a good question for you why is your name ross dalton on facebook then it's ross boo boo dalton hold on a minute yeah it is. it is it is yes it is it is. I thought I tagged you earlier, and it just said Ross. So let me. Well, it just up. pulls in the real name, okay? Oh, sound like sound like some good bullshit. That's what that <laughs> sounds like. I'm just gonna go ahead. And it. <laughs> you get called out right quick on here. Wow. No, uh, I mean you know, whatever. It, it needs to just be boo boo, boo boo. Well. <laughs> We might can make that happen. I mean, because I, I think probably people see Ross Dunn and they go, who the hell is that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, except for whoever told probably you just, that today. You know, branch from that to a boo-boo fan page. You know, well, I, I, yeah, I, I have a Ross Dalton racing. Well, see, now, see well, that's confusing, too. Because Nobody yeah. knows who right? that Nobody is. Knows? Ross Dalton racing is, it was... Right, that's the that's name. That's just yeah. the race team name. Right. So I mean, that's what's that's on your the team. Legal that's legal name. That's, right. That's, yeah. If there was a legal name, that would be it. <laughs> right. But, you know. <laughs> yeah, nobody knows. It. Like, Bo. It don't say Joseph Brown racing, but it's just Bo Bo Brown racing. Right. Like, you know, right. I don't know who that yeah. is. So, <laughs> we might have to work on that. All right. Work on the social media here. Okay. I think it's why. Ho- okay. I, I here people- we go. We're fixing everybody's social hey, media. Listen, okay. <laughs> how many people are, are like your page? Do you know? I have no clue. Have you ever been on it? Uh, no. Good God almighty. Uh, we're gonna look right now. Yeah, go for it. I mean, this I is great radio. Why hey, 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 so <laughs> <laughs> well, he's looking up to bash you? Who are the people that you want to thank? <laughs> all right, I, mean, I know all you eat it for I mean, a lot of. You know what I mean? A yeah, lot of people I mean, that really help try to do all the things. Oh yeah, for, for you. sure. I mean, there's I've, I've got multiple sponsors. That's not very big sponsors, but they're still sponsors, and every bit matters to a team like us. Absolutely. And um, you know, mom and dad. First off and foremost, because they supply the shop for us to work on the race car and for us to make the money to be able to race. And then, um, you know, Ruth signs with John Humble. He actually lost his wife 
over the winter and um he come to the racetrack this weekend at ace and he went out to dinner with us and i mean he bought the whole crew's dinner he put stickers on the race car for free nice. i mean he does a great job you know he tells us you know it's the only race car that he keeps up like that and he expects it to stay nice even if the fenders get beat off of it he wants stickers on it right um, nice so what's his name on there so. right and and he uses us as a billboard yeah it's a selling I mean, tool. It, it's a straight up billboard i mean it's a rolling billboard so right we we support his i mean it's I, I keep it i keep it all over everything i mean i carry roof signs with me it's a trademark yeah wow yeah before wow. when i rented a kid cart my very first kid cart That's i was cool. so small i was three years old i was so small that the body was too tall and so dad had to cut it out and it and so put a piece of plexiglass in there so that I could see out. Why of it. you look at me for an insult or something? Over I here? don't know. You usually he just says dog really at him, small. right? So I figured it was coming. I don't know. And just to say that body. Jesus. I mean, that was before stickers was big, and I mean, it was painted. I mean, right. And it, right. he never been charged a dime for a sticker. So it's hard to beat a guy like that. So and then I got Jerry Raybon. He put he puts money into me every year um carolina laser cut and they give us all kinds of stuff from air boxes to so on and so forth and nice um i mean that's american adrenaline i started slot car racing over the winter i had to find something to as suck we've up. heard i had to suck up my freaking winter i can't stand not racing yeah, don't work the on your car huh <laughs> i mean i wouldn't work it on was together car. dad's got that cover right, it was yeah, together i mean, just Watch Netflix. I, I brought it up here. You went through <laughs> it. I know, but I'm just saying. We worked on the race car. Hey, it's been good, okay? <laughs> it was in. Th- it was together in time for us to actually make a quick trip to Southern National unplanned. <laughs> right. So, um, I picked up. Uh, he ended up sponsoring us just a little bit, you know, with American Adrenaline Slot Car Track, and um, we're trying to hit up a few other little places to try to find some sponsorship. And um, it's just it's hard right now. I mean, nobody sure. wants to sponsor anything. It's just, you know, handing money out. It's, just, you know, it's not heard of right now. So, Right. Sponsors are hard to come by. How There's many no people do you think that. you ask? How many people do you think I ask? Mm-hmm. If, if I know that they're possibly capable of it and they have a business or they're willing to come to a race and mm-hmm. support it, I'll ask them. I don't care. Right. Okay. I know that's my why I motto asked you. Is, my I, motto I think is, there's so many of them yeah. that say they don't have anything. But then I asked them, well, "How many people did you ask?" I don't know, man. My dad takes care of it. No, 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 I'll no ask. your dad doesn't, right? And I knew you would ask. I'll that's ask why. because my motto is, if if they don't want to do it, they'll say no. Right. And right. I didn't yeah. hurt my feelings. That's the worst none. thing they can say. Right. 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 It, it ain't against the but law. I just think there's so many people that don't it. ask. Yeah. I knew you I'll did. That's why I said what I said. I just and if a thousand people say no, there might be twenty that say yes. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. And I don't care what it is. You can hand me $100. I'll put you on a T-shirt, bro. So we're getting T-shirts now? Yeah, sounds yeah. like it. I, we're definitely getting T-shirts. That was Lee, Lee Jordan hooking you up. Hey. We'll put Mac Little's face on your hood. Oh, God. <laughs> for $300, we hey, do for that? Hey, for $300, can Here we do that? Here some Corey LaJoy stuff. <laughs> hey, what I've still got the camshaft, okay? Can we take a picture oh, of it and put oh. it on? Oh. Can I get it? No, I'm just no, kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, can I get that cam shaft? I mean, you already got one identical to it. So. <laughs> no, you got a sister cam. Spintron, my hiney. Mm. Oh, man. Yeah. I still got it wrapped in a towel somewhere. Oh, that is impressive. Yeah. Can I, I buy it? I mean, That's awesome. You know. I heard that cam was impressive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it was. It was pretty good. <clears throat> the guy looked at it. He said, this ain't right. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, he didn't, didn't even, even put, put it on it, on it at right. all. <laughs> this yeah, ain't, right. ain't right. I was like... Oh crap! Because I, I and I'll be honest with you, the whole deal. I'm yeah, the only reason that I even took the protest because I thought it was going to be a failure. Nice. Swear to God, I was like, "This ain't gonna be nothing. Oh, we'll be I done knew, here. I knew move on." Wouldn't. And then he, that dude rolls that towel open, and I'm like, "Oh my God!" <laughs> Steven said it's up to five hundred dollars now for Mac Little on the hood. Hey, wow. this might be a ah, can we make this, this happen? No, this is a could. horrible idea. Dad, no. can we make this happen? And Dylan Hauser is also interested in the cam. We'll be putting the cam on eBay <laughs> a little bit later on this <laughs> afternoon. There'll be a seven-day trial. Make sure you get your bits. Uh, it's it's a good one. No doubt about that. Huh? <laughs> I think they'll fire it back up before the year's over. <laughs> After they start uh, having a rival, can we put it on there? Oh, no. That'd be even worse. I think it'd be great. I'd Your dad rather. said we'll see. Oh, mm-hmm. no. 
<laughs> so we're we're getting somewhere here. No, we're not. <laughs> oh man. Uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna talk about some other stuff. Um, so you can just sit here and talk with us about it. We're gonna talk about some other the other race, and we're gonna wrap up That's the fun. show here. And uh, one thing uh, we uh, we got some uh, audio, I believe, from uh, Carteret. Uh, my producer over here, he, he just forgot woke up. Had he just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna that was let. Awesome. Are we still on the air? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna let that him. Awesome. I'm, I'm gonna let him walk through uh, <laughs> walk through that. Uh, Corey could just ask us to right. mute, the, mute the microphone. Corey there. just breed his microphone right there. He just bred <laughs> his uh, microphone. We'll uh, we'll let uh, Doc roll through that uh, audio from uh, Carteret from this past week. Yeah, well, I thought you was going to cue it up when uh, you were talking about Carteret later earlier. But uh, Stacy Pierre finished third. Said it was his first time at uh, the Speedway, and he's running an old car. He said he hadn't had it out since uh, uh, 2000, what, 16 or something like that from Martinsville. Well, we just uh, had gotten loose up off, and, uh, you know, we had a good race car. Uh, if it had been a little tighter, you know, 19 wouldn't have known which way we went. But, uh, you know, hey, this is the first time we've ever been here. This race car has been sitting since Martinsville uh, 2016, and we're very proud of it. Uh, thanks to all the Rock Carriers for, for sponsoring us, helping us get here, and uh, Asphalt Services, Perea Race Parts. We, uh, we just were a little too free. We come in and worked on it, trying to get it tightened up a little bit. Uh, but I guess that had already hurt the right rear. But, uh, man, great facility. Love this racetrack. Uh, I'd love to come back and do some more of these. There you go. He liked that place, and uh, he's hoping to go out there some more. Jason York finished second. I think he led some earlier, but he came up just a little short, said his car Listen just not quite there Listen to this voice right here. Well, it was real good. Car was, I was pleased with car. Was just a little free in the center. I mean, uh, we, <laughs> we'll fix it and get it back up here, and we'll, we'll, we'll get some wins up here. But uh, congratulate Chris. I mean, no, he done a hell of a job winning racing. Uh, all the guys down here done a good job. And I thank the crew. they done a really great job this week. I appreciate all the hard work they've done. But now I tell you, four more laps. That's all I needed. Said he just needed four more laps. Well, you went or quit Chris Burns. I think he's on uh, the chat with us now, isn't he? Or he, he was, was earlier. Yeah, he was. But uh, he talked. the first thing he talked about with um, um, <laughs> um, um, what? I don't really know what right, you're reaching you for. Going? I ain't listening to this audio. So Andy, Andy, uh, I was going to give him some props. He uh, provided the audio. He Andy was the Marquee. Marquee was the <laughs> he's the announcer there at Carteret, so he sent us some uh, audio. Uh, which was sent to you that, uh, what's his name di- over there? What's his name over there didn't print. <laughs> but anyway, know, Chris Burns Corey, was you your that? winner. Uh, <laughs> he talked about the contact with Stacy Pruya first, and, of course, thank to all them sponsors. Yeah, you know, uh, I felt like we were just a little better on entry than Stacy. No, uh, definitely not intentional. You know, he's a class act racer, and, you know, I try not to race that way. Using the bumper's okay, but I definitely didn't mean to spin them out, so – um, you know, this is huge for our little yes, team. I mean, we yes, it is. Last year we struggled with this car ever since we put it together, and uh, man, to get this win is it's awesome. So, a lot of people I got to thank. You know, my dad, you know, Chris Smith here in the shop, everybody that helps working on the thing. Um, Solid Rock Carriers, Carl Heavily Shapes, Racing Realty, uh, Rooms Unlimited. They're in Raleigh right now. They are coming to Cedar Point, so y'all go s- y'all buy some furniture for them. Uh, Everybody else to help, man. I really appreciate you. That's how you pimp your sponsors right there in Victor Lane. But Absolutely. he also talked about uh, – um, and um, Andy asked him one more question about uh, – had that new baby there in Victor Lane. So he thought that was pretty cool and talked about how his car got better as the race went on. Yeah, uh, it started out and it was shoving the nose a little bit in the center. And I come over the radio, I said, you know, it's still early. I think we might have a chance. And uh, after that red flag over there, I mean, it was like a different race car. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm tickled. I couldn't ask for more. Tell me what this win means to you. First win since having the baby uh, with Bethany. And to beat names like Jason York and Stacy Purrier. Yeah, they're no, uh, they're no slouches, that's for sure. You know, they're some of the best in the business. Been doing it a long time. Um, but, you know, as far as having my little girl here for you know, with me, that's a, that's a life-changing deal right there. I wouldn't trade it for the world. There you go. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. Good to, good to see Chris get a win. Yeah. And uh, you know, as we said earlier, Good you know, guy. five thousand, five thousand dollar uh, victory. You know, if you didn't brush it, if you tell us, you know, when you're getting up, you know, well, you know. we don't have you, you know. Yeah, pumping the microphone. Anyway, anyway, yeah, it's good to see Chris win. Chris is a good guy. You know, he's. <laughs> He's don't have all the money in the world like some of these other teams, and it's good to see the little guy come up and, and do good like that. He works hard on his stuff, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not he saying he don't. He works yeah. hard on his stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Motel, dude. I didn't say nothing <laughs> bad about the guy. Oh, you God. guys take everything what? literal. Wow. Well, I didn't. Good God. Oh, man. 
What else you'll talk? Hey, shut I want it to, down. Well, I, ma- hey, mainly I want to talk about the thirty thousand win this week. Well, I, hey, at Hickory the other day, I got to give a shout, my boy. Akinori finished third. What up? Yeah, yeah shout out career best. Akinori finished third. In Coming limited. out of PRW. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. Third. And was absolutely thrilled. I saw the uh, <laughs> thing Jason put on the announcer, put on the uh, yeah. social media. There said he was thrilled. I bet so. Yeah. That everybody was happy for him. Oh man, uh, good, good to see for sure. <laughs> he's he's a good guy. He was in here working on his yeah, car he was. Uh, earlier. Yeah, he was. Oh, was he? Yeah, he before you got Can't here. Can't understand it. Yeah. <laughs> he's saying love the guy. Yeah. I'm, he didn't try to talk to me, thankfully. <laughs> Because so, I wouldn't know. What I talked to him at Myrtle about. Beach one time. It was a hell of a conversation. <laughs> yeah. He said, I, I'm it. not very good here. I said, huh. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> but he finished third. Uh, Career yeah. best. I don't. Yep. Uh, not that race, but I don't. Like, the Hickory did. Hickory, yeah. 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 I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't uh, think but he anyway, anybody. Glad either. to see him. Uh, yeah. Glad, yeah. Yeah, man. Unlike so, Zach Bruinger, who uh, helps, you know. Feed you here. Yeah. yeah. He, I think what, one, two, three, he Zach kinda, brought he, here. He kind of helps. Hey, but Zach, like, Zach will be at Motor Mid City. Found a trailer. He will be at Motor Miles' first late model race. Yeah, he told me that. So that, wow. that'll be exciting. So he's serving like an outside salesman for Roger. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I, I mean, didn't even think about that, but a good point. <laughs> back yeah. in, my, one of my favorite things was back in the day, and he, you've never said this, but Tom, when he owned the place, man, we were standing in the corner and they'd rack, and I'd go, man, what do you think? I'm holding on, I'm counting. <laughs> counting how much money I'm getting ready to make. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was great. Great. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but, uh, you know, coming up this weekend, the biggest race, uh, you know, of, of the year so far, uh, the 30,000 to win uh, Cars Tour race. Uh, what's, uh, what do you guys think we're going to see this weekend? Well, starting out on Saturday, these heat races got me kind of worried about. They ought to be good. Yeah. Taking the top four. Right. It's going to be Boo Boo Dalton style. You're going to have to go. Yeah. I mean, 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 there's about 12. And and people don't understand. Was it 30 laps? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, 30, you know, those people run 25, 30 sounds. 30 ain't a long time at Orange County. No. No. That flies by real fast. And they say the track is super fast. Yeah, I was going to say the track is fast. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I I don't know. I I just hope they. Well, you know, they're race car drivers. They put a helmet on and, you know, it happens. But I hope they just don't run over each other. Just, Cuts the yeah. circulation to their brain. Yeah. I Easy. Mean, you have it sometimes. I mean, it happens to you all the time. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. He didn't argue with no that argument with that. I want uh, the car store to stay long on it, right? Like, I, I just don't want them to give up if they don't get a big number. I know that that's the thing that's, that's the thing that well, scares he, he actually me the said, most. You know, that's right? one thing people wonder about. Is this a one-off thing? Right. And and that's, that's, but that's what scares me the most, right? I I, I – I know. I just well, don't want him to give up. Jack said 60 right. would right. be a success to him. Right. In the weeks past, since, you know, Chris has said 45. Are they going to make it to 45? I don't know. I don't, you know what I mean? I don't know either. I, I, I but hope that's so, what scares but, me. Let's not put a number on it. It's the first year right. of building something. Let's look how, at how, a, how, how, a two how many or cars three year plan. 30. 28. 28. As long as they have 28 cars, it doesn't matter because that's what you're going to see agree. racing. I agree. Like. Well, but I think it does matter to the financial end. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think they're going to sell enough tickets that it's not going to matter. You know what yeah, I, mean? I think fans are pretty hyped about this. Oh, fans are really and hyped And they've done about some this. good little bit of advertising to it. Well, they've they been get a good, it. They get a good draw there anyway, right? I yeah. mean, yeah, that's, why yeah, Orange 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 right? that's why they and did Orange it. Orange they Orange 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 the whole facility is there. The grandstands are probably the nicest yeah. grandstands of any right. track we go to around right. here. I mean, they're, they're, they're wonderful. So, right. you know. They got the souvenir area for the – for the kids, and then the car store have their trailer there with some yeah. swag, right? VIP was this, suites. Was you know, this the deal? Was this the the week where you could go online and sponsor? Yeah, it yeah. ends tomorrow. It's tomorrow. So okay, if you that's something we could give a shout out spend, about. Yeah, it's twenty dollars, I think, minimum or twenty five or something well, like and that. How do they go to that? Do you remember? Yeah, I looked at it one time, but I can't remember. Dot com. That's uh, that's where you'll find everything. Uh, I think it's on that left turn in Sunburns. Right, website, if you want to help out. Who's your uh, Who's your top three cars you think to be watching for? Man, that's that's a hard that question. It is hard. It really is. I think I it mean, depends. I want to see the total list before I can completely. What do you say think, Boo Boo? Who's the top three guys going into that car? I think stories? Riggs. Is the five going to be there? Yeah. yeah. He's he's definitely one. Um. I, has, has Lee ever raced in Orange County? I know he's had Dalton Sargent and uh, um, – I don't care. Gary Bunch there. He raced the tour last year, so he had to have been there uh, twice. Yeah, twice. yeah, he yep. went there twice, You're yeah. Right. Yeah, you're right. Um, I would – my three, I would – well, definitely Lee, um, Lane, Riggs. He'll um, be tough to beat there. McCaskill. 
Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, Deke's Deke, so good I think there. Deke's, yeah. Deke, Deke's good. Deke's yeah. really good there at yeah. uh, well, this dark horse, you know, that 88 <laughs> car, <laughs> Josh <laughs> Berry. <laughs> The dark horse, <laughs> he's pretty decent there, too. I think I'll go with, you know. I, I mean, hate you. <laughs> I just want to come on. I want to make sure everybody Bob knows McCarty, I hate Deke, you. And, uh, You're Josh the one Perry. that said that's You're walking okay. from here on out. <laughs> well, it looks like he is going to be the dark horse. He ain't done nothing the first three. Uh, no, I mean, he's just leading the points. He's leading the points. Leading the points and, come on, man. You know, uh, I can't remember if he led laps at Hickory. You know? T- oh, yeah, yeah, Timothy Peters. Yeah, he Timothy led, Peters oh, be yeah. tough, too. Oh, yeah, Timothy will Dylan be. Dylan Hauser, good, that's a good pick. Yeah, Timothy, yeah, Timothy will be, be really, there. really good. Tons um, of them. I mean, all, so, your, all your good guys is going to be there, though. I mean, anybody that could possibly go anywhere and win a late model race is definitely going to be there. Yeah, it's going to – I, I – He's still kicking around. That black car might be there. <laughs> I was talking about the other day. Which is what? We don't know. The GOAT. Oh, uh, Barry Beggarly, yeah. yeah. He yeah. tested there the other day. It was uh, fast. In, in, his, in his two starts, he was talking about Lee a minute ago, yeah. Boo Boo. In his two starts, he has uh, one top five and two top tens and an average finish of six. So, he's a pretty good pick. Yeah. I mean, you know. No, uh, and, and not to race there a whole lot, you know. He's, he's led a total of six laps. So, I mean, and that was just in one race. So, Cars Tour, uh, Cars Tour Digest, man. If you want to know anything about you anything, yeah. that is the best stats website for Cars Tour that you can find. What is it? Cars Tour Digest. It is fantastic. So I didn't even you, know they had it. Yep. yep. It's Lou, it was, Lou Lauer. Yep. Same. Oh, uh, wait a minute. They used to do the Pro Pro days. Naming all these people. Craig Moore, man. Oh, Craig Moore. Ah. Yeah, Craig yeah, yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. I was gonna, He's going to be a beast. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yep. that was a good one. Craig that Moore is good coming. I mean, and he's he, going to be he's hungry a after ways. Hickory. Josh Oakley's in there, too. He runs well, real good. Yeah. I, 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 me, I want to see a local win. Yeah, yeah. I want to see sure. somebody. Yeah. And that, that goes from Lane Riggs to Ronald Hill to um, Craig it'll, Moore it'll to Josh Oakley. Ronald Hill, Hill all the way. Yes, yeah, Chris Denny entered? Yeah. I think he is. In a way, we need a local to win. Right, like That'd I think that awesome. would be yeah, yeah. good for the sport. Tracy, right? Tracy, Tracy like, Chambers. Hey, Tracy oh, and Chambers. Mike Chambers she, is in there. They got they have laps Chambers. There. I mean, they, 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 they got a ton of laps there. there. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I haven't heard Brandon Pierce name mentioned yet. Yeah, yeah. Brandon. Uh, Brandon's going to be really good. I mean, he finished <laughs> second there uh, yeah. in the spring last year. Set the pole um, and won the pole. And and that damn Corey Corey Heim kid, man. I'm going to tell you what, he can absolutely wheel. He can wheel. He can wheel for sure. I mean. It probably he'll probably find a way to get disqualified somehow. Just just <laughs> whatever happens to him, I don't yeah, know. He's got but terrible luck. He just finds a way. So seen where Terry Deese was driving somebody else's yeah, car there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, being Pretty that cool it was announced car. today, yeah. I didn't know if it was an April Fool's joke. Uh, you know, for whatever reason. Yeah, it's no. an old Morgan Shepherd throwback car. Yep. yep. Yeah. Matt Light said to Corey Heim is his pick. Um, Several several people yeah. throwing uh, throwing their picks out there. Uh, Eric Seaman says Bo- uh, Bobby McCarty or Lee Pulliam, and Bobby McCarty. I mean, yeah, I mean he's he's good everywhere. Yeah, so, I mean you can never underestimate Bobby McCarty. Takes care of his stuff. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I mean, all three of the Nelson. I mean, we talked about it earlier. All three of the Nelson cars, all three of the Pulliam mm-hmm. cars. They're going to be exceptional. The local guys are going to be really good. And I'm sure there's people we're missing and just not talking about here. I'm deep, yeah. obviously. Bradley McCaskill. You know, he could be really good in this race. If they if um, they can't make it, are they having the whole just a, a question? If if somebody can't make it to the race, is the whole thing on on the? Yeah, Tony Stevens. Yeah, Tony Stevens got TV. you covered. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Now, both days. So nice. Yeah, everything everything you want to see. Um and and I tell you that uh, that white car that uh, the Nelsons rolled out, the white uh, what they call it? I can't remember what they called it over, uh, earlier but, uh, on yeah, Facebook. Well, but uh I don't remember what it was either. Ghost, no. I don't remember what it was. Something. I am not white sure. Night, white ghost. White night or something yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Uh Bubba Pollard if he shows up, yeah. I mean I, I don't care what he's in. We put him in, you know, some of this PRW junk and he could run. <laughs> so I mean, oh, I'll just go ahead and tell you. Oh, hey, it just tells oh, you how good oh, of a driver. Hey, listen. Oh, Listen, no, boo boo. No, this is how good of a driver no, you are. If you can win no. in this stuff, you can I win in any. I am partial. Okay, I am getting ready when, when to pull. It, all I mean, the he gives you a free hook over here. Absolutely, I'm getting ready to pull every wire out of this board. <laughs> right it's only here, it's only because he gives you a free hoodie. No, or you stole no, it. Whatever. No, I am partial. That is for sure. Well, I mean, it runs okay some places. Some places. <laughs> I haven't been nowhere that it ain't ran good. <laughs> Other than South Boston, and that ain't the race car's fault. That's <laughs> mine and my daddy's. <laughs> uh, of course, uh, Justin Carroll, er- Eric Sieben's asking if Justin Carroll will run. He'll be there. I'm not oh, sure yeah. if he'll be in his PRW car or he'll be in his uh, he said he was uh, taking, Forrest Reynolds car. Right. He said he was uh, the, the 
He's taking two cars, I think. Yeah, Bobby said. McCarty said that was the White Knight. The yeah. White Knight. Hey, did Thomas Bain leave or did he die over no, beside that left. car? Uh, he, <laughs> left. <laughs> he left he about 9.30. 9 yeah, 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 he just, just left. Yeah. This kid's been yeah. busting his ass for the last three hours he's, I've been here uh, on this race car. He's He's been working his butt off. He had to get he out is. of here in time to go get a free Bloomin' Onion. I oh. guarantee you that's what it was. Because yep. it shuts down at 10. Yeah. Boo Boo, would you turn us down for a free Bloomin' Onion? He did. Because Thomas did. Uh, and we probably, I don't care I, I much like, for him. I respect him for you it. You don't care for the onion? Mm-mm. Or, or Thomas. Thomas Bean. <laughs> or Thomas <laughs> <laughs> We were going to the same place yeah. on that one. No, you were in trouble there. Definitely the onion. Definitely the onion. Uh, <laughs> so I had to drag Thomas out of the race car at South Boston. He was knocked out? 200. Um, dude, I'm going to tell you something. I've never seen somebody so dehydrated. He was so dehydrated he quit sweating. Really? That's yeah. dangerous. Locked up. Yeah. That's really bad. Really, really, really bad. That's scary. Well, I guess uh, the, if I go to Anderson Friday, that'll be the only you know other coverage outside of Orange County. I'm not. That's such a long His ride. Wife I'm just says not, he's not going sure. there. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care what she says. Yeah, right. I mean, big it, stuff on the radio <laughs> till you leave here. I know how it works. <laughs> Tough guy. Right. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I assume Thomas Roger, Bean just Ro- made it. Roger, I'm going to assume that you're going to be at Orange County this Orange weekend. Orange County. Yes. So, Corey, I know you'll be there. Yeah, so. I'm trying to. Are you picking out him a way up? To camp or something? Maybe Saturday night. You're going to camp thinking about it like I was thinking tent? About, hey appreciate that I was going to thinking about getting you a hotel so saves me money works like for me dang it <laughs> yeah once again try and make himself look good because that I, shit was I'll not going to happen I'll <laughs> that listen, was not going to happen my wife a- ask her if if I talked about it coming down the road getting a hotel where, where is the hotel at around there <laughs> well I mean well, it's probably back close to your house <laughs> I know I can stay at my own house it's about as close as the hotel <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, oh, yeah. Ronnie Great Payne says if, and I'm talking. He's talking about Anderson. He works the gate there at Anderson. Really great guy. Um, yeah, if man, I really want to come. Twin forties, you know, Marla the animosity between. The mic. Uh, forget. He's Marla. waiting until you walk outside and clubbing you like I a baby seal. About, <laughs> I ain't worried about. Well, let, let me go ahead and tell you one thing. Greg ain't got to wait to do anything. To me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got to wait because I mean, he can go on whip my ass. I'm gonna go ahead. And take I told him that a couple times. Uh, actually, you know, I right, just go ahead and say that. Now, me and Greg have a great relationship, and we talk shit to one another, so it's great. You say I talk that. way more than he does, though. You say that until he gets old and <laughs> Well, I mean, it That's could happen. That's what Payne thought, too, happen. right up until that point. I don't think. I, uh, Nick just doesn't know when to shut up. So, I mean, we established that. Yeah. So. Uh, but, yeah, uh, Roach Motel for Corey. That's a good idea. Mason Mason Dunn come up with that idea. We'll find you one somewhere. I, I mean, could if he's use willing, a suite that week. Listen, if, if he's willing to camp outside yeah, like, in the parking lot or something, I mean, Roach we, Motel would be we an We could take the Race 22 thing and rent one of those RVs. <laughs> the the Race 22 oh, thing? The card. Langley's the been getting us an RV. I've been trying. From, right. from I've been trying. Greenville Pickens for the past three years. Right. I ain't got he one can't yet. pull it off. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm working on it. Randy Porter, I know he ain't listening, but man, I need a I need an RV to make this happen. So, uh, Porter's RV sales, plug, absolutely, plug. Oh, absolutely. One of uh, one of our best supporters for sure. Unlike Performance Center, so mm, you know. that's two. <laughs> Zing. I couldn't help it. That is two. Couldn't yeah, help. I yeah. mean, he does support the radio show here. We are doing this for free, and you know that's pretty mm. cool. So he doesn't he hasn't charged me rent yet. It's starting to hurt my feelings. Yeah, that's because you're sensitive. That's know. why your car parts are going up. Mine. His, his car parts ain't going up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> his car parts are not going I'm, up. I'm doing billing here now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 That ain't how. I promise you there's a lot no. of things that may happen, but that ain't happening. Good for you. Well, I do well. suck at billing. <laughs> Nobody pays me. There's, there's one of them, though, and I hope he's listening that hadn't paid me, and he's going to pay me. I'm going to get my money's worth one way or the other. Yeah. I hope he's listening tonight. I seen he was on earlier. Bad emails. I don't, uh, and you know what? I, I, nine times out of ten, you, you don't pay me. I really don't give a crap, but just don't lie and be a jerk. So wow. That's all I'm saying. Don't Ooh. lie and oh, be a jerk. Ooh. My one, man. One, one, of those, one of those chassis builders. I won't throw them under I'm the bus right completely here. here. No, you oh. pay. So. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'd like to throw you under the bus. <laughs> I know you would. That's what I hate about this whole thing. <laughs> so. I pay and you'd like to throw me so under the bus. I think we bus. figured out I, what that e- or the, the fo- Facebook face. Place, whatever it's called, was about. Face, pace. Yeah. What the Jesus hell? Christ. This is 2019, man. Good. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> God. Sound like freaking Bill Belichick over here. Did you my, see Robbie Johnson? Johnson's face. My face. I like to have a my face. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is that, man? Bo- what the wow. <laughs> Bobby Shut McCarty said off. that hopefully Corey makes it to this race. I don't know what else can go wrong with that truck. <laughs> hey, tell oh, him. Hey, correct. Hey, I'm bringing his ass a Volkswagen first at 630 in the morning, so. <laughs> You're going to be up that early? 
Yeah. Hell no. Are you not going to bed tonight? No, I open up every day at 7 o'clock. Jesus, man. Why would anybody you ain't do never something seen like that? Seven, have you seen 7 Not in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody told me it existed, though. I yeah. didn't used to. Now I have. Larry McReynolds to Brandon McReynolds, the race got rained out of Tri County. You remember that? And he said, he said we're going to be here all night. We should run at 7 in the morning. Larry said, that boy didn't know there was two 7, and <laughs> seven o'clock in one day. <laughs> I said, that's wow. The that's the truth. <laughs> so, uh, Boo before we wrap this up, what's your next race? Um, we're going to run Orange County for the Southeast Limited race, which is not That's this two weekend, weeks. but next, yep. right? Yep, yep, gotcha. All right, so you going to Orange County to watch this race this weekend? I am. Um, my five-year-old nephew races uh, Saturday, so I'll be yeah. there Saturday, and then I'll be there Sunday. Gotcha. What's he racing? He is running Rookie Red Plate. We moved him up from uh, We moved him up from Kid Cart. He is now on Red Plate, nice. and uh, I don't know what it was, but it was like night and day he's <laughs> just switch he's freaking rolling like he, <laughs> awesome. he's going so fast he scares me now so he's coming to take your ride hey he'll be in it soon enough soon i mean enough. now that you're married kids right. next you're on your way out and you're man. out just you're, you're, you're out your man. time is limited no. I, your dad used to race too right yeah right. you ruined it right and now he raced till he was 40 right something right Told you. see what happened 24 you got 16 years ago nah. <laughs> Things are going earlier these days. No. Yeah, uh, true. Everybody's retiring right, earlier right. now. There's no right. way. I, I couldn't quit racing. So I, you're, I would. I just yeah, might as well go ahead and lay certain, down in a casket. Well, at a certain point, well, in time, don't do that. that's what you did when you got married. <laughs> oh god. Oh. <laughs> oh. Says the guy's been married like 87 times. <laughs> I've been married twice. <laughs> you might as well have been married a few more times. So man, I mean. A, I don't know. I hate him. <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> uh, that's, that's my favorite reaction from people. Maybe I'll get that from that other chassis builder, too. Wow. So. All I right, mean, guys. You are on a terror roll. I, I guess that's going to do it for tonight, unless y'all got something else to say. <laughs> no. Hey, check out Race 22. I'm scared all, to say anything. Race22.com all this week. We'll have uh, all kinds of articles going up about uh, Orange County, 30,000 to win, trying to uh, you know prepare for uh, prepare for the biggest race prepare. of the spring. Big race. So. Prepare. All right, big. that'll do it. Doc, take us home. All right, don't forget racing action next weekend. Got two tracks on Friday, seven tracks on Saturday. Of course, the big show, the Old North State Nationals on Sunday, April 7th. Anderson Speedway, twin 40s. Southside be running their late model stocks. Uh, let's see, that's the Friday night shows. Uh, Saturday, Caraway be running the PRA 602 Tour. Uh, Dominion Raceway be running late model stocks. East Carolina is going to be racing. Uh, Hickory Motor Speedway, Twin 40s, Shenandoah's. They are going to be racing this year. They're going to have open practice next Saturday night. And, of course, as we said, the big show next Sunday, uh, Orange County Speedway. Gates open at 12, Fan Fest at 110, Green Flag at 3 p.m. That's 200 laps, late model stock car racing. Come on out Saturday to Orange County Speedway. If you want to come out there, the grandstands open at 4 p.m., Late model stock t- stop time trials start at 5 p.m. Five will lock into the feature. Heat races start at 7, 4, 30 lap uh, heat races, and then the last chance, 30 lap. And then uh, that'll fill up the field. They're going to have open practice Friday. Don't forget the Old North, Old North State National kickoff. Uh, the party will be downtown Hillsboro, North Carolina. You got uh, four locations, volume records and beer, hot tin roof, Wits frozen custard, and – the Village Diner. And that's going to wrap it up, boys. Hello. I must be going. Well, that'll wrap up this week's show. We want to thank you for listening to Race 22 Radio. Be sure and keep us logged on to Race22.com for all your favorite late model stock car racing action, videos, podcasts, and much, much more. We'll be back broadcasting live around the globe next Monday at 6 p.m. from right here at the Performance Center Racing Warehouse Studio in beautiful Statesville, North Carolina. Until then, we'll see you at the races. Race 22 Radio is a presentation of Race 22 Productions. I must be...